Ah, oh, Hajvamash Shinji. It's time for a bit more Sekiro. Hopefully... I can, I don't know, beat some more bosses this time. I only managed to beat Kyobo last time, and that was a little silly. Okay. Let me just think. So right now, we are in the abandoned place, of course. Hmm. I think that going back to Ashina Castle said, I do also want to go to Hirata. To the sculpture's idol, and then... Hmm, I guess the question would be... What other skills might I want to get? Bolt over in... in middle without using stealth. Posture broken. But... At that point, if you've already broken their posture, why not just use a normal death blow? All you get is a little bit of positioning, and Bing and Boy, it's cool. Do you already have Chasing Slice, right? Do I? Let me see. Slash, run slide. Just check. I could pick up Shadow Rush, though I don't particularly need it or want it. I do have Chasing Slice. Shuriken, Firecracker, and Spear. Shuriken. Nice, and let's try out Firecracker and Spear. Let's see how this works, and... Okay, that's good. The Firecracker. Let's try that out. Okay, so all those slashes are pretty much identical. Which makes sense, but still. X is good. Subimato is fun. Let's see how this works. Ah, do. Ah, that's an interesting combo. Let's go to see who I might want to actually use the poison on. Well, eventually, the Okami are going to be the good best target. And the big thing is also the Hirata. I feel like. How much oil do I have right now? It's as dumb as it sounds, I feel like it might be justified to go on a bit of a. Okay, I've got 10 things of oil. It's seven left in storage, so 17 in total, 10 health at once. So if I used all that oil, I wouldn't get much more. Oh, antique map? Oh, wow, there's a, there's a world map. I didn't even think about that, that's crazy. So we've been to Senpo, Senpoji, Kongoyama, Hirata Estate. And oh, Hirata's actually got an actual location in the world compared to everything else. And the reservoir's over there, abandoned dungeon. It's really cool. I I did not even see that prompt. I've gotten so used to just pressing the same buttons that you do in any other Souls game that I didn't even really notice. It's funny that the castle gate is still in the outskirts. This big thing is, I think we should go back to the antechamber. There are those night jars around that I do want to try my skills against, and in addition to that, we've also got... Hmm... Sculptor's Idol got all those fencers. Use of the gourd. The nice thing is that since there's actual pausing, it is a very viable option, too. Can we get that guy? Oh, he's coming around this way. I don't like that. And we can get the stealth kill, ideally. Oh, hello there. Hi. Enjoy death. Said, I'm not actually going for you right now. I just wanted to get you out of the way. So we do have our aerial Ichimonji, which I believe is still... Not quite as strong as the charge Ichimonji, but it charges up faster than the normal grounded uncharged. You can use the jump as a gap closer. So I'm still probably going to want to use that for the night jars. There's a guy right there. Is there? Just gotta make sure that I don't provoke them indiscriminately. And can we. There we go! We can take one down with an aerial death blow. How convenient. So there's the abandoned dungeon over that way that leads to the temple. I might want to do that early and- Oh my- Oh, I did not see that coming. Maybe I should try something else. Yeah. Got my gourd. I just didn't expect him to come down and do the whole woo jump attack. 
Those guys are the Nightjar Ninjas. In Japanese, I forget what their name specifically, but it translates to basically men who are like hawks, or ninja who are like hawks. Because, of course, they fly about in the air, they jump around very often, very quickly. And that's what makes them really annoying. They don't really have any consistent, specific weakness. All they have is, oh my goodness. Well, you know, I could fight this guy. Sure, why not? And just... Let's go for it. Deflection! Nice. Thanks. Ooh, ooh, I was not expecting that, so let's just slam down the Ichimonji and... Oh, you got out of the way really quickly. Okay. One, two... Ooh! One, two, three, and... Oh, my... Okay. Should be able to slam you down, and there we go. Death blow. Said it before, and I'll say it again. Okay, and we got more Divine Confetti, which is good. How much do we have right now? Because we're probably going to have to fight a Shichimen Warrior later, who is an apparition-type enemy. And this allows you to deal extra damage to them. I've had some, I wouldn't really say debates, but discussions with friends about whether Sekiro has... As most Souls-type games have four damage types, and Sekiro has arguably three that the player can use, but... The question is whether you would count, because there's fire, which we have with our flame vent over here, and eventually fire upgrades for axe and spear, but they also have got the anti-apparition damage that we get from the confetti, and also from certain upgrades to other certain tools. But beyond even that, there's also lightning, that we can only actually use it for ourselves if an enemy uses it and we reflect it. Makes things a bit different. Okay, so he's over there. The question is, can we snub him with a shuriken? That's the idea, and, oh my, we could not. <laughs> okay, so the idea is going to be, we snipe with a shuriken, and, well, first, we should drink up, because those carp are going to come get me otherwise. Oh, treasure carp right there, oh, and also man-eating carp. I don't like these guys. And, okay, so we should try, try that again. The night jars over there, I don't technically need to kill. But, one thing I'm very, very neurotic about, for lack of a better term, is I would preferably like to kill every instance of an enemy at least once, instead of just running away and running past things. It also helps that experience in this game is very crucial, leveling your skills. Okay, so what I should do is probably ready the Shotokan when I hear the woo. And then lock on to change the direction of throwing. And can we spend- uh, Oh my goodness, I got that pretty much exactly wrong. Hate these guys so much. There's just- uh, Ooh, what? I could- The big thing is that- Okay, getting close- and, Okay, nice. It's good damage. Okay, can we- Slam- oh, oh my- Oh my goodness. Real attacks- Really, I should just try staying out of the way. Otherwise, and, uh, oh, but the charge time is absolutely vile. Oh my goodness. Wow. At least we can resurrect and escape this place, go back to the idol. It's a better way. So, in other words, I'm not going to be able to actually hunt him down or knock him out of the sky with a shuriken. I should focus pretty much entirely on dodging that initial attack. And, well, among other things... Oh my goodness. Oh, that knocked me off. I guess the really interesting thing to me is that... Hitting the water still dealt me full damage. And to be fair, it makes some degree of sense, because it's not as if water is actually soft. The idea that water can reliably break a fall is... Sort of a meme from Minecraft, for lack of a better term. You know, the MLG and all. But... Because in real life, you know, there's enough surface tension that if you hit water, it might not be as bad as hitting the ground, but it's still not landing on a cushion or, I don't know, some hay. And, oh, okay, and we still managed to get that even though we did another attack. I guess the big thing is, what combat arts do I even have? I've got Whirlwind Slash and Ichimonji Double, and that's it. I feel like having Nightjar Slash could actually be useful for fighting other Nightjars, as funny as that sounds. Nice! Okay, that was nice. And... One, and can we slam that down? Okay. Okay, give me 
bit more and... Okay, so actually blocking their initial attack was really useful, and blocking them in general, deflecting instead of focusing. Well, it depends on which ones they are, because some of the night jars are melee, some of them are ranged. Let's just see if we can... I'm definitely not going to be able to really backstab these guys, except for maybe one of them. I can backstab this guy. That's convenient. So the others, so some of them have Kama, or Sickles, some of the others are just throwing Shuriken. And the Nightjar Slash that I mentioned earlier is actually, it's not a ninja art, but it's a prosthetic art. As in, because Sekiro's whole deal, or Wolf as he's technically called, is that he has a- Oh my goodness, that was nice. One, and move in, and slash, slash, and die. Oh my- Ooh, wow, okay. Cool. One, and death blow, get a bit of that back after the death blow. Got a bit of health, restoration, and... Big thing is that if they use fire, we can't actually take them out of the way entirely. I mean, we can't deflect them entirely because fire goes through a physical block. Which is actually part of what makes it so useful when we use it. Because if we go up against many bosses who tend to block, we can use fire to deal with their posture, I mean their vitality. Because posture is orange, that's the bar that builds up under the red health bar. But... So posture is easier to break, generally, or faster to break at least, but, okay, come on, ooh, I couldn't block that, and posture is easier to break, but it regenerates, health does not regenerate, a lot of enemies will actually use these candies to regenerate posture, kind of like we use our ghoul to restore health, but no enemies, at least none that I've encountered yet, actually regenerate health. So, the more health you get down, the ac actually, the easier their posture is to break. It will... Their posture regenerates slower the lower their health is, and eventually it stops regenerating altogether. So, it can be a good way to... But up there... Where am I trying to go? Okay, so there's a Shachi Hoko over there that I can grapple onto to get on top of the castle. Presumably that might lead to... Genichiro, the boss of this area, but I'm not entirely sure. The thing is, oh, and of course they're hitting me like that. Come on, let's slam, slam with another end. One, ooh, okay. Slam, and okay, we got that back, but he regenerated his posture even after we got enough for a death blow. That's pretty weird. The big thing is, don't want to deal with that woo guy over there, and this was... We, this is a sign of that hidden room over there, and... Okay, so it's only at the base of the kite that the Wu guy will really see you. Should hopefully be another idol up here. I think I saw another grapple point. Maybe I didn't. I thought I saw something. It might have just been this point over here. But I really want to see if I can get to the top of the castle. Well, I'll definitely need to eventually, but... This way is... huh. Well, alright. Let's see what we can get to, and... Don't see any grapple points over here. It's probably just getting down there, then. Maybe. But at the very same time, I wonder what the point of that grapple point is if I couldn't get a pyre, other than just indicating the presence of the hidden room. Because most Souls games, to the extent that Sekiro is a Souls game, have hidden rooms, and as you can see, through the bars, you've got this tapestry on the other side, so whenever there are, you can usually cling to walls, usually for stealth, but if you cling oftentimes to human-shaped images on walls, it'll indicate a hidden wall, and it'll flip around and either send you somewhere as a shortcut or get you to a hidden room with treasure. So that over there gave me a treasure bead, and if you're familiar with Zelda, it's basically this game's equivalent of heart pieces, in that four prayer beads will give you a prayer necklace, which is basically the equivalent of a heart container. So you get a bit more health, and you also get a bit more posture. The big thing is that this is the Ashina Dojo. It's, you know, where they study martial arts, and... So the sword fighter over there, the... The, the Kinshi. Over here, and all the others. Some enemies, and there were some below that I also fought. The big thing, though, is... Oh, goodness! Oh, that's cool! The sound was very relevant there. Oh, goodness. Alright. One. Ooh, I did not time that right. Can we... Ooh, ooh. That was bad. 
Going for the stealth is going to be crucial for these guys, but... Oh, and he got close enough that I can't reset things in the idle. It really is just a Souls game in that sense. One, two, three, and... Oh, okay. Slam the Ichimonji. I'm also playing on a hard mode to an extent called Bell Demon, which, among other things, just... Oh, goodness. Ah. Just increases the damage of all enemies pretty significantly in exchange for more rare item drops. Ooh, okay. And one, two, and three. Ooh, but my posture was broken enough that we couldn't even go for the counterattack. Dodge and go for the Mikiri. That did not decrease your posture as nearly as much as I expected. One, and one, two. And don't think you'll break your own stance. Smart enough to avoid breaking your own stance. And really? Really? You're kidding. One, two, and... Ah, oh, your goodness. Can I go over now? Yeah, I can. Thanks. And it won't kick me out of the idol. The big thing is that on the other side of this dojo area... Well, below the dojo area, there is a walkway. And okay, so that's all broken. That's not good. Can we sneak up on you now? Yeah, we can. There are some rafters that we can use to hop on down, but if we do that, we do get to an area with another fencer and some normal weaker samurai. But over there, and I'm not sure how I can get over that brief bolt over that wall, if at all. But I believe the guy in there was a mini boss who should give us another prayer bead. We've got. I believe we have three right now. Just check my... Yeah, so we'd be able to get another prayer ne necklace, which would be useful. Oh, Hajime Mashtenshi, good to see you again. It... Well, it's very, very complicated. Well, not very complicated, but the big thing about it is it was made by the developers of the other Souls game, so it's got a lot of the similar game feel, and almost just as important, in my opinion, a lot of similar themes, such as... I think I talked a bit about this yesterday... But I don't blame if you don't remember, I yap a lot. But sort of letting go of the past, moving on to the future, not developing unhealthy attachments. But it's not a Souls game proper. It's not in the same sort of world or timeline. Because the three mainline Souls games, Demon Souls is different. It's a different setting that was eventually inspired the later Souls games. And oh, actually, we have... Uh, I probably want to save... I've gotten better at fighting Narjar, so I probably want to save those two experience points. Two skill points to get to five for the sake of getting a medicine healing upgrade. How are you doing? I, I, also. But, essentially, it takes in a real place in a real-world setting, though. The Ashina domain, where this all takes place, is not technically a real place, but Senpo Temple over there and Mount Kongo technically are, or at least Mount Kongo is. But the geography and the shape are not exactly... Correspond. The big thing is that they made up sort of a fictional domain in the real world period of Sengoku or the Warring States of Japan. Because the entire deal is that the main antagonist, who isn't really even a villain, is a guy named Genichiro, which means illusory first son because, well, he's adopted. And his entire goal is to take advantage of the power of the divine heir Kuro who's this little guy who is the charge, a person who Wolf, the main character, is trying to protect. Okay, so I can eavesdrop over here. Don't have enough salt. Shio wa tada no, not enough salt. So for cooking, wounds and purification. So we'll just use some salt. We're out then. Falling ill, get some salt then. So we can use that to tell a merchant about the soldier's need for salt. She'll use to supply more items. But... Essentially, the conquest of Japan by the Tokugawa, who eventually go on to make the Tokugawa shogunate, is one of the biggest plot events in here, because Genichiro, the reason he's trying to take advantage of the Divine Heir's heritage, of Kuro's heritage, is because Kuro grants the power of resurrection. That's the diegetic explanation for why we can come back from death. It's because the Lord who we serve gives us the power to resurrect. And frankly... Sekiro isn't skilled as much as he is just persistent, at least until you get more skill points and get better as a player. But essentially his idea is, 
and it did sort of ignores the fact, and that's the reason that Kuro doesn't want to cooperate, that the resurrective power it draws from the dragon's power, but if the dragon's power runs out, it drains from people around the area, which gives them a disease known as dragon rot, or actually more directly translated, dragon cough, which no one actually dies from it in-game, because that would prevent NPC quest lines from finishing, but mechanically it does prevent their quest lines from continuing while they're afflicted, and it is literally just their life force being drawn to power Sekiro's resurrection, which is actually similar to a D&D related RPG called Never... No, not Neverwinter, but I believe it's similar to Planescape, if I recall correctly. I know that there are a lot of at least one D&D game has a resurrection mechanic explained as sort of, you know, draining power from other people. Which does make it kind of funny, given that... Uh, Miyaza Hida Miyazaki Hidetaka, who is the... Oh, goodness. I didn't think we'd die there. The main thing is we didn't get the stealth kill on that Buddhist monk guy. And I think if we go in the water, we can be relatively safe. The big thing is that... Unlike other Souls games, when you die, you don't leave a blood sink containing your money, and, well, in other Souls games, your money and experience are the same thing, souls or runes or something else depending on the game. In this one, your skill experience and your money are separate, but if you do a true death, is in die without resurrection active, or die and choose not to use resurrection, or die and, you know, wait ten seconds for... And that does make it kind of arcade like in that... If you don't quit continue after long enough, the game just ends, technically. Get the game over state, but... Big thing is that... When you resurrect, you drain life from either the dragon's heritage or other people, very eventually after other people. So if you die without your resurrective power, or die instead of resurrecting, you will... Lose half your money and half your skill experience, unless... Unless you... Oh my goodness. These carp are vile. I, what I'm wondering is what I should use. Underwater I can use some options. Oh, but we don't have a loaded spear up. So the loaded spear is actually pretty good at killing fish. Which is silly as it sounds, but oh my goodness, what is... Can I... What? Oh, you have to use it from the surface. That's right. I... Wow, we died to the fish. That's really, really embarrassing. Okay. The big thing is, I should be able to get back up on top some way, and then use my idol to escape. I really... You know, dying to samurai is one thing, dying to a monk is another, dying to a fish is really, really embarrassing. That's what I get for playing on Bell Demon for my first playthrough. But... So, essentially, Genichiro wants to make the Ashina soldiers immortal, or at least undying, which is a little different. It's different between... There's a difference between it being outright invincible and just coming back to life on death. And a lot of other forms of immortality show up in the game. Well, actually, just one, which is that... Well, arguably, two. Which is that there's a sword that can summon people from the land of the dead, which eventually shows up as something else that Genichiro uses. And also, these centipedes that infest people and bestow them with immortality. So there are at least three kinds of immortality shown off in the game. But the big thing is that Kuro does not want to lend Genichiro his power, even though Genichiro, you know, understandably does not want his kingdom to be conquered by the Tokugawa. And, okay, we got one, we got a fish. I think we got both fish, which is good. Because it, of course gradually drains the vitality and kills other people. It's sort of, you know, what's the point of saving Ashina if pretty much everyone dies in the process? But... It is very interesting because that idea of a lot of evil being related to unhealthy attachment is, like I said, a big theme in other Souls games, but it's even more relevant when it's in a real-world setting, in my opinion. It's just very, very di directly resonant. In a very cool way to me. Okay. Big thing is, is that deflections are a good way to take down posture. So playing sort of in a defense is the best offense kind of way. It can be very effective. Oh, alright. I did not expect that. Big thing is, I want to sneak up on that guy. It simply does not work. 
Locking him into the water could be a way to make this work, but slam, slam, and one, two, jump it. Okay, slam down the Ijimonji. I got it. Ooh, other attack off this guy last time. Backstab, so I didn't have to fight him directly. And those, that icon is a kanji for danger because uh, eventually those attacks are unblockable. They're sweep attacks that, okay, slam, slam, and okay, one, two, and uh, if you actually break someone's posture by deflecting, you get a fun camera angle on that red dot indicating death blow ability, as I would call it, shows up. In the end, Sekiro is very different from other Souls games. One, it doesn't really even have a stamina meter. You could compare posture to stamina, but you can run around pretty much indefinitely, attack indefinitely without having to worry about stamina. Because every part of this game is balanced around the moveset of Wolf, or I suppose Okami. That's what Kuro calls him, but Ishin, who is one of the main supporting characters, sort of the original leader and Kenichiro's adoptive father, this old guy who's really good with a sword, names a Sekiro, which means one-armed wolf. Because when the game starts, he isn't one-armed yet. Or at least he doesn't have his prosthetic yet. He has. Oh, interesting. The question is, how can I sneak up on that monk without alerting the other guy? Quite frankly, I probably can't. Uh, yeah, this pier is tough. The thrust could be countered, but it's a lot harder to get that going when there are other guys around. But pretty much enemy, every enemy can be instantly killed if you get a death blow on them. Yeah, so I would rather be fighting this samurai then the monk over there and they drop these buddhist candies as well there we go and we managed to break posture with a deflection which means we got the funny camera angle so this is just looping around to the start of this over here this leads to the ashina dojo which this treasure chest gave us that poison sword i briefly showed off before this also just leads to another part of the castle is a shortcut to before and that's why, arguably, it really is a Souls game, because you have a lot of prompts where it says door does not open from this side, or shortcuts that lead back to earlier in the area, which, to a lot of people, is a pretty important part of the substance of Souls. It makes it at least somewhat similar to Metroid games, or Castlevania, or Metroidvania, whatever you call them, if you're familiar at all. So we found, okay, Old Grave is over here, so that should mean that the vendor nearby, who should give us a new prosthetic tool of shield umbrella should also be close by as well. So if I recall correctly, eventually this should lead to Sunken Valley. This gate over here, but I think it takes a bit more story progress that we need to beat a boss before we can actually continue all the way. Should also give us an ability to kill the giant snake that we saw earlier. I also like a lot how during the time period the game takes place, as in not as in Sengoku, but as in the season, it takes place during winter. So you've got a lot of snow, pretty much most places. It gives things a different atmosphere compared to other Souls games, where the seasons usually either aren't very relevant or it's more temperate. Okay, and who is over here? Oh, Monkey! Monkey! Okay. Interesting. I guess the question is... One... Two, and oh my goodness, can I? I can definitely parry the monkeys. If I can parry dogs, I can parry the monkeys. Gotta see if you weep and oh goodness, never mind. So if they did that weep attack, actually, that would be a perfect opportunity to try to snipe them out of the air with a shuriken. Or actually, if I had the anti air death blow attacks, I could just jump up and insta kill them while they were weeping at me. Which I will hopefully get from the merchant in the area. How much scent do I have? Yeah, I've got enough to buy his tool as well as secret technique. So if I go over here, I should see a locked gate, I believe. There might be a sculptor's idol as well. But I'm not going to hedge my bets. So what all is in here? Because we could go to the abandoned dungeon. We could go to Hirata Estate again in order to... Try to get some more prayer beads and send additional power-ups before fighting the boss, and that's almost certainly what we're supposed to do anyway. Boot of spirit, spirit emblems, but it's not as if I need to farm spirit emblems. Okay, so yeah, there is a 
another sculptor's idol over here. So once I can actually get into Sunken Valley with the key I should get, I believe, after defeating Genichiro, I will be able to teleport here instantly. And that said, it probably would be fun to try out some anti-air death blows on the monkeys. Which one is this? This is Great Serpent Shrine, and it's also part of Ashina. But Ashina Reservoir and the Abandoned Dungeon are areas that are after everything in the castle, so we don't really see anything there yet. Okay, so the question is, and there's something down there, another idol? Interesting. The question is, if I get over here, what am I going to find? I see an item over this way. What is this? An eel liver of banishing lightning, shock status, abnormality, and lightning attacks reduced. Force of the gods, which is actually very similar to how it's described in Souls. These dragons can be suppressed, although not for long. Yeah, because like I said before, in this game, there's fire, there's lightning. Depending on how you see it, either a third sort of magic damage type or an apparition damage type for enemies, because there's a specific way to block it, an umbrella upgrade, a shield umbrella upgrade that lets you block apparition damage, and the divine damage that we can inflict that deals more damage to apparition enemies. Something else down over there. I wonder the serpent is going to show up. Go down this way. I saw a save icon. That does not... I don't think that bodes well for me. Let's come in with the sculptor's idol and see where this is. This is Undershrine Valley and... Ah, oh, we've actually gotten to Sunken Valley. That... Okay, so the fog is starting to clear since we've seen more areas. So the castle, and you can see the bridge to the valley, I believe, a little over there. Very bottom, there should be various fights. I think the serpent should show up here. It's a giant snake who we saw earlier. Also, probably some bosses. Interesting location. And you are. Oh, what are. Oh, the snake eyes! Okay. And oh my goodness, you. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, wow! Okay. Huh. Maybe we should come back, or at least try that again. The big thing about this is... Mmm, and you are trying very hard to get me. I don't like that, and... So we died there. Let's drink our gourd before we die again, and... Yeah, the real question is... Well, if we get under here, I don't presume they'll be able to hit us. I know that to get the best possible ending, you have to do things in certain order. You also have to kill Snake. Both snakes. Well, you have to kill the one snake and then find the liver of a dead snake. Not the liver, I believe, but just the viscera, the organs of the snake. And here, there should also be another boss eventually. Oh, hello, Sniper. Soul of Ash. The question is, am I going to lose anything by going to Sunken Valley early? I think I might want to come here after Congo. Possibly, but I'm not quite sure. Then if we... Before you not notice me, we'll just kill you, and... Thanks, and that's not bad. We can actually block that very easily. Oh, okay, and... One... Oh, okay, I didn't know that was a thrust attack. And we can get a bit back upon killing you. Decent amount of experience, and big thing is that, okay, actually there's a grabbable ledge up here, so let's do that. We spam the grab button, eventually it just would not work, but this is more than fine. I believe this is, yep, another grabbable ledge. Go over here, we can cling to the wall and crawl out to hopefully find something. I'm definitely doing a bit of a sequence break here. Ignoring my objective of rescuing Kuro in favor of checking out- Oh, and this is back in Ashina outskirts. So what on earth have I actually gotten to? I am more than a little confused. So everything does seem to loop around a little. And these gravestones... Here's somebody coming- Oh, it's another gun guy. Let's take you down before... Oh my goodness, I couldn't even take you down. That's nonsense. But we can just spam normals and take you down that way. Oh, interesting. Okay. 
So we can't go over here yet, because we're going to need to dive underwater, and that will require another key item, sort of, that we get from killing a certain boss. So in that case, we'll have to come back later, but we did find this, and hopefully, I think we're mostly getting pacifying agents for... No, we got a, an additional prayer bead just for poking around. Lucky us. Okay, so nothing up there yet, but go back to the last place we were and, among other things, increase our health and vitality. Let me just see how much bigger the bar might get. That said, I don't think the bar ever gets bigger. It just increases total value contained in a bar of the same size. Let's not take up an inordinate amount of the screen, which is kind of sad to me, because one of the most enjoyable things about souls is when you get your health and stamina, and sometimes when mana is relevant, mana bars up, the bars just get longer and longer. Let's see. And... Fits the strong, fired your rampaging beast and nothing more. That was a blazing bolt I killed the last time. Pile of high, something had to be done. Oh, no, it did actually increase the length of the vitality bar a little, it seems. Yeah, because you can see, actually, there's a lot of space on the menu screen for the vitality bar to expand into, so to speak. So I just want to see where else I can get to in Sunken Valley. I am taking some notes. So it's Ashina Dojo, where there's a mini-boss that I need to fight, and also a water pool in Sunken Valley. Outskirts? Yeah. I should hopefully actually get the ability to dive later on this session? I'm not entirely sure, and then I can poke around and see what's in there. I think it might lead to sort of sunken, ghost-taken village, but I'm not entirely sure. I know that down here eventually there is going to be a big fight against an ape boss, but let's just see. Go down here. There's also you over that way. And before you do that, let's just take you down and thank you. Nice. You don't even have necessary attack up range. We were just able to take you down. So actually, this probably would be. The intention of that was to grab onto the lower wedge and avoid the gunfire, but we did not do that. Frankly, we didn't even really have to do that. Let's grapple up here, and... It's just, there's so much... So many acrobatic aspects of the combat in this game. It's honestly probably the best part. Okay, so, let's just Ichimonji on you, and... Oh, goodness, that... One, and... Slam, and... Okay, oh, the thrust did not... One... Oh, can that kick actually hit? Ichimonji, and another downward slash. So, there are other combat arts I could be trying to get and use, but that one deals a lot of posture damage to a single enemy, and it also recovers my own posture. So it's very, very good for dealing with single enemies, especially enemies that you want to fight by breaking posture. Especially in really hard fights where blocking attacks is going to be more necessary than outright deflecting them, meaning that my own posture will build up and eventually maybe break if I'm not smart. So the fact that Ichimonji recovers my posture when I use it is pretty helpful and only going to get more so. Okay. This is... Oh, there's a wizard! So eventually I'll be able to get a spell that allows me to... Whenever I kill certain enemies, or when I get a death bolt, I'll be able to coat my sword in blood for a bit of extra damage. But those lizards specifically, I can often can get a buff from them. Those are poison lizards, so you can actually get poison on your sword. Sabimaru, which is the small sword, inflicts poison naturally, but you can use that ninjutsu called bestowal in order to just apply it to the normal sword. There are also a few other effects, if I recall correctly, such as a life drain and damage one from a white wizard. I think there was a third, but I don't quite remember. I did see a video about it some time ago. Okay, so what am I gonna get from going through Sunken Valley early, if anything? Hi, hello. Slam and, oh goodness, I did not expect that. And, oh, and a giant cannon? I don't like that. I really don't like that. Let's come in with this idol first, in case something bad happens. This is 
Not a demonic Buddha. Oh, it's Rast and move those guys away. The big cannon guy, I would like to probably get a death blow on. Okay, so Sunken Valley, Undershrine Valley, Sunken Valley. And the Guardian Ape should theoretically be in here eventually. Going through here before Ganesha was very silly. Gun for it more formidable than we'd heard. Mech was to go in unprepared. Senpo Temple Bell. I... Honestly, might like to go here before fighting Genichiro. I think it'd be really funny to actually delay fighting Genichiro as much as possible. But I know that they're occasionally going places in the wrong order, if I recall correctly, can lock off certain endings, if I recall correctly. So I... Ooh, and it's basically a shotgun. Okay. Boom, boom. And even the charged was not as strong as I expected. So that means to me, I should... I definitely need to get a death blow on him. So the abandoned dungeon will lead to... Other spots. But to get to... Senpo, I go through... The abandoned dungeon. Where is... Here's somebody somewhere. Around this way, or... There is... Oh, I... Do I need to jump? To get... Oh, well, they spotted me. It's bad news. Do you feel like I'd like to try to get this combat encounter done successfully? If I want to be really funny, I could just use a healing gourd. I mean, use the flame vent on the big guy and deplete his vitality instead, but... Okay, and that simply does not work. Interesting. Don't like that. So there's no way to get a death blow on him. Interesting. Maybe actually... If I snuck up, and up on him from the side and did a vault over, it could be possible. But the description of vault over said it only worked on a posture-broken enemy. So I'm curious. Charge, and can we... Slam, slam, and... Oh, goodness, I need to... Sneak up and kill one of the other smaller gun guys. Okay. But it's very interesting, because... Part of it's probably just having bayonets affixed. They seem more like... Spearmen with gun attachments than actual gunmen. Okay, and sneaking up on you is going to be pretty much impossible. Yeah, alright, cool. Nice, and slam on you. So a single Ichimonji, double fully charged, will take you out without any real issue, but charge and oh, I did not expect the point blank. I expect you to be able to do that as quickly as you did. Okay, so the shotgun is here. We gotta find a way to use cover to take it down. Hello, friend. Hello. Go ahead, and we can block that pretty handily, which is good. And dodge. Oh, okay. I did not expect the delay on that slam. Okay, and slam that down. And jumping over it is actually... What more possible than I might expect? An oh my goodness, okay. Never mind. Uh huh. Let's dodge. Ooh, we just died straight up. That's not great. Okay, so. I think we can still take this guy down. We've got enough base healing, but. The vitality damage is. I. Okay. And actually, if we just keep up the pressure and focus on. If we're close enough, actually, it won't even hit us. Okay, interesting, and slam, slam, slam on you, and dodge, oh, never mind. So we can get a lot of, okay, kill you, and get a lot of damage in basically for free, and oh, wow, 297 skill points. Very, very nice. Okay. So either way, I want to go back to the old grave, because like I said, there should be... Presumably, the final idol is going to be Genichiro's room. Well, the Genichiro boss room. Let's simply keep on going and see what there is to see. There's a monk over there, and this is something I did not see before. Got to be thorough about this. Okay, and that old grave, and oh, a dragon blood drop, but, but we. I have deliberately avoided getting true death, so to speak, in order to not have to deal with people getting dragon rotted because the more effort I have to put into making sure that I can actually complete quests, the more annoying it's going to get. Oh, and there are a lot of things down here. 
Okay. So I'm gonna have to drop down there eventually. This part of the castle is not a part I've been to yet. So there. I can probably get up there eventually, but not right now. Hmm. Wedge clings and the rest is... Let's see. Get an item. Got you in sugar, so that's the stealth candy. And where is... Who spotted me? Okay, got the gun. No, I got with a cannon. Okay. Huh. So in that case... Where should I go to take him down? Multiple enemies have seen me, which is not good for me. Big thing is going to be getting inside. It's cannon for two. Oh, never mind. Never mind. And, oh, I did not mean to do that. Wait, what? Oh, my goodness. Controls are fighting me. So, how do I want to get inside? Actual. Okay, we can go over there and do a grappling hook attack on you and... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Okay, he fell down, though. Oh, that's good. Depleting his health is easier than depleting vitality, so can I... Oh my goodness, I... Okay. Cool. And can we... One, two, three, and... Thanks, death blow. A lot of gourds getting used up. I am unpleasantly surprised by that. And where is... Okay. Nice. So that Mikiri was very, very easy to pull off, but... This guy's a big hits, big damage. Take you down here and kind of swiping with your gun, but you don't even have a bayonet, so all they could do is push me. It's not a big issue as long as I actually avoid getting hit by the enemies, which, you know, easier said than done. Come on, come on, and over there, and what a C, what a C. That, that pagoda over there, forget exactly what it was. Okay, let's, no, we missed that. Annoying. We need to go up top. This so what originally was... Oh, that was, if I recall correctly, that was the Ishin Pagoda from when we fought Gyobu earlier. Things are actually quite small. We just die a lot, so they feel bigger. So that was... Yeah, we've just gone around. That's where we fought the first major boss, Gyobu. That's where Ishin was, and that over there was Ashin Outskirts, with the temple being even farther afield. So up top here, was there anything, or... It does not appear there was. It doesn't seem there's anything on that house, either. So, and we didn't take damage from the fall, which is good. So I see somebody down somewhere. And be shooting me. Oh, that's where that cannon is. Okay, so we gotta keep making use of cover. A certain ending? Oh, oh! If you're familiar at all, the best ending, or at least most complicated ending, is arguably the... Dragon's Homecoming? Because... Dragons in Japanese mythology, I think I mentioned this yesterday, actually. So I hope I'm not repeating myself too much. Came from China originally. So to get rid of the resurrection, this evil power. Well, not evil, but supernatural and kind of dangerous power. Basically, at the end, Sekiro Kuro and another character, the Divine Child of Resurrection, go back to China. So that's the most complicated one to get. It's arguably not maybe the hardest. Because the purification ending requires, which involves Sekiro dying, sacrificing himself to temporarily get rid of the divine resurrection power, at least for Kuro. The other basic quote-unquote good ending is Kuro actually dying near the mortal blade, called Immortal Severance. But, Dragon's Homecoming, purification requires fighting a super boss version of another boss, the Shinobi Owl. Purification, I mean, Dragon's Heritage does not, Homecoming does not require that. You can still do it anyway, especially since the lead-up to that boss gives you a few more upgrades. But it, it's a bit more complicated and you have to go check out a few more things. In particular, you have to kill both of the snakes. You have to kill the one snake and then get the other liver from the other snake. It's just a different kind of difficulty, I would suppose. And, oh my goodness, and we got hit in midair. I, oh, wow, okay. Huh, don't like this. Okay, we gotta stay out of the way of those guns, so what if I... The cannon in particular is gonna be annoying to take down, because... Cannon guys actually got a lot of poise, I mean, posture, in addition of 
just dealing a lot of damage, so... Fighting this guy will... There's nothing to get if we drop down here. That's just a trap, and... It didn't kill us, though, and I don't think that even hit. Okay, so, can we... And, oh, oh my goodness, wow. Okay. There's gotta be a shortcut back, and oh my lord, wow. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to try this again with a bit more attention paid to the power of the cannon. It's not just gonna kill me. It's probably just gonna kill me, right? Because yeah, when he knocks me down, that one big hit, you can also use pallets for additional healing, but... Okay, so you're gonna aim that over there, you're just gonna hit the floor. If only you could damage yourself. That would be really nice. But obviously, it's not an option. Does he see me? Does he see me? He does. I have to get a lot farther away to actually dodge. And, okay, cool, and... Alright, can we... Oh, no, never mind. Oh, what? Point blank? Gotta be kidding me. Okay, whatever. So that means we try this initial point again. Yeah, but the big thing is... I do want to use my skill points to get a healing gourd upgrade. The big thing about the endings is that they're really just kind of two groups. Three good endings of various capacities and one bad ending that actually ends the game early. But it has a different final boss than the rest and gives you a special combat art that you can't otherwise get without that ending. Do have got a 12th prayer bead, which is good, but that cannon guy is going to be in utter pain. Scantrel come running through here. After one, sure he came this way, and I think that's actually Black Hat Badger, a vendor. Is he wearing? Black Hat, yep, yeah, Black Hat Badger. Should give us the umbrella and the anti-air death blow. Raccoon, Badger, yep, yeah, exactly. They mistook him for a badger because he's one of the sort of midget ninjas. Garden gnomes, God bless them. For your criminal. He was on the run, no longer wanting to be a ninja. Oh, and we got some dialogue because we went in and he was robbed. Let's take this guy down, and can we... Let's just dodge that, and can we... Okay, so a stab is just enough to instantly take them down. The big question is... We're... Oh, hello. Hello, and Nikiti. Thank you very much. Gotta make sure the cannon guy gets into a place where we can deflect. The cannon attack he does is very anno- Oh, wow. That took a lot more to deflect than I expected. Oh. Oh, and there's a lingering AoE. Okay, nice. And just... Well, you fell down. You took a little bit of damage, I think. Oh, and it hit me through the wall. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And dodge and... Okay, cool. One, two, and... Deflect and... Okay, so deflecting that attack is actually not that bad, but it comes under delay, so I need to be patient. I can't try to rush things there. Some light gunpowder. I mean, black gunpowder and a light twin purse, which... Gunpowder should be nice. So we can kill that monkey, get a little bit from that death blow, too. Basically no experience, though. Makes sense, but still. Hi, and stab. Get that death blow off. It was harder to see because we weren't locked on it. Oh, come on. The timing on that was... Impeccable for them. Okay, cool. Get another death blow off, kill up, and take down. Cannon man up top. Just, I gotta kill everyone. They're in this game, and they're in my way. I need to test my battle skills on every possible enemy. Okay, so there we are, and oh, that hit me. What, what? Okay. Cool, cool, and... Thank you. One, two, and... Thank you! So that worked a lot better. It's just... So deflections actually work very well on him. It's just... Unless you're patient, you're not going to get those. I know that at one point, there's going to be a... Crankable... Well, a broken ceiling on one of these buildings, and... Get up here. So this is where Badger should be. Hello, friend. Eh? Dakara? Troublesome, very informal speaking. Now, your cronies. Oh my goodness. Oh, and like the other ninjas, he's not even wearing it. He's just wearing a loincloth. Oh my goodness. 
Whatever. Kurakasa Mujina. Just Black Hat Badger, yeah. So Mujina is actually what Sayu calls herself. She's not a Tanoki, she's a Mujina, not a raccoon dog, but a badger, stubborn lot. Boys raising hell outside. Do you get any better? Onoshi? Nukenin? Fugitive ninja? Out of pocket, goods no one to sell them to, so I'm you to show up. Let's buy, I guess we could buy some Yashiri sugar. Oh, oh, Inhuman has Vitality and Posture. Large boost. That could be fun to try and bite down. Not limit after use. You can use that to die deliberately. You think you will in order to keep your resurrections up in the far west. Oh, so this is a European Iron Umbrella. Then users deflect errors and even bullets. Some po assassins decided its weight was impractical. Use this to make the loaded umbrella. Air death boast, gun locked upon acquiring. Shinobi not bound by earth. Suppose the midair strike killing him before he hits the ground. There we go. Hear about this one. Ome. Chiteruka. Rats. So other Senpo assassins. What does that mean? Old timer cutting up like it was nothing. That's Ishin himself in the guise of the Tango of Ashina. Yep. Tango no main. Tango mask. Mm -hmm. Yes, we spoke. Full of surprises. So you keep your head. Kubigatsunakata, yeah, keep your head. But this one, okay, same, what have we said we hadn't heard? The castle gates, Onegyobu, Gyobu the demon. Watch towers near Serpent Valley. The, the, oh, okay, so they're describing that pagoda is a watchtower, well informed. Now, skin, old geezer, badgers, and rodents. And the prophet, Zenigata. Money. Okay, so what could I find over this way, maybe? I feel like there might be an item in- Oh, that reminds me, I- Something over in Ashina Reservoir that I forgot. Go sugar, there was a- Should keep clearing out this area before I weave and make the enemies come back. There was an item and a- It's a shortcut to- Oh, that's really cool. I didn't even think about it, but that's the side of Ashina- Outskirts that we got to originally. This is the Serpent Valley where the serpent first showed up. It's kind of crazy how small the world map for Sekiro actually is. But it keeps things connected in a cool way. Because it is, you know, a very small domain in Sengoku, Japan, even if they have access to truly fearsome supernatural powers. Keeps it grounded in a weird kind of way, despite being so supernatural. I do like that. So, we're gonna have to jump up, a bit of grappling, and there's no shortcut over what we just saw from the other side. It's not even a shortcut, all it is is just sort of display the interconnectedness of the world, but even in spite of that, it's very, very cool. Wait, so, this isn't the way over to Genichiro. What was I supposed to find here? How am I supposed to get to Genichiro? I'm actually kind of at a loss right now. But before any of that, I need to go back to the reservoir real quickly because there's something I need to see. And that is an item that I left on a tower shortly after a mini boss. So we get over here and. Yeah, so I suppose this was literally just to get to Badger, which is meaningful because the upgrade that he gives is very, very good, but I'm kind of surprised at how minimal this was. Alright, this I won't complain too much. Gotta go back to the reservoir real quickly, and then I definitely will want to go through the dungeon. So that's full. Outskirts is full. Simple. Hirata, probably back to Hirata in order to try to take down a certain boss and... <sighs> because I went to Hirata earlier, much earlier, both other gameplay sessions, but I did not beat the boss. I beat a kind of mini-boss enemy. It wasn't even named, it was just... A Tokugawa ninja that I found particularly annoying. Hmm. Okay, and we can... No, we can't get that. But a couple Ichimojis will do this. 
The funniest thing about this game is you can parry the dogs. When the dog charges at you, if you time your parry right, your block right, you block the dog and get an instant death blow. It's kind of sad, actually, because it's not like the dogs are evil. They were just trained by bad people. These Taro troops are also a little annoying, but I can just run past them. What I'm trying to do is get to the top of this tower. Travel up here, there should be an item up top. We just escape, and what was this? This is... Oh, just a bundled Jizo, which gives me more resurrective power. That's not nothing, but... We go up here, and anything up here? There is nothing up here. Oh, we need to get in the reservoir then, so... I think the best thing to do would be to, be to go to the dungeon, maybe? There's also... The Ashina Dojo, I feel as if I need to continue through there to get to Genichiro. But I'm not entirely certain. I'm gonna go over, take more of those guys down, and if it's the antechamber, you know, the before chamber, presumably there should be an, a post chamber, or at least a main chamber, an, an after chamber. Never mind. So, let me simply keep on going over this way, and take you down, avoid making a sound, and don't, you don't see me, which is good. I do like that in other Souls games where there are stealth aspects, making a sound normally doesn't actually make a difference. You know, they don't really take notice of any kind of object interactions, but in this one, if you knock into obstacles or objects around, it will generally actually alert enemies, which I appreciate. There's also the stealth skill, the reduced presence one. That's the real question. Maybe I should take that skill. Well, definitely eventually, but the stealth required is... We're here doing a... playing a game or doing a tea ceremony? Let's go over there, we can get one death blow. So this fencer is more annoying than the other guy for sure, but... Dodge, dodge, and oh, I did not get what I wanted to, so... Charge with the Ijimonji and... Dodge, oh no, what? There was an- oh right, there was another, I forgot there was another! Right, right, oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. Slam, slam, and okay, do oh... Dodging's not good. Dodging is not gonna do the trick here, right? Big thing is, is, yeah, because he was over in that part. Hmm, what if I charge up and go for a big Ichimonji? And dodge, and ooh, I didn't think that would, thought I'd be able to dodge out of that, but no, you can't cancel. So that door is not actually openable right now. That's the thing. There doesn't seem to be a way to get in through the side or anything, so... Can't get him through there. There is this hidden wall, but it doesn't let me get to the other part of the dojo. So what even is? There's a treasure chest here, but not much else I can get out of this. Huh. Oh, and right, I didn't see that heavy coin first when I went in here originally. So how am I gonna get to the other side of the dojo? Probably going around outside. Hmm. I do wanna take down that other fencer on the other side of the dojo, who I believe is gonna be an Ashina Elite, if I recall correctly. I don't know for sure, though. Yeah, but there is this 30% unseen aid at the bottom that indicates that there's a 30% chance on death that I don't lose my money and half of my money and experience, but it's not exactly guaranteed or easy to make happen. But I just... Through here, I'm not sure exactly how I'm meant to progress. If nothing else, the guys around here do drop important items for aesthetic upgrades, and that's right, I need to go back to the temple, dilapidated temple real briefly, in order to upgrade my prosthetic by fitting the umbrella to it. We'll see what happens. So Emma over here and remnant menu not available is... wait, what? 
Oh, because right, I'm not doing online mode because it's there's no real multiplayer, so it's just a distraction. Have yous. All the gourd seeds we have right now, so I don't think Emma will have anything special to say at the moment. Put something and present the prosthetic. Fit new tool. Loaded umbrella. I won't protect from sweep attacks. All directions. Protect from light attacks. Indestructible iron ribbed umbrella. In all directions. Fan deployed. Block lighter attacks as you move. Umbrella deflect. Easier to time than sword deflects. Get that and can we upgrade this at all? We can not upgrade this right now. Hmm. So gouging top. Cleave spear with the magnetite we have. Front of Kuna is interesting, but hmm, unguarded. But we don't have the lumps of fat wax. Hmm. Lady Butterfly, who is the boss in Hiroda Estate I mentioned earlier, is Phantom Kuna is really good against her, which is funny because it's technically her own weapon. Because if I want to be funny, get that. I need four lumps of fat wax for that, and then I would need two more things of magnetite. I guess the question is, do I go to Hirata first, or Umbrella Magnet? That's good, but... Breakable, Umbrella Deflect, easier to time, Shelter. Shelter. Block, Guard from all directions, Umbrella Deflect, Umbrella Spin, but it's more defensive than the normal loaded Umbrella. Well, I like Umbrella, but I don't have... The tool I need to get that yet. Don't have the finger whistle. Hmm. Interesting, but they're in six tour tiers after the basic prosthetic. The mechanical barrel we got from killing Gyobu, this mounted warrior guy. But I. None of these are. Even if guarded, I. This might actually be better. It'll work for the fight. Traditional energy, but oh, I don't have enough Sen right now, that's right. And talk about, he just talks about carving Buddhas and then looking wrathful, so. Hmm, alright. Dewa, Mata. Let's use one of those light coin purses to upgrade to gouging top, because the big thing is that aerial enemies are very, very weak. Well, any enemy, when it's currently in the air, is exceptionally weak, to the shuriken specifically. And the issue is that Lady Butterfly will go up in the air and stay there and actually block things in the air. But if I use Gouging Top, in theory, it's not going to be as strong as the Phantom Kunai, but this also... I think this might cost more Spirit Emblems than the shuriken. Even when guarded, penetrating effect, and spinning throw, spinning throw, because this is just a strict upgrade of this one. So some of them are strict upgrades, some of them are not. So we've gotten a tier 3, so tier 5 is unlocked. Raining money, and oh, that goes straight to a tier 5 that comes straight from a tier 3, and that's interesting. So some of the upgrades require multiple upgrades to get, for example, for whatever reason, the improved Sabimaru. Presumably because maybe the Fire Axe uses the same mechanism, combo mechanism, that the improved Sabimaru gets. But it's all very inc incremental, which I find cool. Shuriken, but that also needs the Mist Raven. That doesn't make as much sense. Let's see briefly. Kind of. This is going to require Lazlite eventually, which we only get if we go for one of the good endings, which we will, so... It's not a problem, but Weeping Flame, Piercing Sabimaru even through Guard. This is a further improved Sabimaru, so it's even better than Combo. Change it. So this is just a purely better version. That said, you can still use the weaker versions of the tools, but there are some upgrades that aren't purely improvements. Gouging Top, further enhanced, and if guarded, because... This is basic, this adds the ability to charge it. Shams are jumping enemies, but this doesn't right. Describes it a bit differently. So it's a trait of all of them, but the big thing is this is normal, gives you the charge, and this also gives you the charge, but also breaks guard. This should be nice. Let's see how this looks. 
Okay. This is... Seems to have a bit of a brighter effect. Because this... Yep, exactly. There's no flash to it. Whereas the gouge top has a flash, even. Bit of a flash. Even when you don't charge it fully. And that should be good, so I think it would be a good time to go back to Hirata. Stay. There are a number of things I wanted to try to get. There's a mini boss who I'd like to try to take down. I might try using Flame Vent on him. So there's also a number. I think going through and killing some of the enemies over here just for the sake of trying to get a bit more oil from them, because if I'm going to be using Flame Vent on some of the harder enemies, it would behoove me to do it that way. So we came through over here. What's funny is that if you touch the burning part of the wall, it'll actually damage you. Not here, but the bamboo thicket slope. There are a bunch of enemies who drop oil. And the big thing about oil is that, like I mentioned before, damaging vitality is a good way to make posture breaks easier. And if I... Oh, goodness. Thank you. Up there and... Oh, okay, that hit me, but not much. Uh, I think my defenses are also a little bit better with that prayer beat upgrade. Though I'm not entirely sure. Damaging vitality makes it easier to damage posture. Which, okay, nice. One of our skills that I unlocked that... One of the skills that I unlock also gives me more posture damage for a little while after landing deflection, which makes things a bit easier. There we go, and we actually took the vitality down straight, which is nice. Dodge and want two. Thanks, die. It does seem like we're taking less damage too, which is good. But as I was saying, thank you, die. Ah. The flame vent deals vitality damage, but the posture damage is not connected. The big thing is that if you oil up an enemy, they'll take significantly more damage from the flame vent and be a lot more vulnerable to burning, which deals a little bit of damage over time, which among other things prevents their posture from healing. If they keep taking damage, their posture won't get restored. The issue is that it's very, very easy to let an enemy kind of step back and regain its posture if you're not willing to be incredibly aggressive, which... Quite frankly, when I'm playing on, you know, strengthened enemies, Bell Demon difficulty makes that a bit more difficult. There is a further difficulty increase related to... Okay, we get we need the axe in order to take down the wooden shields of the enemies over here. And... As I was saying... Flame vent, flame vent, sun. Big thing is... I lost my train of thought. Posture damage is strong, but... It's not everything, and the oil just... Makes it easier to put burn on enemies, which further keeps their posture from decreasing and just makes the fights easier. Thank you. Oh, I did not block that right. Thanks, and can we... Go for the Ichimonji, and just... So you're gonna jump, jump, three, and... Thank you. Nice. We can slam on you, and there we go. Stab, and take the big guy down. So this was just for fun, basically. That said, it is getting closer to next skill point. The big thing is, I wouldn't like to have a lot of set on me, and a lot of skill points on me when I go for the actual boss fights here. But going in here gave us a key. This is the corpse of Supposedly the corpse of Owl, he's not actually dead. We have to follow the cliff, cemetery, path the inner estate, leave it to me. The adoptive father of Sekiro. So over here would be... Hmm. That said, there's nothing to do with that gravel point, really. So we have to go... Down here then, and... Thank you. Should be... Workable. Lead to a point where I can... I already got to the truly in flames portion, which is where the bosses of the area are going to be, but I do want to show off what remains of the area. Hello there, mister. Carrying a torch with a big... big old sword. 
Now you're Mr. Dad. Okay. Didn't drop any oil, which is kind of sad. And let's eavesdrop on you. And this is go they're guarding the way out. Which... See anybody else? Let's eavesdrop and kill. Well, they were talking about guarding the exit, which... Thank you, and... Come on. Oh, alright, and... Oh, my... Okay. Dodge, dodge. Ooh, please. I'm not expecting that garbage. Why can't I... Why can't I dodge? Uh, the train was blocking me in a way that I simply did not expect or see coming. That was really annoying. Thanks, thanks, and ooh. Ooh, my goodness. One, two, dodge, dodge, dodge. Thanks, take that down, and go for death blow, and slam. Sl oh, my, okay. Thanks. Goodness. I'm fighting multiple enemies at once is hard, especially since I don't have any combat arts that are really focused on any kind of AoE. Still chilling, though. We are close to getting another skill point, so... When we get in a serious situation, we should do that. And can we... Okay, not even a death blow. That's kind of sad. Just killed, which is not how we wanted to do this. Okay, so... Go over here and... This is where we were before, and oh, there was another guy. Oh well. Hi. Ichimonji, and even the single initial hit from the air actually broke posture immediately. Nice. So you can actually do kind of a Mario style wall jump, which is funny. On walls with white markings, in the same way that walls, wedges with white markings are jumpable. This is just where we were before, so nothing too complicated. There should be. Is Anayama around here? You know that Anayama's somewhere in here on a estate in the flashback. And if you want, you can actually kill him there, but obviously there's no reason to kill the most constant merchant in the game. And okay, yeah, we're taking some damage from that, so... The path through here is significantly constrained. That's life. How do we want to do this? What are we going to be able to find? And okay, I see you. Thank you. Out of my way. Take that down, and... We are almost to another skill point. Hmm. A uh, patrol path, and... What through here? Can I... If you're coming over this way, we can... Stay out of your way. I want to stay at a point where the bow guy can't get me. Hello there, hi. And... Thanks, and oh... Alright, and nice! Ooh, I, okay. Charge, and more posture damage from that, so I can... Thanks. Thanks. Okay, I... The delay on the axe wings makes that a lot harder to get than I might like. Thanks. Go for the kill, and bow guy shouldn't be hard to deal with, so we'll just move in and charge a stab up. Very blackened blood. I wonder the extent of that's... The lighting, the extent it might be out of censorship, who knows. Not really my problem. Oh, okay. Dodge, okay. So we blocked that Mikiri, which... Oh my, okay. I did not expect that. Come on. Did not see you coming. Is that a bow guy? Don't think. Getting close. Thanks. 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 And we actually managed to kill with pure deflection, so let's... Dodge. Oh, I thought I'd be able to get the Ichimonji off. Well, whatever. I Okay. Oh, no. Stabbed. Annoying. How do we want to... We go for the Mikiri. We can instantly just counter the thrust. Annoying bandits. Just do something, will ya? Go for the thrust attack. I... Finding the axe guy at the same time as you is trouble. Maybe I could try just having Roland Slash equipped at the same time? I don't know. I don't even know. Oh goodness, so... Let's slam that and go for another death blow. Hello there, hi. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. No. Mikiri, and get that. I am not as good as dealing with torch attacks as I should be. Well, in the end, it's not like it matters all that much. Supposed to do it that way anyway, and can we go through here? We can't go through there, it doesn't even damage us, it's just invisible wall to your fire. Okay, cool. 
Huh? If you've played the... Well, this... So that will damage me, so presumably I can actually get through there somehow. If you played the Iridori Festival event that... Wait, what? That hurts? And also the Warrior Spirit event. I think a lot of Sekiro should feel a little familiar with you. As it was basically Genshin's imitation Sekiro combat event. And it was really, really fun as a result. The fact that it didn't have a posture system, but just had a health system was... You know, probably kind of a necessary evil, because... The aggression that this system requires is one of its best aspects, but also one of its most... Maybe not unforgiving, but one of its most challenging. Okay, so... Whatever was in that chest has been taken. So who all should be in here? I feel like Anayama might be in this area. And this is... Okay, more Devon Confetti, so that'll be good on apparitions later. So some spirit emblems around, which presumably actually are because people were killed here and their grudge was left behind. Dowsing powder for treating burns, and what is... Well, it's just here, other guys, we got absolutely brutalized by the bandits, because, if I recall correctly, it's because the owl led him here to try to take possession of Kuro's divine heritage powers. There's water in here. Yet it! It was also an event with Scar irrelevance. That's one of the most important parts. Yeah, it. The big thing about it is, eventually, I feel they have to bring back some way to access old story content. Just because the game gets increasingly harder to get into, the more is gone, and not just the more is happened, but the more is totally inaccessible. Oh, so this guy, if we talk to him beforehand, we'll be able to get his help with the mini boss fight. And the big thing is that that will distract. The big guy in Juzo the Drunkard over there, who otherwise, I believe, we don't have a way to actually fight without alerting him. Okay. Get over here. Thanks, and- oh, goodness. Okay. Let's get over here, and- Thanks. For a slash- okay. Thanks- oh my goodness, I did not tell that right. Dodge me, kitty. Thank you. Okay, cool. Yeah, but- Honestly, the best part of Iridori to me it was definitely the parry-based combat event. And, okay, so... I don't think we can actually sneak up on Juzo from over here, because he... We definitely cannot sneak up on Juzo. He's too far behind, because he's right there in that entrance, which means... There's a fog wall, which means... To get to Lady Butterfly, who presumably is behind there, we need to take out. Big guy Juzo first. So we talk to that samurai, he'll help out and distract him to get a get a back turn death blow on Juzo and sneak around because it'll make him advance a little. But aside from that, and can we go over here yet? We can. So the music isn't playing, so what might be over here? That's all the fire. It does not appear like there's anything here. That's fine. And we can't go under the floorboards with the Toronto. But, I agree. At the very least, they could at least do another Iridori event. Kind of like how they've had other Wind Bloom events, even though the first Wind Bloom still is inaccessible, though it should be. Especially since they've gone out of their way to make features that allow you to... I wouldn't say stack events, but do... Avoid having quests to interfere with each other. It feels like a way that they could do things such as making... I don't know, the old Dragon Spawn event? playable is one of the reasons, in my opinion, that it, that they never brought it back, besides, you know, taking advantage of FOMO, frankly, is part of the event requires replacing the cryohypostasis in its position with the boosted cryo regispine, and without a system really manage changes and conflicting quests like that, like they've introduced with things like focus experience mode, and even back in 4.1 with... Mm. Basically, the notification saying, hey, maybe don't start the Fortress of Meripeed quest, because it'll interfere with the Archon quest. Stuff like that. I did not mean to do that. I meant to switch my prosthetic tool. I'm an idiot. So actually, the Firecracker is probably a good idea to use here. 
on Juzo, but we could also use fire, but there's... Actually, yeah, you know what? We are always down for the flame vent. Truly the most sus prosthetic. Yeah, and beyond the fact that HSR does undeniably get a lot more quality of life, HSR also just... let me see something. It's not as focused on its open world, so it can more afford to just have things change around. Like, it, a lot of, I've had discussions which have gotten unfortunately heated with people about the differences between the games, basically saying, oh, you know, I, there was someone I was talking to who despised the new Imagineering Theater mode because, you know, because it forces horizontal investment through somewhat heavy-handed means, and they're like, son something, buffs, 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 and... The big thing is that they were talking about how, oh, you can use any character in stuff like Pure Fiction or Simulated Universe in HSR, which to be fair is only secondhand knowledge for me, but I said, well, Genshin is largely, a lot of things are balanced around the open world because the open world is a big part of their content. In HSR, Simulated Universe, Pure Fiction, similar modes are basically the entire game besides story. The exploration is not nearly as big of a portion. It's a very different kind of game. It's not bad, it's not good, it just is. Oh, this guy's tall. We are tiny. Aburushinobi, a worthy. Protect Ward Kuro, same as mine. Forgive me, should I fail Ishin? Tomonimaru? Fight together. Oh, okay. So we can sneak around the side then and get that death ball. Nogami Gensai. Okay, Warekoso. Get Ashino when they claim this land, so we can get the stealth death blow I want. Okay, so he doesn't see me, which means get a number of stealth death blows. Hopefully, so let's kill. Get Juzo before. Can we? Oh, we can't get Juzo, can we? I. Okay, never mind. And did. Oh my goodness, can I? Oh, come on. Fair. I guess the big thing to me is. Feels good for your characters to be strong, and... Oh, bro bro just died. Okay. Cool. And... No, he's almost dead. Almost. One, two, and... Failed. Oh, goodness. I... Not getting that stealth death will definitely hurt things. The big question is... Would he come back... If I... Respot... Reset the encounter? And... Let's see real quick. Yeah, in the end, not everyone is really big into the sweaty gameplay. And a lot of it, frankly, is just, if you want to really get into that, it has to kind of be the only game you play. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but still. You know, Genshin is my one live service game, basically. Because I get really into stuff like Abyss and a lot of the more difficult combat challenge events, but... As a result, I don't really have the time to play something like Star Rail. I've had people suggest it to me, and it looks pretty cool. That said, I I have other turn-based games that I would like to play, for example, such as the earlier Final Fantasy games, but... Genshin occupies a pretty unique position for me in that it's... an action RPG which is fun and has interesting combat without being too crazy a lot of the time. So it occupies a good, balanced position for me. Let me just see, I... Mm, and I... There's a bow guy over there who I should take out first. Actually, two of them. So I want to take out this encounter without dealing with too much garbage, so can I. Stab, stab, and get you away. And more guys over this way, so I can lure in. Yeah. But if you want to play multiple of those games at once, you can't really afford to be too invested in one. Uh, and that's just, you know, it's a personal choice. It's just a way of, way of playing. Okay, so Ichimonji is very, very good here. Let's just slam and get posture breaks on you. And, okay, can we... Nice, another... Oh, goodness, I... Okay. Let's get that money. And... Ichimonji and... Oh, my... Oh, I was locked on the wrong guy. You're kidding. You've gotta be kidding me. Thanks. Death blow. Should be able to get a few more. And... Thanks. 
Slam, and oh my goodness. Axe guys are so strong. Okay. Yeah. But I think it is important to have character balance, which is why, like I said before, I'm so excited for the prospect of A7 passives, even if it does require leveling the character all the way to 100. This provides just such an important... Okay, so he does respawn. That's good. Such an important opportunity to rebalance characters. You know, characters who just currently suck, like Amber and Xin Yan and Dia. And they're all pyro. Funny how that works. There's an opportunity that the devs have to, you know, make them good. And there we go. Or at least more serviceable. There are so many issues with Amber's kit that I feel like any A7 passes that fix her would have to be some kind of complete overhaul. Which, who knows how that would work. Okay, so it comes back, so it's not just a one-time thing, which is nice. In Dark Souls 3, I believe, if you fail the first fight against... If you want Sigmire or die in one of the... This Onion Knight guy die in one of the big fights, he just does not come back. So let's go over there and can we... Do you see me? Do you see me? I... I... Oh, we couldn't sneak up. That's really, really annoying. Yeah, that... I think that's not a coincidence that Imaginarium Theater came out now. A little bit beforehand. And I, it's also probably not a coincidence that the rumors of a level 100 uncap are coming around surrounding Not One release. It's... It would make a lot of sense to me. Oh, so he showed up a little. Interesting. So that skill point might be tough to get. We'll see what happens. As in, it might be easy to miss it, but... The more healing we get on the gourd, the more durability we have, the better. Need to survive that way. And... Kill the bow, kill the bow guy, and... Other bow guys over there, so... Stab and... Okay, thanks. Got that back. And then... Hello there, hello. Oh, but you're not approaching. This. Smart. And slam. Take that down. Good old Ichimonji, and... Come on, come on, and... How do I want to... Get in close, get in close, let me... Slam this down on you. Big posture breaking strike, and... Hello there, hi. Hmm... I should have used the jump as a gap closer, probably. Thanks. Dodge... Oh. That would've been deflection time. Thanks, thanks. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Slam... Ah, what? No, never mind. Thanks, and death blow on you. Cool, and... Alright. Hmm. Slam, slam. Ichimonji double, again, is probably the best combat art in the game. Big thing is, is that sticky up on Juzo. I'm not quite sure how I want to do it. I might actually need to get that reduced sound skill, which I actually could now. I do have exactly enough points. That would get me even farther away from getting the medicine one, and I'm not sure I'd want to do that. But it is good that he respawns every time. Dodge. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, whatever. That Mikuri was improperly timed. But... The Shinobi Medicine is going to be very useful. Okay, cool. So we sneak up from behind, from the side, and get him involved. Oh, but he saw me. That's not good. Water of Kosova. So, let's use this axe. Break your shield. Oh, they're high. So if we stay away from him, we can use him for help, presumably. And can we... Oh my goodness, I... alright. What? Oh, wow. Yeah, this... this is tough. It's cool how he poisons his sword, though. So we're gonna need to restart this fight again, as usual. It's... and a lot of it is just, I do want to get the first stealth death blow, and I do want Gensai to survive, which... There's no special reward for having him survive, but it would certainly make things... It's something to brag about, you know? And, you know, every time I go through and fail, I do get a few more skill points, so... It'd be really funny if I got medicine at that point. Got the medicine before even finishing the point, but... Big question is, I don't know how many skill points I'll get from killing Lady Butterfly. That... Will be somewhat useful, but... Big thing is that if I die a bunch while fighting Lady Butterfly, that's going to mean... Getting farther away from my objective as well. 
so we're over there, so let's go in and stab you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay. It's just I need to figure out how to actually get the sneak. And there we are. The stab and other stuff also works. So can we Ichimonji and take that down? And now we have another guy in the axe guy. Oh, the guy snuck up. Uh, can we slam, slam, deflect, deflect, and no, no, we, no, we didn't. Thanks. Get that kill. Get that other slam on you. Yeah, if we're just doing normal ones. The aerial ones do the same health and posture as the normal ones, but they're... Who just spotted me? What? Okay, whatever. Pretend whatever that was didn't just happen. So we go through, clear out the side, get milk on the against side to go up, then we sneak around the side ourselves and stab Juzo. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna have to fight him normally. It's whatever. And maybe what against I die. Thank you, Mikiring, and this should be the way. The question is, how can I sneak up successfully without alerting him? And I feel like I, this doesn't work. I am going to buy the increased stealth skill. Thank you, thank you. Cool. Nice battle cry. A lot of cool. And so oil will help us take down Juzo. Benitori and. Shima, Torio, and... Oh, goodness, so... That stealth death blow is simply not happening, is it? Well, we can sneak up on get a lot of that, which is good, but... You don't seem to... Okay, oh, and a sweep attack on me. I don't like that. Come on, let's just sneak and stab it. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow, okay. Interesting. Give me a bit more gourd and... Okay, the other guys, though, are... Gonna try to take him down too, so I... Alright, thanks, and... Take you down, cool. Now we need our oil and our flame vent. Hello, hello. Nice, and just... Charge that up, and... Boom! I see that hit. I don't think that hit him. I right, okay. Nice, and... Can we... Shimonji double, and... Thanks. Cool, alright, all right, and... Jump out of the way, slam you, and... Go over, double team again, and oh my goodness, I- what? Okay, I definitely need that present skill. That he doesn't have any, okay, and deflections are good, but he's gonna die. Thanks, thanks, and oh my goodness, I- okay, poison, wow. Do not kill him, please, I- I'm begging. Let's charge it up and slam you down with that end. Thanks, thanks, and okay, charge, swing. Really, you got to be kidding me. Dodge, and thanks. Okay, so we got the cool camera angle, but I can't accept this. I definitely, uh, I don't care anymore. Nothing special comes from this, so let's just kill this guy. Oh, and he drinks now. Okay, cool. Interesting, and boom, flame. Nice. What if I jump it, swing with the Ijimonji, and just... Thanks, thanks, thanks. Ooh, okay, interesting, and slam, and Ijimonji again, and... Thanks, and swing, and slam that down, and cool. Dodge, thanks, thank you, and... Okay, oh, oh my goodness. It's not great. Doing Gord and... Okay. Let's actually maybe use some more oil. Thanks. And... Flame vent and... Oh, Doku. Not good. Okay, so how should I... Well, among other things, I can... What, can I jump? I can't jump on you. I'm alright. Huh. Now, playing on Bell Demon is not doing me favors in terms of trying to save him. Use that antidote powder and thank you. Alright, then. Maybe we use more oil then, and can we... Boom, and did that successfully burn him? It did, nice. Slam, and oh, the sweep is not great to deal with. Thanks, thank you, and oh, all right. Ah, so that's death. Which means, time to try that one more time. Now, I'm just gonna get the reduced presence one. I really don't have any 
reason not to at this point. I mean, it's not reduced presence, it's muffled sound, I believe. Or I could just use Agachi. I should just use Agachi, sure. That's right. Gachi ends, and then we run in, get the stealth death blow off. That should make it work. Just need to be willing to actually use my stealth candy. Which, I mean, to be fair, it's that's what they're there for. I do find it interesting, though, that it's something you can do. Just get increased stealth from a consumable. Which makes sense, but still. Okay, kill that guy again, use the gachi in. I guess the big question is... To what extent do the stealth, stealth buffs stack? You know, if you use a gachi in when you've already got the reduced sound buff, how much more can it actually change? How much more are you gonna... Oh, okay. Expecting that Mickey to not be necessary. I was expecting to be able to just block. Okay, so that come over there too. Thank you, and slam, go for the Ichimonji. Someone else is coming. Okay, cool. Oh, they're high, and slam it. Oh, okay, that was faster than I expected. Not as fast as a normal Ichimonji, but... And that hit, which is good, and... Thanks. And, oh my goodness, okay. Thank you. Die. Thanks. And can we... Slam. And, oh, that damaged me. Okay. And what if we... Thanks. Damage. And slam. Nice! I really just want to get the camera angle. Didn't really make a huge difference, but okay. So I'm gonna use that candy. It's just... And that's the thing about games like this, is that if you don't use your consumables, you, know, you may as well not have them. You know, this is the time you save these things for. There's no reason to save them up any further. And slam that down, or miss. Dealt the same damage as the first one, which is good, but we messed that up. Okay. That means we tucked against I again. We use Sorkachi now to save as much time as possible. So well, that's about 30 seconds, which should be more than enough. And Benediction, we've got a lot in inventory too. Gachi in. Thank you. Cool. So we just gotta figure out how to get Stealth Death Bow on Juzo. Sneak over from the side, Warekoso. And can we Where is he then? We're over there, so can we get over here, or get you from behind, presumably we can get a lot of this through, and does he see me, or does he not? None of them see me, which is great. Great for me. He's already dead? What on earth? You're kidding! What? Okay. This is some nonsense. I... Trying this again and again is more than a little embarrassing, but... Yeah, we are going to postpone getting the medicine and just get the increased health skill because I need that death blow. I want that death blow at least. I want to. I guess the question is, his speech got cut off. Did an enemy just attack him early or... Okay, so here in Oshinobi Arts we have suppress sound, inhibiting the enemy's ability to hear it. Silence part of what defines Oshinobi. It'll be Oshinobi Martial Arts. Vault Over is interesting too, but... You've almost completed this skill tree. Shadow Rush is interesting, but it's actually not all that useful, frankly. You can close some distance and vault off an enemy. It's really funny, though, is that a lot of... Some of the enemies you might want to do that most actually counter it directly. So, frankly, it's kind of silly. Okay, so we have our gachi in, but... And our suppressed sound, which should hopefully help us sneak up on Juzo. I'm not sure. And I can- oh my- what? Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks. Here we go, get that back. But we still took the damage, that's a real question. And Ichimonji on you, and... Pitbull on you, and... Hmm... Not sure whether I'm a little strong or a little weak for this area. Well, as long as it works. I don't really mind one way or the other. Come on, get over here, and slam. Just have to anticipate your run-in. So fighting two of you at once is always a treat. So just mm, run in again and mess that up. Get in here, get in here and slam. Death blow on you and it actually went for a second strike before that death blow. That surprises me. I guess if it's based on whether you deplete vitality or 
other stuff. Oh my goodness. Well, we got that back. Okay. So we have fully maxed out everything we can do in order to increase our stealth. If we can't get that death blow now, well, for one, I'll have wasted some skill points. But if I can't get that death blow now, I'm just going to have to do the fight normally. The next boss is going to be... Well, that guy over here is... Juzo the Drunkard is a boss, but he's a mini-boss. And Lady Butterfly, who is the main boss of this area, should be right after him. I'm just doing a bit of a self-imposed challenge for, frankly, no good reason. I want to show off as much NPC behavior as possible, which includes... The death. If I'm boring you, I can stop doing this. Don't worry. <laughs> so let's get this gotcha in sugar. There we go. We've assumed our meditative stance. And hello again, Sai. Thank you. Cool. Just gonna run over here and... Oh, can we grab... No, we can't grab off on that. No gummy Gensai. No gummy Gensai. And cool. Let's just sneak down over there and... Can we... Alright, can we... We cannot get that death blow. That was really, really irritating. Come on. Okay, so what if we... Oh my, jump it. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. Okay, cool. Get a death blow on some of them, but for whatever reason, that stealth death blow is not working on them. So we're gonna have to fight him normally, which, whatever. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. What? How am I not hitting? It's nonsense. Cool. Yeah, I... Bell Demon is probably not going to be good for trying to make all that work, but whatever. Oh, they're high. And just one, two, and three. Death blow on you, and... Come on, come on, and... Oh, my goodness. That was annoying. Thank you, thank you. I... Okay. Mm-hmm. And, oh goodness, I, okay. Get that death blow, or your back turned. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Juzo. And just, I did not mean to do that. Okay, cool, and boom on you, and thank you, all right. Cool. Then on this guy, we have, oh goodness, I need to use the axe. Okay, just, yeah, he is not going to live. He's not going to live through this. We just need to kill him normally. Which is going to mean a lot of spamming fire and other stuff as well. So, boom it. Oh, well, never mind. So we got that going, but... Springwood Flame Bent and its charge shot is annoying. Okay, cool. Let's just do that again and... Come on, just dodge. And can we... Boom, nice. That's another bit of burning, but... Slam, slam, and... Vitality damage should be useful, but... And can we... Thanks! 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 And oh goodness, I... Okay. Let's just use... I did not mean to do that. I meant to use oil. So let's burn you again. And... Should help out. And... Take you down. And... One, two... Dodge... Oh, alright. Dodge and... Ah. Really, really. Big thing is, I don't think your posture can actually regenerate. Once you get down to half health, so... Thanks. Thanks, and just... Can we... Jump it? Oh, interesting. Alright. Pellets are gonna be my only way to do that now, then, so... Two, and... Thanks. 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 Okay. One, and... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Cool. Dodge! Oh, alright. It's gonna be pellets. It's gonna be pellets. Hmm. Pruning is fun, but it's... Ugh. All about what I can actually manage. Oh my goodness. Being a little too... Thanks. Foster is annoying. Thanks. And slam. And can we slam that down? And get another hit and... Jump it. Okay, cool. Slam and... Get the first death blow on you and... Ha. Huh. Don't have enough oil to actually get. Not many more... Flame barrels on you and I- Oh, right. How did that not work? I- Okay. Huh. Should help, but... Boom, and burn on you. Thanks. Help a little. And thanks. And... Jump and sweep, slam, and... Okay, uh... Nice. And can we go for another Ichimonji and... Oh, my lord. Okay. Slam, and down on you, and just... Nice, nice, and... Nice! 
Oh, it's, oh, I need to avoid that. Thanks. Uh, one. Dodge. Oh, my goodness. And that just killed. Okay. So we tried that legitimately, and it's still too spicy for me. That's life sometimes. But the big thing is... I've really specked out in the stealth now, so I need to figure out a way to... Instead, so going from the side, which... Running is definitely going to be part of it, but... The question is... I feel like I need to quickly watch to see how someone does it. Juzo stealth. Death blow. I get it. Running for back and FD aggroing him back to his original position. Turn not aggroed. Or... Towards the water and hide. Sneak up behind him. Totally loses you. Circles to bait his attack. Okay, you have to kill everyone first, and then... Okay, so treating him like a normal mini-boss is how I should do it. I was trying to use Gensai to distract him, specifically when the best way to do it is like the other mini-bosses. You aggro him, then you de-aggro him, and... Okay, but if Gensai gets involved, he won't de-aggro, and the stealth death blow won't be possible. So that was my problem. I was actually just playing too differently when I should have been playing normally. That's funny, actually. And can we... Okay. Even when the bow guys are using their swords, they still have... Low posture, which makes sense. It's not like it would somehow magically increase their posture to be using a sword. Well, actually, I don't know. I could see it maybe working that way, depending. Okay, so another axe guys are by, so... Go for another Ichimonji on you. Thanks. Slam in, step in. Can we... Thanks. And slam. Take that down, and one more axe guy, and we're gonna have to use the gacha in. Should be in here. Zoomably. And. Yep, exactly. One more raider. Cool. Slash, slash, and you should use it. One, two. Thanks. Slash, and the deflection increaser. Damage on that. So, what we should do is. Yeah, Gachin wasn't even necessary, so getting farther away from the medicine was a stupid idea. Though, that said, increasing the sound would make should help with sneaking up on a lot more enemies in the future, too. Let's take you down, sneak up on the others, kill others before Juzo shows up, and cool, cool. And just spamming three normals was enough to take him down. We're pretty close to another skill point. Yeah, now I just feel really stupid for using that stuff. Well, whatever, that's life. So, we're still down here, so let's take down a few of you. Hello there, hello. One, two, three. Kill all these guys, then we'll get Gensai involved after getting the first stealth death blow, and... Nice! Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe I should have done it differently. Eh, we'll be fine. All I need to do is... Juzo's slow. Problem is he's strong, too. Take these guys down. His friends won't respawn in the meantime, so I can just do this with impunity. Thanks, Slam. Take that down. We got an axe guy, but that's about it, which means... I could try using the Spring Load Axe, or I could just... Do this. Slam it. Ah, oh, thanks. Uh, uh, shield's still very, very useful, so I... Slam it. Okay, let me... Oh, come on. No, I... Alright. Thanks. And... Slam on you and break the posture. Even through the shield, but nice, I guess. Break, break. Come on, come on. Oh my lord, okay, cool. Slash, slash. Ah, wrong side of the shield. So if I take the shield guy out, the shield guy out, I can. Come on, I. I need to go for that charge and. One, two, and. Really? Really? That just doesn't work? Please. I like how he fights like a sumo wrestler. Because I don't want to use the axe, that decreases my use as a flame vent. But if I don't use the axe, I'm gonna have to find another silly way to take the shield down, and I... Okay. Come on, come on. I just... Needs to be a good way to break his posture from above. Ideally. Shielding you. Charge at me, and... Thanks, can we dodge in it? Ah, oh, Couldn't get behind him, though. Focus on a time where he... beats his shield, and... So you beat your shield, and then you'll start going. Crude wooden shield. 
It breaks easily with an axe, but we don't want to break it with the axe. Let's use some other stuff. Come on. Sweep attack's cool. I guess the big question is how much damage I'd actually be able to deal with. Thank you, thank you, and die. There we are. Just want to see if he uses a sweep attack. Hmm. And I do the head jump rather than an aerial Ichimonji. How much more damage will that do posture-wise? Because is a good option, but it's not the only option. Thank you. And dodge. Please. You're not going for your sweep, though. Is it because you're the only one now? Or thank you, and can we... Okay, that was not as good as an Ichimonji would have been, so... Yeah, we are going to go back in the water, de-aggro you, and do all things that way. Eventually, you'll disappear. We can sneak up back on you once your health bar disappears from the map. You're going to return to your strong position, and we can get a stealth kill on you. And, you know, maybe we don't even involve Gensai. Maybe we just do this. Okay, cool. Oh, well, never mind. If you do that, there's no stealth death ball. That makes sense, but still. Thanks! Burn, 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 and... Cool. Nice, and... Oh, goodness, I... Okay. Boom. Nice. So this should be a lot more doable then. So let's charge that up. Slam. Slam, and... Cool, and... Another Ichimonji, fully charged. And come on, just jump, and slam on you. Thanks. And... Thanks. Thanks. Okay, cool. Alright. Gordon. Oh, he's just gonna die, isn't he? Yeah, whatever. So I want him to live off to do things some other way. Nice. Thanks, and oh goodness. Okay. Thank Ooh, alright. I did not expect that to work like it did. Thanks, and nice, nice, and timing was brutal. Huh. Okay, so I can't get Gensai involved. Maybe I could, once I've actually fully depleted everything he has. I'm making things way too hard for myself this way, but... As long as it's funny. As long as it's interesting. Because we've been showing out a, a, a lot in Ashina Castle. Found pretty much everything except the way to Genichiro. But at the very same time, I saw that pink smoke indicating the night jars before, and... Queerly, I have to get up top. Then probably drop down into the rest of the dojo, but it's... Very, very weird in that sense. Okay. And this will make stealth easier, but... Uh, the healing gourd getting stronger would be a much more relevant assistance to my durability, and quite frankly, durability is something I need to pay more attention to than my stealth proficiency, because this is, you know, I'm playing on a mode where enemies are a lot stronger, and boss fights are not something you can do with just... Simple stealth spam. Mini boss fights, sure, but not actual boss fights. Okay. Get over here and. Oh, never mind. Come on and. Okay. Oh my goodness. D messed up that Mikiri. Come on, die. Two axe guys. Cool. And. Slam that down, slam that down, and. Dot. Block, block, and. Oh, we couldn't block that? You're kidding me. Slam, slam. Okay. Cool. And just. Got a bit of your posture back. Don't like that. One, two, and. Death blow, and... Death blow, cool. Now that back, we're gonna have to aggro him normally after killing everybody on his side. But the... Axe guy, though, is gonna be other kinds of trouble. So we aggro him normally, we summon Gensai after phase two has started. And then that's how we'll take them out. And even though he was ordered, we still managed to get the stealth death blow, which is good. And slam it. Okay. The Mikiri, we traded the Mikiri and the Ichimonji. That was interesting. It's just... Missing out on... Medicine for a while is going to hurt. There are other skills too that I'd also like, but... Those won't be as much trouble in their own way. Oh, come on. I okay, cool. Death blow on you and... Oh, the charge guy is really, really annoying. Just gotta figure out how to get a charge off and slam and oh I did not get that Ichimonji like I wanted to and it's, it's left shoulder plus right shoulder which in a tense situation can often just not proc 
And hello. Drink your poisonous sake. Cool, cool, cool. Come on, come on. Just get over here. Take down all your buddies. All your bandit buddies. But I do recall the war of this guy was that he at least was at one point a sumo wrestler. Which is pretty funny, frankly. So now we can jump it. Oh my goodness. I, okay. Cool. I just botched that Mikuri opportunity. Come on, slam on your shield. Slam on your shield. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, cool. This should be good. Gonna charge at me now, and then we can dodge it. It's you and unless we just get hit out of that. I I'm gonna have to use the axe. There's no way around it. Slam and death block. Cool. A little disappointing, but whatever. So now we run away and get the stealth death blow. Start the second phase. Activate Gensai. Okay. Yeah, this is how you always do it. Enemies that face you. Just get them to aggro, then you de-aggro them, then they turn around, and you can get that stealth death. What was your like? Okay, cool. This should help things significantly. We can just sneak up on him from here, and the stealth. Goodbye, goodbye. It's kind of like a Taro troop in that kind of way. Well, whatever. I did not mean to do that. I meant to use the oil. I meant to use the oil. Okay, whatever. I Okay. Boom, boom. And okay, right. Oh, right. Oh, my goodness. It's kind of a Yokozuna style, which is funny. And just toss the oil, and thanks. Cool. And go for a bit more burning, and... Oh, but the status hasn't left. It's not gonna replenish. Okay, cool. There we are. More of this we spam. More vitality damage we can deal, and the easier this fight is going to be. And, uh, it's vitality damage, but the burning is not active right now. And boom, that's all of our spirit emblems, but now you're at half vitality. This should be very, very good then. Okay. Thanks. Block. Swing. And just Ichimonji and cool. Then swing. Swing. Swing and okay, cool. Jump and Ichimonji on you and alright. And dodge and Ichimonji. Thank you very much, and just swing, swing, oh goodness, okay. You're not getting any of that back, which is nice, and oh my lord, okay. Healing gourd, and just charge it up all the way, and miss, I guess. Thanks, oh what, okay. Wow. That block was entirely mistimed. Okay, cool. This might be a good time to get Gensai involved. Let's get some help with this. Pellet over here. Thank you, thank you. So this time would have been alright, but... Mm, Ogami Gensai, and slam, and just jump, and hit, hit, and cool. Let's... Thanks, and oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Let's use that pellet, and come on, we can slam down on you, and hit, and can we... Mm, slam, and there we go. Death blow. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Finally! And we quote unquote got his health. Thank you. Oh, and he. Is that Shadow Rush? For sharing full body flavor, one, two, drawing too quickly. This prayer bead, and that's another prayer bead, and another skill level. If only we hadn't wasted that on reduced presence. Hi! So, only just a little bit of difference in dialogue. Hard on this old body. Real time. Sucking you, okay? Sucking me, okay? Okay, alright. So, in that case, if I recall correctly, there's a hidden wall somewhere, maybe around here, that will give us another prayer bead, among other things. Fun fight. And Lady Butterfly should be through here eventually. So should Kuro, I believe. Dowsing Powder for treating burns. And then, Pellets for Vitality. Alright, I hear somebody coming. That is... who? Just a normal bandit. Hi there, hello. Just let me... Thank you, goodbye. Thanks. And stop hugging the wall. Do not need to hug that wall. And normal stab, and okay, that is... almost certainly the hidden wall. Hi, hello. And there we are, and this should be at least... 
Should be a prayer bead. Yeah, a boon of wealth, white coin purse, and there's a bead. It's probably a bit farther in. Will this break if I hit it? It will. So nothing, nothing. This is divine confetti. Stop hugging that wall. Hmm. And okay, here it is. This should be it behind that rice paper screen. We go two beads, which means we've got 14 out of the 40 beads in the game already. So arguably, I could say we're about a third of the way through. Should probably be one more. So we have to move on to it to make a turn. It's not just one time thing. So there's an idol. There, can we slash that? Yes, we can. Somebody is choking. That's unpleasant. So what else and where? And we can just run through these. That's funny. Some of them can be run through. Some of them can't. Can't really tell what makes the difference. Oh, whatever. We should, and... Oh, there... Hello. Dying old woman. Well, soul. Resurrective power. One of these over here, and presumably a lady butterfly. Relatively short after. Hirata audience chamber, and this is... Hero to audience chamber, main hall. So presumably there, there's room for at least at most two more. At least one more. Son of Al. Fukuro. Segareka, son of Al. Dreadful vision. Oshiroshikimono, Nita. Pouring out. And stop. Deep in the mansion. Scream. Oh, this is the old maid from earlier on. Her memory. My need you, go to him, will you? So will we save him or. Stop pouring out. Save the mansion. What won't stop pouring out? Presumably, it would be... Oh, hello there. Hi. And just... Thanks. Hmm. So, Inosuke is right here. We should have our gouging top ready for the Lady Butterfly Club. The Masters wouldn't go in there if I were you. Illusion techniques. Shurokushi Genjutsu. Snaps it cannot be overcome. Take this. Not much, but it's what I have. A few more Gladsa breaks illusion techniques. Defeat the creator. So it startles them and prevents them from maintaining their illusion. Which is concentration. Presumably can't overcome it. Give me now. Finish. Save my mother at least. So we've seen him. Tane. A seed. See. Saw him before in Ashina. Outskirts. Shift the tatami aside and... Will we immediately jump down or... Suppose not. This was the escape route they used, presumably, but- Oh, right, we didn't rest. And that sculptor's idol, so I should do that now, so that I'm not- It'd be really funny to go into that fight with no healing. It's not a good idea, though. Okay. So, let's continue and stab. Thank you, there. Cool. Right, right, right. So, snap seeds could go on the hotbar, but frankly, none of the items really need to be in the hotbar. Then open that, and Hidden Temple Keys. Got that from Owl. So basically he set this fight up. Hello, Lady Butterfly. Interesting. So Kuro's over there. Chichule? Ahoe. Oh, so his parents had died in this raid. Culture. Everyone is gone. Aww. And is Genjutsu illusion? What kind of clapping his hands to break the illusion, or Hishiyoshi na? Long time. Fukuro no Segare, son of Owl. Kocho dono. Itte kudasai. Hmm. Sonata wa. Nasubeki koto. Nasubeki koto. Do the necessary. Understood. So she is an ally of Owl, I believe. Another Shinobi. There we are. Time for the fight in this area. Kind of postponing it, and they need to. Sate? Yaro. Yaro. Basically calling us a Segaridono. It's calling us son of Owl in a negative light. Okay. Kocho. Nami. Sate. Die if you doubt yourself. Okay, cool. And slam and thanks. We can Nice, 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 nice. Oh wow, okay. 
Okay, gouging top it. Okay, cool. So we knocked you down, which means we can go in for the Ichimonji and... Okay, I... What is... This is actually really hard to... The timing that I'm supposed to use deflect is obnoxious. So in that case, we'll... Oh, please. So the flame vent is gonna be necessary then. So let's... Boom and... Oh my goodness, I couldn't manage that? That's really weird. Okay, boom and... Oh, what? All right. Boom and... What? You're kidding. I am... At a loss. Okay, can we... Get you through there? No, it actually did get blocked. Okay. Boom and... Okay, it did hit. That's good. So oil is a good idea. Oh, goodness. Okay. Thanks. Nice. So using the flame vent, what I want to use for pretty much everything, frankly. So boom and boom and... Oh, my goodness. Okay, and that did not touch you. Wow. Didn't die, but got close. Okay. Hmm. This is a very silly way to be doing this fight, frankly, but boom and... Oh, what? All right. I am probably going to fail this. I... Honestly, I bet I could actually get the idol off. No, I couldn't. I definitely couldn't. Okay, and let's try that out. And cool, just... Dancing, and cool, just... Oh my lord, okay. Got really far away, I could probably just run. Okay, cool. Run as far away as possible, and cool. You are not going to close the gap that quickly. The only boss that I can actually run away from successfully. It's really funny. Okay, but flame vents a fun option, but I've got a good amount of oil. Got a good amount, but the regular flame vent, I'm gonna have to use regular instead of the charge most of the time, most likely, which drives a hard bargain. Hmm. Well, damage is good, but hmm. we'll see what happens. Hello there, and now. Kuro is no longer there, it's just... Oh, interesting. Hello there. Hi. And how are you gonna... Boom, boom, and... Okay, nice. Got that down, and... Let's just stay out of your way, then. Toss, and... Cool. That stopped you successfully, which... Interesting. Boom, and... Nice, more fire. Cool. And more oil is always nice, and... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Boom, more fire. Okay, cool. So, we're gonna use pretty much all of our fire, just to get her health bar down, I suppose. Cool. Alright, and... One, two, and... Oil left, and... Boom, boom, and... Oh my, okay, goodness. Thanks, and... Oh, wow, wow, okay. This should be an opening. Got the burn down, and that should be good, so we should actually leave a bit for... Uh, using Shuriken, then. Hello there, hi. Dodge- Oh my- Okay. My goodness. I- Okay. Cool, and... Healing Gourd. Huh? Just- Ugh, oh, that sweep attack is... Gonna be some trouble. Toss, toss, and- Dodge, dodge. Thank you. One, two, and- do Dodge, 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 dodge. Thanks. One, two, three. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh my goodness, you're strong. Old lady's strong. Okay, but your stamina is not going down nearly as much, which is good. And just slash. Oh, I didn't get the what I expected, which is nice. And okay, dodge. Okay, slam down the Ijimonji. Should be fine. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, the rhythm on that is no. Oh goodness, tough rhythm. Two and dodge. Okay, can we slam down on you and just one, two. One, one, two, three, okay, my goodness, I, okay, slam it, oh my, okay, all right, and out of the way of that end, cool, can we slam down again, and illusions should be coming out soon, jump it, okay, slam down, and how many health bars do you actually have, that's the question, I'm not even sure, it says one, but I'm pretty sure that's deception, jump it, okay, slam that down, and another, off it, Slash and okay, cool. Toss and thank you. And we got that gone, which means it's gonna be illusion time shortly, presumably. That's not all. 
Exactly. Yeah, there's an Akka. Segare dono. Lose yourself in my illusions. Narawa. Dagama. Okay, lose yourself in my illusions, which means just use that snap seed from inventory. Should. Yeah, okay, cool. Boom, and now we're having fun, which means illusions should be gone now. So now I have to figure out a way to deal enough posture damage to Herda. Oh, goodness. This is gonna be a struggle, then. I really should have saved the flame vent for second phase, then. Alright, whatever. Thanks, and... One, two, three, and just... Oh, my, okay, oh, wow, okay, alright, and... Ooh, goodness, okay, wow, okay. Does not expect that much in the wave. One, and... Can we toss? Thank you. Slash, and... Slash again, and... One, two... And, oh goodness, I need more healing, badly. One, one, oh my, okay. Dodge, dodge, illusion, and, oh goodness. Of course that's going back down, I, dodge, oh my goodness. Slam, it. slam, slam, it. okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, S oh my, okay, all oh, right, right, oh my goodness. I, okay, cool then. I made a mistake using Flame Vent like I did. We need to escape. You aren't coming too fast, but I... Mmm... I... Okay, cool. Oh my goodness, I... Okay. I set up. We need to use a pellet and try to just run away. Unless I want to die here. Which I frankly don't. Okay, cool. How fast are you coming? How fast are you coming? It's interesting how she's, again, on the slower side for a boss. Uh-huh. So first phase, things are very, very blockable, which means we can try using just normal attacks, but right, right, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, so once the illusions come out, we use a snap seed and dispel them. And yeah, I cannot use Flame Vent for phase one. Honestly, not even the Shotokan. The easier that I make phase two, the better. I need to save what I have for that. And, do you want me, and can we, mmm, alright, and charge that all the way up, thank you, nice, and, can we, mmm, one, two, three, four, and can we, slam with the Ijimonji, and, come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and dodge, okay, cool, and Ichimonji. taking that health, Damage down is useful, but I... Okay, cool, and... Oh, my... I used the wrong thing. I actually tried using a shuriken, but I messed that up. You're kidding me. Come on, come on, die. Thank you, later, butterfly. And one, two, three... Oh, okay. That did not quite work as intended. Let's just slam that down on you, then, and... Thanks, and toss. Oh, well, I... Okay, cool, and... Slam down on you, and... Cool, let me... One, and... Gouging top, and... Okay, thank you, I... Alright, so that's a good way to take you down, but I- One, two, thank you, cool, nice, take that down, and- One, two, three, and- One, oh my goodness, I- ah. Not mean to do that, I- Okay, whatever, cool. Hmm, one, two, three, and- One slash, and- Chimonji, and- One, two, three, four, and- One, two, three, ah, oh, you're kidding me. Dodge, dodge, uh, but you're okay, alright. And dodge, oh, you're what? I don't even know what's so annoying about this one. And dodge, dodge, slam, and. But she's blocking so heavily, I. Come on, it just. Thanks. And, huh. Monster's going down so much. Chimoji's still a good attack, but I. Thanks, uh, but I. Tom that wrong. Annoying. I, one, two, three, and oh my goodness! I, okay, dodge it. Okay, char charge that. And thank you. Posture is a lot better. And thanks. Oh, I, I need to. Uh, damage should decrease a lot more slowly now. Now that we've gotten a bit more posture damage on you. So I, uh, two, three, four, and five. And oh my goodness! I, okay. 
One, two, and one, two, two, three, and come on! I, all right, what? You're kidding! Wow, this is harder than I might like it to be. I did not mean to do that. I meant to use this. Okay, cool. And you're gonna come over to me? Well, you are. You're gonna try, but should be good. I really just wow. Bell Demon is hurting my heart, my soul. Lots of things. It, the Phantom Kunai and using Kunai and her specifically, I, Flame Bat's a fun idea. I should probably focus on trying to use Kunai as much as possible and if other things work, that's just a fun bonus. Just no more cheese, just doing this as normally as possible. Thank you, I, one, two, three, four, one, oh, one, two, oh my goodness, I, okay. Cool. Okay, slam down on you. Hotter damage here is not as bad, actually. Two, three, one, two, slam, slam. We're learning this fight slowly but surely. And one, and take that down. Thank you, thank you, and cool. And oh my, okay, he's not expecting that. Slam, and nice, we actually knocked you out of the air. One, two, three, Slam it. Oh, my. Okay. One, and two. Slam, and chase you down. And, okay, that should be good. It is good. Okay, cool. Just slam it. Okay. Comes up fast enough. That, and can we... Nice. Then we run in and cut you down with another Ichi Monji. And just one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, and five, and... Oh, right. I, oh, my goodness. I, okay. Hmm, and... Nice. We can knock you down and charge up our Ichimonji and try that again. And one, two, three. Jump it. Okay. Slam on you and just... One, two, and toss. Thank you. And slam the Ichimonji down and... I, one, two, three. One, and... Can we toss? Thank you. And... Oh, you... Uh, the fact that we're not doing nearly any vitality damage is painful. And it's just blocking so much. Nice, and... And can we... Nice, gouge the top, and... Hmm, I... Okay. One, two, and... Cool. Oh, my goodness, I... Okay. Thanks, and... Oh, my... What? You're kidding me. I just went the wrong way. That was the entire issue. You're kidding I, all right, whatever. Okay. So I need to use a little bit of that, presumably. A little bit of flame vent, but I just... This is painful. Lady Butterfly is the end of Hirata Day, and the only thing I'd really get from beating her is... I would get more resurrective power nodes. Get a third resurrective power node, which is interesting. It's an idea, but... The bundled Jizo statues I have would allow me to restore more nodes and use them more... regularly, but... Hmm... Okay, cool. Alright. Can we slam that down on you, and... Can we... One, two, one, and... Right, right. Need a normal attack there. Two, three, and... Dodge. Oh my goodness. I, okay. Thanks. Gouging. And one, two, three, and slash. And oh my lord. I, okay. Hmm. This is bad news to me. Really, really bad news for me. And just cool. So you're over this way. We need to get you into a relatively long attack string before you jump. And okay, cool. If we want to run away, because this fight is already done for. Okay, cool. You're already over that way, so... Got our oil, we got our pellets, we got our gourds. I... It's tough. Really, really tough. I feel like getting more beads could be a way. An object? I... I don't know, maybe like a little funny dark angel mascot or something. I don't know. I feel... One time someone asked for an object, and I said a flaming sword. Like a long sword or a katana or something, because for better or worse, 
I like games where I can light my sword on fire, and also games where I can use a sword in the first place. In other words, I don't use deal with nearly as much as I probably should be. One, two, and crush you, and just one, two, three, one, and dodge it. Charge that up, and okay, cool, we knock you down from the air, which is good. Two, three, and slash, and one, two, three, four, five, six, slash, slash. So this is actually really, really good. Okay, charge the Ichimonji, and okay, the more we try to deflect, the better we are. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Maybe I could try the umbrella, actually, that could work. And just... Okay, nice. That works. Slam on Lady Butterfly, and just... One, two, three, four, and... Slash... Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Slash, slash, slash. Cool. Just slash, slash, slash. Charge it. Okay, cool. I... Oh my... Okay, I did not need to charge up that shuriken. That was my mistake. Okay. Hmm. If I'd used that earlier, I would've been chilling. Uh, jumping. You're kidding. Come on, come on. Gotta run. Try that again. How much are you gonna... Oh, uh, no. Okay, you're approaching slow, which is good, but I... Okay, cool. Can't knock me out of bed anymore once that blue field start kind of contracts halfway. We are basically where we need to be. Okay, cool. Nice. And... Okay. I... Every gourd. Uses of these gourds is... It's tough. But we've definitely got more defense now, which is nice. One, two, three, and... One, two, and... One, two, three, four, five, five, and... One, oh my, okay, cool. That would have been a time to use a... Shoot a can, whatever. I, nice, and we can recover our posture with the Ichimonji, and... One, two... Three, one, and slash, and oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Thank you, and just slash, and take you down, and why are you on there? That makes no sense. One, two, three, four, slash, it. okay. Oh, well, never mind. Thanks. Cool. And we were too close, too far away. One, two, three, four, and dodge. Okay, cool. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. And can we charge that? And one. Okay. Nice. We got a bit of post recovery. One, two, three, four, five, six. And slash. Okay, cool. Nice. Charge that up and recover my posture. And the charge attack just recovers so much posture. That's really, really nice. And cool. Nice. And charge down on Lady Butterfly. And just. And cool, nice, and charge up the Ichimonji, and just one, two, three, and oh goodness, okay, cool. A lot of posture damage up, and one, one, two, jump it, okay, slam that down, and another one, and cool, nice, and charge up the Ichimonji, and keep on going, that posture damage is good, nice, and butterfly, and slam. Slam on you, and just one, two, three, and just charge, and thank you, charge it up, recover posture, and just one, two, three, and oh, we got the first hit, the first kill with, oh, nice, okay, oh, uh, flame vent could be good, I feel like one flame vent would be a good idea. Well then, lose yourself in my illusions. That worked quite well. Okay, so, just... Can we burn, burn it? And, oh my goodness, okay. Burn! Okay, nice. And then we need our snap seed to do this, so... Don't need it other than for this, so snap seed, and boom, nice. So we can heal ourselves up a bit, and... That's all we need for damage. Can we kill the illusion? Nice, and oh lord, okay, cool. So now we're chilling. Only have enough for a bit more here, but we're chilling. Nice. And can we charge up an Ichimonji? Nice, we can. Did a bit of vitality damage, which is good, but I 
surprisingly skilled, but I, mm, the snap seeds are annoying. This is obnoxious. Cool, cool. And, okay. Nice. Take that down, and we're getting some. Cool, and just take that down. We don't have any more shuriken, though. That's the thing. And charge that down, and vitality damage is on it. And dodge. Oh, my goodness. Charge, charge, and we need one, two, and... Okay, cool, cool, and slam, slam on you, and vitality damage is helping, but I, it's not everything. Jump, and... Okay, cool. Move in, slam, slam, and one... Okay, I... Okay, cool. Interesting, I, all right, and slam down on you, and... Oh, my goodness, I... One, one, and it's just... Dodge, dodge, and move in for the... Attack, and one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, okay, interesting, and, okay, dodge, dodge, okay, cool, and slam out of the air, two, and I, one, two, jump it, okay, slam, slam on you, and just, one, two, three, slam, slam, and this one, and, oh my, okay, okay, my goodness, okay, I need, Need to dodge it. Oh, what? Okay, we have a lot of health left, so we're gonna need to make this work. Okay, come on, and I. Mmm, pellets and. Really, more illusions? You've gotta be kidding me. Okay, I. Alright, let's use. Or Snapseed. This is going decently, but not amazingly. I. Okay, cool, cool, and I don't have a single aerial attack to use on her. Okay, cool, and I slam in, and no, that didn't work. I all right. What if I? Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Hmm, we were so close though, but I uh, need to. And what if I? Thanks, and slam that down on you. So the pillar to stay out of the way. And one, two, and okay, cool. Two, dodge. Okay, nice dodge and jump and slam down on you, and just finally, go in. And another one. Go men. Your hand, your arm has gotten higher. From increased attack power, season practitioner of illusions. Mortal oath fails to establish one additional resurrection. The divine child of the dragon's heritage vows of the undying once more. So that. The fact that she has it is a hint to the fact that Wolf was pursuing Kuro's power. So what's next? That fell down, which... Did that show something, or... That's just the end of the flashback. Something else to see? Or... Oh! Oh! And this is... The blade of my father, is it not? Mm -hmm. Something has shown itself. So is that the end of my engagement with Hirata Estate? Can I go back right now, or is it locked off until... Hmm. Oh, we beat good old Kocho Dono. Is that Kuro, or... It should be. Finally. I feel good about this. Hello there. Our young charge. Fought for my sake. To rescue us. So this is where we got the power of resurrection, was it? Because normally we wouldn't have had it before, would we? Take my blood and love it. Yep, exactly. Live with my blood. Right, so we're back in the outskirts, so we can consume that memory for a bit more power, which is a good idea. Hmm, we are so close to getting more Shinobi Emma's medicine. Goodness. We would have been if I hadn't done that. Petitioner of Illusion, so let's just use this. Oh, we need to be at the Sculptor's Idol, which... Can we go in yet? What will you tell me? I've been awakened, yes, divine heir, I see, and say more. Should you? So it was yours alone. That's what he showed him. 
could assure you, if you're listening, tell me. Flames, hold on. It's a matter of offering I make. Flames and consuming Ashina. Hmm. Okay, cool. Alright. Shelter any time. Pray again. Will anything happen, or... We go back to Hirata. Big things that I can, should consume Lady Butterfly has. Can go back right now, so let's see what's behind that Buddha. If anything, if I go there. Let's... Reflect... No. Don't want that. Enhance attack power using Butterfly. Get her remnant. Sustenance, recollection of, although distant. Will's foster father appointed mentors in shinobi techniques, avoid strict methods, only achieve in the midst of battle. So, Owl is willing to let her die for the sake of increasing Sekiro's strength. It's a bit much. Okay, so let's go back to the audience chamber and see if we can find anything in the chamber where Lady Butterfly was. I know that eventually we do end up fighting Owl here, but... Hello there, hello. Oh, and also I can talk to Anayama and tell them about the salt. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So there's nothing in here, but there's a sculptor's idol. That Buddha did not crush anything, but here's a new idol for us. This won't damage us when I touch it, which is good. So over here is... Let's see. Sculptor's idol found, hidden temple, and... So there are six in here, so there might be one more. There also might not be. It's possible. I guess that would mean Ashina outskirts might be on the bigger side, along with the castle. But that would mean that the next thing to do would maybe be to go to... Abandoned Dungeon. Stuff in there. It's another area to go through. And... Mm -hmm. Let me see something though. Would be Lady Butterfly Serpent Sekiro Missable or Killing Owl. And then the snake is God for the ending is not related to the bead ending. I know that it's something missable. Endings, purification. I mean, not purification, but return. And the chapter infested. Holding screen monkeys. Serpent viscera countered the great serpent in the bridge leading to the gun fort. The great serpent to be there. Leading to the gun fort. Great serpent is. Let's see. Oh, powder and black gunpowder. Asian ceramic shard, cannon type artillery, stealth out of the way. A lot of guns. Snake eyes, Shirafuji. Week two, the Sabimaru. Because as a Okami descendant, she's weak to poison. Okay. All of the bridge to the snake should be here eventually. Serpent, Second Valley Passage, so presumably we don't need Serpent Viscera in Second Valley Passage, so I don't think we're going to miss anything. It would be really funny to just delay fighting Genitro as much as possible. I might. So we can buy the mask from here, so I'll use three of those. Use it as quickly as possible, and it's one of these, and cool. Buy the mask from him. Goku. Medicine, Master Ramit, Dragon, decoration at the top of the mask, and that. Get that from other characters in other areas. Other parts of the mask. So three in total. There's left, right, and dragon. Dragon is kind of the top part. The big thing is that... Once we get all of that, we can start actually getting... Skill point upgrades by way of... Okay, and you are... I know you revive at least once if we don't use the... Fire on you, so... Alright, and cool. 
So the red eyes of the guys in here, these are red eye guys. They're gonna start resurrecting. Yep, exactly. They're resurrect eventually. If we don't use. Mm. You have to death blow them twice if you don't use fire on them. Did kill. Okay, so in here is pacifying agent. So there's some fear related enemies later. Then pick up the item pacifying agent, and one of you is. Oh, hello. Hi. So fire is exceptionally effective against these guys, so. Boom! Against the red eyes. The fear fire. That should be. Death, yep. Light them on fire, you negate their one time resurrection ability. This is kind of a catacombs type area. There are a lot of catacombs like areas in other Souls games, and I suppose this is their equivalent. The big thing is that I can't tell which ones are going to resurrect, which ones are actually going to get up and fight, and which ones won't. So the big thing is that all these guys were a result of these evil experiments done for Genetro by a guy named Dojun, I believe, because Genichiro wanted, essentially, a way to, you know, get immortality for his soldiers without Dragon's Heritage, and oh my goodness, I- oh no. Oh wow. Well, that wasn't bad, actually. These are still trash mobs. So since we use fire on them, you should be- yep. We don't need to have them actively be on fire while killing them, we just need to Wait them on fire at least once, and it will work. Okay. And the dungeon, the end of the dungeon, I believe, is going to be a Shichimen warrior. Seven-faced warrior that we can take down eventually. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that. Okay, cool. And just kill your vitality damage. And why are the crickets just doing so much? Well, whatever, die. Alright, and the damage is good enough to just... Mostly take you out almost immediately. And there we go. Let's move in and slash you up. Thank you very much. Cool. A red lump. Gain red eyes, reduce flinching, prohibits resurrection, lingering trace, someone who is unable to achieve their desires, warm the touch, and pulsate softly. So the red eyes are a result of those experiments. A bite down. Hmm. Let's check out what's all around here. Oh, there's another idol, which, interesting. More of these crickets. Okay. Not given much of anything in the way of rewards. So Dojun over there. Gonna ask me to lure someone for his experiments, but I will not do that. Not that evil. And everyone who we're supposed to lure also has their own quest lines, who understandably... You can't complete their quest lines if you lure them here. Logically. And they're not all that aggressive, but they're still there. Wait, oil? That was nice. More oil. Right, to more effectively make use of fire on the red eyes, presumably. Right down, and... Hello there, hello. Oh, we could get a quick death blow on them, but we'd still have to do it again, so... No difference really here. So then, and what's down this way? An agent read. Crumbling offering, offering tower. Vassals of the Ashina clan. Execute after the Greek rebellion. May their spirits rest. What rebellion? Well, I suppose they're reanimated corpses, then? Okay, so the Shichimen warrior is right there. And we do have anti-air death blow, but I'll still need to use divine confetti when the time comes for that. Got the item, a soul balloon, and that... I'm not sure whether it's going to lock off the way out or not, but before I go and fight that guy, I'm gonna explore a bit more of the abandoned dungeon because I do not want to. Get in a situation that I can't escape from without being ready for it. So presumably, since the Shichuan warrior is the boss, I would presume he leads uh, Senpo. But I'm not exactly sure. I think this is... I mean, it's an underground waterway. Then a dungeon. That's the first one we saw here. The dungeon's right here. Yes, it leads to Senpo. senpo -ji. Also, Wolf can just see in the dark, which is nice. Doesn't have to worry about using a torch or anything. Like other Souls games. There's stuff in the water here. I should mark that. Abandoned dungeon. Water by first idol. 
Yeah, we should get the ability to dive later today with the boss in Simple. And do I see a carp? Hmm. But until I go underwater, I won't be able to get it. You can get them with the spear from the surface. But understandably, it's not intended behavior. It's not easy. I'll go sugar and... Why are they down here? Well, whatever. Die. Hello, hello, and just... Slam down and... Get with the Ichimonji double before anything else happens. And what's in here? Pacifying agent, so anti-terror. So that would be good for fighting the Shichiman warrior, which does terror build up on me. So is there someone else... Is that showing? Is that showing one of the fish? Light coin purse. Not gunpowder. And just cages over here. Oh, it is an abandoned dungeon. Assumedly, people would be imprisoned around here. Where did this come from? I. Someone clearly got aggroed and I. Oh, great. Okay, cool. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. And. Let's go in here where the gun guy can't see me. This part is. This is different. Okay, cool. And slam and oh goodness, things are heating up. I guess we're in oh, we're probably in a loading zone. And that's why it's a bit of slowdown. That said, I might also just be. The computer might just be getting hot. Given that actually it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Oh, changing the graphics drivers. I was having some graphics issues. I think I mentioned this when I was Doing the Corin stuff. But operate the mechanism and where will this lead me? Some performance issues with overheating and okay, so this will lead me up. So will this take me to Simple or will this take me that Chichiman warrior over there again? I'm gonna have to fight it eventually, but I wouldn't like to have to do it until I absolutely have to. So the more Shinobi medicine I get. More durable I will be for the fight, more prayer beads too. So we have how many prayer beads right now? We got we got 14. Got a 14th in Hirata. So this is this going to be simple? I think so. So that wasn't much of a Oh? Sokunagojin? Oh? Oh? What are you? Oh, so the corrupted monk should be around here, presumably. So we've gotten to Senpo. Still need to take down that Shichimen warrior. Shichimen in dungeon. But the more power we get before that fight, the better, because I won't be able to sneak up on it. Senpo Senpo Jiwa. no Oshia Yori. Straight from the Buddhist teachings, yeah. And their faith to search for immortality represented by the centipedes. Shinazu. Capture telling what would become of you. Turn the way you came. No thanks. Sore demo, machi. Stop you from entering if you're determined to do so. Do you? I rode in. Receive with care, Tadadoka. Who is this? Oh, I think this is the divine child of resurrection. The successful experiment. No sample. Yeah, this Senpo Temple. Okay. Senpo Temple, Mount Kongo. And so right here we have Senpo and the Bell Demon's Temple, but the Bell Demon's Temple won't lead us anywhere else. We could go there early, but it isn't away until the rest of the temple. So de demo. Susamarero desne. See, we'll continue. Semete watashitachi wa? Inorishimasha, we'll pray for your safety. Okay. Alright, so can we say anything again? Can we cling to this wall? And it won't send me over. It's not actually a hidden wall. And we can't talk to you again. Anything on this side? Well... Oh, interesting. We can drop down over here. Oh, and is that... I think that's Kotaro. A big Taro troop who we can send over to Anayama, actually. Behind here was scrap iron. This open? No, it won't open. Okay. We can tell Anayam about the salt now, too. That's right. What can you hear? Big old monk. Where 
Para. Do Sureba. Injaro. What would be good to do? Ask why he's crying. Naze. Natiaru, why are you crying? Everyone left me? Minato? Minawa? Are? Dareja? So he's spinning red and white flowers. So which one will send him to the. One will probably will send him to the shop. One will send him to an illusory hall. What flower I cannot find? Mitaranam. Unfindable flower. Head hurts. Atamaga. Ite. In a brain. Sumanesque. Atama is kind of brain. Kubi is head in an anatomical sense. Okay, wakarada. Can't understand. Pure white flower. Interesting that the text room seems to be a little badly kerned. Okay. Right far, where could it be? Do nothing. So the red and white flowers are not the ones we want to find. We want to find the pure white flower. I think... This bridge over here... No, not this bridge. And this... Okay, just a normal, simple monk. Divine abduction. Can insta them. Sorry, sorry. Not really. Okay. I think some of them... I don't think I can anti-air death blow them, but... There is some way, if I recall correctly, beyond divine abduction. Which is a magic fan that I can use to just send them away. Like these stone lanterns, they're fun. The sound reduction is good, but... Hmm... More have to fight them. But you did not notice me killing your friends. Well, I guess that calls into down whether he's even your friend. Oh, we got three Akko Sugars. That's nice. Frankly, I should have been using the Sugars before. But I'd use that for Lady Butterfly. I've got all those Sugars, and I never make use of them. I really, really should be. The buffs are significant, and they're also skills that make them even not stronger, but longer lasting. Watch in for stealth, and it's cool. Let me simply... Teleport back. If I go back to the outskirts and go to... Stairway, Anayama should be around here. Did find out earlier, a long time ago, that Yashina Samurai went salt. Hmm. Okay. So our friend the vendor is right around here. Hello. Found a summoner, Tachiba. What she got the Ramono? Desired thing. Bone salt. Purification and medical treatment. Naruhodo shio. Eat it, purifying the dead and putting on wounds. You spread quick with corpses, scrum for salt. That means time to cash in. People need it, buy me the salt. If you gouge them, I schedule and get some salt. Very much, and purchase items and. So more will come back later, now that we've told him. The products, if I sell it, visit when I do. So I'll have to come back and... Do that later. I guess the question is, now that we've got this... I bet I could just... Insta with one Ichimonji or something. Yeah, that... Not quite. Oh wow, you are stronger than I expected. Well, that still worked. But even the standard basic enemies... A lot stronger than I expected, even with what I have. Okay. So, let's go back to... There's a bit of stuff in the abandoned dungeon, a bit of stuff in sample. That said, I do not want to accidentally send either of the big guys we saw earlier. There was a samurai over in Ashina Reservoir, and Kodoro, oh, the big monk, who both can be lured. Does not mean I would like to do that. Hello there, hello. And, alright, let's just... Boom, and... Oh, nice! That just kills. Cool. Cricket, and boom. Just... Mm, zombie grab is certainly something. And we can... Boom! Okay, so there's no point in getting the death blow. There's no special reward. Unless we need a bit more health. So hitting them once and then charging up the attack is probably the way to do it. Hello there, Doctor. Here we go. Place like this. 
ドスアクシノビディスオザクミナゲミンインフォーメーションオスミネウダバターアイドナーパティキュラリーフィルライクヘルピングヒムアウトうんオッケーそうイズデアナザーウェイトゲットインサイドダットフォーザトレジュオー
then through... No, it wasn't this way. It wasn't this way. A little farther down. Okay. So over... This way, I believe. Oh, and another one of those guys. Annoying. Annoying. It's just... Eh, I could try using Flame Vent on them, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna actually use my... Uh, oh, that almost knocked me down. I don't presume I'm actually going to be using my prosthetic tools all that much in that fight, so. Okay, so the warrior should be down here, I think. The pacifying agents are going to be good in case we get hit by the terror attack. Let's see what happens. So it should be just through here. The question is, will I be able to run away if the fight starts? If it goes badly, will I be able to run? Because I'm not sure about that, and that would influence my decision, for lack of a better term. Whether to engage or not. Down here, we got this, and an item, and pacifying agent, mid or death blow, jump when a red symbol appears, mid or death blow. Yeah, we can just run away, that's good. So when is... Oh my, oh my goodness, okay, cool. We need to use that pacifying agent. Terror buildup increases terror resistance. Death close. Keep the powder closer. Seize with fear. Cover your rear. Keepers executioners. Memorial mob ends. Okay, cool. And that damage is not all that high. I need to. Oh goodness! All right. Cool. And should probably just get divine confetti up then. There's no reason not to. And oh goodness. Okay, cool. Then you'll. Uh, okay. Then we can dodge. Okay, cool. And when are you gonna do your jump? Jump up in the air and just jump up. I'm begging you. And that's not when you're gonna jump. Come on. You have to stay out of the way of all this terror. Going to... Okay, this should be the time, maybe. Uh, whenever you jump, when are you going to jump? Just run out of the way, which is good. You can also dodge through. And, but... I... Huh. This is really weird. Just go up, jump. And if you... Will you... Maybe not? Maybe? Maybe not? I... Okay. Come on, come on. Let's just... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Jump and can we... Can we... Nice! There we go. Wait, what? No, that didn't work. That was stupid. Oh, did we... I think we messed this up by losing our Divine Confetti. Well, you're still almost in the air. That was unpleasant. Okay. I mean, I could just try doing this legitimately, but if I've got all this crap, I feel like... Okay. Oh my goodness. Alright. And just slash, slash, slash. Oh my goodness. And nice! We can dispel all that stuff, which is cool. Can we... Slam that down and oh my goodness, can we jump it? Entire death blow? No, we can't do that. Not right now, at least. Thanks, and okay, cool. Can we jump it? Nice! There we are. One health bar down. Okay. That's good. And wait, what are you. Where are you now? What are you doing? Okay, there you are, and beam. Oh wow! Epic terror beam. And just dodge, dodge, and oh no, never mind, never mind. I need to. Is that pacifying agent? Thank you, thank you, and... Wait, do I have a... I must have a... That gourd, right? I think I do. The... No, I don't have the gourd for... Hmm... Let's get up in the air again, please. Kind of begging you. Okay. Is this terror build up resistance, but... The time I'm taking is... Silly. Oh, goodness. I... Okay, alright, and... Let's just... Oh, my ward, I need to... I need to use my pacifying agent again. don't have that many. Okay, I, wait, what? What? I... Okay. How did I do that wrong? Whatever. Okay, and just heal and... I need... Use my divine confetti again. You know, this is... This trivializes the fight. I have no guilt. Have no guilt in that. Okay, so what if I dodge, what if I move in, oh my lord, okay, cool. 
If I move in and hit you with a bunch of strikes, you'll, it'll, mm, all right, and one, two, three, four, and, okay, we got most of your apparition stuff gone now, so, what is, okay, cool, beam, and, all right, oh, it sweeps, okay, I did not expect that. So we need another pacifying agent to use. Okay. Just go up in the air, I'm begging you. Then when we use that anti-air death bubble. One, two, three, four. And dodge. Thank you. And one and where are you then? I come on, come on. And just dodge and oh goodness. Okay, cool. Whatever. One, two, and... Oh, please. Okay, alright, whatever. And, huh. Okay, I... It's getting more and more ridiculous. I... I mean, I am here early. And if I were more aggressive, I could just take it down normally. But I really want to try to use... Okay. Probably get another... No, we're out of pacifying agents. That's ridiculous. Okay, whatever. That's just scrap magnetite? You're kidding me. Just jump in the air! I'm begging you! What?! And now we're dead. That was stupid. Okay. Well, you know, I- whatever, I- okay. One, two, three, and just dodge, dodge, okay, what if I- Slash, slash, oh my goodness, I don't have any kind of healing right now, okay. I should just run. Just get out of here. Cool. Cool. Well, that was anticlimactic for sure. Okay. Still have some divine confetti, but... My attempt to cheese this by just waiting for the anti-air death blow is dumb. It's a good idea if I can get it off, but I need to be really, really close for it. Some normal attacks. As fun as using other stuff is, I... We do have a lot of these, and that's good. But the... Don't have as much confetti, though. That's the thing. Well, if I'm more aggressive, it shouldn't be a huge issue. We'll see what happens. Hi, crickets. Two, three, and... Yeah, I've just got to kill the crickets as soon as possible. Okay, cool. Let's just kill this guy. That's all. He'll come back. We know. Okay. Get up. Okay. Slam, slam, and nice, nice, and jump, slam, and go for the kill, and cool. All right. And in that case, we have our gourd, we have our divine confetti, or we will dispel the funny attack if we use our divine confetti on it to take it down. Let's use this if we're lucky, we'll only need the one. And just one, two, three, four, and nice. Cool, cool, and just... Oh, what? Oh my goodness, did I... That was my mistake. That was my mistake, okay. So, we're running out of confetti. Running out of confetti. Okay. Wait, I needed to use a pacifying agent, too, because... <sighs> there was just too much... Terror build up. We did okay. We were kind of doing okay. Hmm. All those sources of confetti. Hmm. I wonder how long the buff of Pacifying Agent lasts. Because yeah, Terror being an insta kill really is pretty obnoxious. And okay, you're all dead. We are close, to, relatively close to the next skill point, but okay. Die one time, then die again. Come on, come on. Charge and slam and another one and slam and okay. Didn't have to dodge all the way and wait for the grab to finish. We just had to kill as soon as possible. So yep, no more stupidity and no more cheese. We just. Do this as normally as possible, huh? Bon confetti and... Thanks. Then we use our... Pacifying agent. 
cool, and there we are. Fear resistance, hopefully, and just shut up and slam. Oh, wow, that worked really, really well. That already just totally, wow, okay. Cool, and slam, and one, two. Oh, but you already went away. It's nonsense. Where are you? Okay, now you're over there, so it's just out of What? 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 Okay, cool. Funky terror beam and nice jump and there we what? Huh? You're kidding. That makes no sense. What just happened? Literally, literally, okay. Whatever. Interesting. What whatever. And can we jump and can we Oh you what? Huh? Dodge it. Okay, cool. Okay, well that kind of worked. Dodge, dodge it. Okay. Dodge and take your health down directly. Okay, cool. Where are you then? Where are you? I need to get out of the way. And dodge, dodge, and dodge. Okay. Well, that kind of works. Die already, die already. One, two, three, and no. One, two, or confetti buff is gone already? You're kidding. One, and oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. It's out of the way. That's why agent buff is going to be gone. I don't like that. Okay, cool. So, so there's no point in using the anti air death ball at this juncture. You're almost dead. Okay. Dodge. Oh my lord. Okay. Bon confetti and the rest should be okay for next time, but. Okay, cool. It's one down. So what that means is now we need to use our. That's swing agent and. Devon confetti again. And yep. Running out's not good. Especially since I was gonna use this for. The illusory corrupted monk too. And dodge, dodge. Oh, what? You're kidding. Thank you for the terror beam, good friend. Oh my goodness, okay. Come on. I Get up in the air, I'm begging you. Slam it. Okay, nice. And just... That Ichimonji worked quite well, but I... Come on, dodge. Okay, please. Cool. Dodge, dodge. Okay. Dodge. Oh my... Okay, goodness. Okay, cool. And dodge, dodge. Okay, interesting. One, two, three, and... Now you've disappeared again. Great. Okay. Where are you? We're over there, and we just need to dodge, dodge, dodge out of the way of the terror beam and run into you, and can we- No, we can't get that- Didn't have time for the stupid anti death blow. My goodness, I- Okay. Now you're gone again. You've got to be kidding me. I hate this guy. And just- Dodge! What? You're kidding. And can we- just jump it, anti- No, we can't, because we didn't have the confetti buff. You're oh, I'm so hate this. What? Huh? What? Okay, I need to... It doesn't freaking matter. I need to dodge. One, two, three. Think, think that out of the way. Dodge. Oh, your goodness. I need to... Uh, what if I... I don't have any healing left. I need... Pacifying agents and mm, you're kidding. You've got to be kidding me. I, one, two, dodge. Okay, cool. Come on. We don't have any more, any more of that. And I just, uh, just can we run? Can we run? And no, no, no. Just dodge, dodge, spam, dodge. Hate you so much. I, whatever, whatever. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, whatever. Just spread out of the way. Two, and just dodge, dodge. Uh, what? Dodge- What? No! God damn you! What in the hell? How much money and how much experience are we gonna lose from that bull? I... I don't have any divine confetti left! You have to farm that thing? Yeah! Okay, we got Unseen Air though, that's good. Don't have any pellets. I... Wow. Okay. Alright. Hmm. I really, really just... What I could do is just... The only place to reliably just farm Divine Confetti is... From the Ashina Dojo guys, and I don't. That does not make me happy. Hmm. hmm, hmm. I guess I can repeatedly backstab this guy, given that I've got Bell Demon until I can kill him. I mean, until I get five Divine Confetti or something. 
Maybe. Let's kill as many of these guys as I can until we get the confetti we have. I guess. More skill points too, I guess. Pellet too. But you just can't take these guys without the confetti. Cool. Die. Thank you. Then we can take one of them out. It's just one fencer left. I. It's painful. It's painful. Luckily. I need... I would say we need five. I mean, I would ideally like five. But I only really need two for a successful fight attempt. That's the thing. Jump. And... Oh, come on. Just gonna go for the Mickety? Nice. Which means we can charge it up and slam that down on you. Thanks. One, two, three. Oh, goodness. Okay. Jump and slam on you. No more sugar for you. And one. And take that down. And thank you. Jump. Ooh, goodness. I Okay. Jump and slam. Nice. Oh, wow. Aerial death blow. Not expecting that. Okay. And no divine confetti for me. This is certainly something. Because eventually, from Senpo, I could get the Virtuous Deed skills, which also further increase drop chance. But eventually, I'll just be able to... Well, it will take some time. Eventually, you can just buy Divine Confetti from some... Well, actually, that'd be a, a good idea. I'd get the Dragon Tally Board from... No, but that's True Monk, not... Corrupted Monk, not the Fake Monk. Which means... It will still be a long time off until I can actually get... Stuff straight. I am losing my life. And... Nope, nothing there. And I think... Since we got the sound skill, for better or worse... Sound should not... Actually alert enemies at all. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so... Once we get two confetti... I think I can kill that Chichi man, but... I just... So many moving parts. This is so silly. Wait, how did... Oh, because that's right, I didn't dot oh goodness, I should have dodged towards, but whatever. Uh, okay. Dodge oh my what? Okay. Right, I need to reload the area in order to get make the maths come back. Dodge oh my goodness, I I'm just gonna have to Go fight the monk probably. That said, the issue is that the monk also Takes extra damage with Confetti up. She is technically an apparition type enemy in a certain sense, which makes some things more troublesome. One, two, and thank you. Kill on you, but you aren't the same kind of fencer as the other guy. But we did get that, which should hopefully help with healing, but hmm. Chimonji in the air and dodge. Thank you. Take that down and just one, two. Three. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. And slam that down. And thank you. No more Akko. And one. Jump it. Ichimonji. And one. Uh, Ichimonji again. And another slam. And give me Divine Confetti. Please. I feel like they're not going to give it to me. Bell Demon does, again, increase drop chances, but... Can't do everything. I feel like if to do this farming run most efficiently, I shouldn't fight any of the enemies that I can instantly stealth. That's the thing. Is that getting them a stealth is going to be the most ideal way to do it fast. Because if I don't do it fast, it's you know increasing length of the farm route and hmm, they don't see me, which is good. But again, how am I gonna get up? to that other side of the dojo where I have to fight Saze Jinsuke, I assume. I think that'll be him. Okay. Thank you, sorry. No, it's, that's what happens when you try to take them down. Oh my, yeah, this is not gonna work. I'm just gonna have to go. Hopefully there'll be more divine confetti other places, but let's go back to the temple. I'll be okay, maybe. Yeah, but all that Divine Confetti getting depleted and not being able to kill the Shichi men is... sucks. The item it gives is decently useful. It's the Ceremonial Tantra, which allows you to... Mm. 
sacrifice a small amount of health in exchange for an okay amount of spirit emblems, which gives you more than you can normally carry, too, which can help. Hmm. Vault over is okay. Prosthetic arts, mid air prosthetic tool, Niger slash. We'll need Niger eventually to get Living Force, which. Need mid air prosthetic tool, too. No, but I really want this. This is crucial. The more healing we get, the better, even if it will take a relatively long wait. Hmm. But the. Corrupted Monk. Divine Confetti will work on her, but I don't have the Divine Confetti to use on her. Let's see what happens. I Okay. Hmm. I have a lot of things to even spend money on right now, but... Very close to next level, too, which is good. I mean, not close to next level, which is good, because it means that I don't have to worry about losing a bunch of experience if I just die straight up to the Monk. Okay, that's a normal, simple assassin, so let's kill him. Sorry! I'll bring the kite over here. What does it do? Fly the kite. Oh, it's gonna be a grapple point, if I recall correctly. It should let us get across the other side. Okay. Thank you very much, and... Do anything now, or... Oh, wait. Does... What does that do, then, if not... Huh. Can I get someone over here to keep it up, or what? Is... <sighs> Presumably I'd have to run over eventually in order to use it as a grapple mechanism with enough time. It'd be a timing-related puzzle. But... Okay. Now let's try to see how this works. If it does. And wait, what? Excuse me. Hmm. A simple kite is going to be something I'll have to come back and check out then. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing there right now. Gotcha in and Nibu Spirit Balloon. Yeah, but I need at least two Divine Confetti for that Shichi Men fight, and I do not have any at the moment. I'm just going to have to continue in here and see what I can find. And just make sure I don't get seen. Hello. If I'm lucky, I'll never even see how you fight. Because I'll just kill you. Okay. Cool. Decent, decent. Reduced sound is probably helping with the stealth here, but... Whatever. And that up there is right. This is just where it was before with the entrance to Senpo. But oh, we can also grapple on these trees, but not all of them. Okay. Let's get in close, make sure that they don't see me sneaking in the grass, and... Can we get around behind you? We go around behind over here, I'm sure we can. Hello there, hi. And that is good. Let's sneak down again, and... Okay. Aerial death bolt could be useful, but... I... Uh, hmm. Oh my goodness, so there are a lot of these guys. I think this might actually... Okay, so no, you did notice. Oh well. Reestablishing stealth could be an interesting concept for this, but... Dodge oh, and... What if I slam down on you and... Hmm, I... Feel as if... You should... No, you've got a staff. That's not a Mikiri. It's... Oh, but how did I... Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Okay. Come on, come on. Ah. Wasn't sure who I was actually trying to go up on. This is obnoxious. Okay, cool. And slam and... Oh, nice. So, at least on the unarmed monks. Fully charge. Oh, we got fatty wax. That's good. Fully charge. Okay. Hmm. So, actually, they're quite weak to Ichimonji, especially if it's unblocked. And jump and slam, slam and kill. That's actually not all that bad then, and that, okay, Ungo Sugar is not Fatty Wax Lums. Oh well. So those Fatty Wax Lums are going to be really good for a lot of prosthetic. Nope, there is no save reloading. You are stuck with the consequences of your actions for better or for worse. And 
I'm not sure how I feel about that. The argument's one way for another, but it was done that way for a reason. But it does bother me a bit for fights like Shichiman where without certain consumables, the fight is very, very painful. Spirit emblems are also technically consumables, but they give them out like candy and enemies drop them very easily, so I wouldn't really count them in the same way. But it is a little unfriendly, I will say. I think calling it a criticism might be strong, but it is one of the more unforgiving aspects of the game. I think difficulty to standard in a normal sense is one thing, but the big thing about Souls is very much a sort of consequences for your actions kind of thing. And you know, having consumables be important and you know, losable is kind of paramount in terms of that, but I guess the question is sort of is the main goal of games always to be fun in a standard sense, or so one saw me, but the others are you can get another before the other guy comes in, so the more stealthy is the better, and I definitely think that a lot of help was rendered by using the sugar and stab it. Oh, wow! Single aerial right, because presumably the big thing is that they can't block. Oh my goodness. Dodge, dodge. Oh my. Okay. Come on. And just slam down and go for another, and there we go. At the very least, it's not as if these enemies are all that hard to beat. Corrupted Monk takes bonus damage from Divine Confetti, but it's not the only way to fight her. So I don't think it'll be all that bad. Still, I would prefer to have... You would always be able to buy it with Sen. Because you can buy Divine Confetti, but only much later in the game. Once you've gotten to... Relatively endgame area. Now that kite over there, I'm not quite sure what's up with it. Huh. Over there is anything up there. Right, we can grapple onto that little stump. I write down in my notepad that... Not just the Shichu men in the dungeon, but the... Wait, no, did... Sempo Kite. Sempo Kite. It's the things you gotta mark for later. This is, you know, the fact that there are things such as the water breathing technique, and you could argue that in a certain sense it's basically just... Basically a dungeon key, but... The fact that... Oh, and I should have been... I should have been using the sugar, too. Should have been using the sugar along with the confetti. So I was using the confetti along with Pacifying Agent, but if I had used it along with Akko's Sugar, it probably would have been a victory, frankly. So just... So you didn't see me as you were turning around. How sad for you. Okay, let's get up over here and... This ledge over that way is... Can we... Nice. Get up in here and... Oh, more crickets? Excuse me. Okay, so we can't jump up into that torch, but another Akko and yeah, I Akko is crucial enough that I should be using it more often. Lots of crickets here, I did not expect that. Luckily it's not as if they're particularly aggressive. We have these oh all well, these warrior monk and Buddha idols. It's a fun aesthetic. But it does show in part, you know, the bit of the depravity. As these monks actually kidnap kids for the sake of immortality-related experience experiments, among other things. That's why one of the tools we get is called Divine Abduction, because it's, you know, abduction by the divine, by monks. And, oh, hello, thanks. Slam, and get another, and... Oh, goodness, a lot of these guys. The nice thing is, just... I can get a free stagger on you with... A free instant posture break using Ichimonji and just dodge and ah, oh, thank you. Come on, come on, and I. How do I wanna deal with you? Okay, actually, we can probably get multiple. Oh my, oh, what? What was that attack? Thrust attack or a, what? What? I. Okay. Fighting two of you at once is annoying because of how. Slam down it. What? Huh? How did I miss both? Oh, because it was. Walked onto the guy in the floor? Okay, that's just weird. Okay. So what if I... Okay, so they broke that, but normally... 
It's not really an issue. Just couldn't break it from below. Interesting. And slam. Slam, and I think I got that cricket too. No, I didn't. Cricket survived. That's fine. That's more Aqua Sugars, and can we. Thanks. And can we. Jump, and. There we go. Oh, oh my goodness. How could I not. Was I locked onto the cricket or something? That's really, really weird. Well, whatever. More sand, more experience, and. Oh, and a. Taro troops here? Interesting. It's not expecting that. Luckily, I can actually block your attacks relatively easily. Hmm. So, actually, it's not just Kotaro, it's the other guy, too. And I, nice, and oh, goodness. Alright, and oh, wow, okay. Hmm. And can we slam and get the Ichimonji down? Let's just. Three ends. One. Oh, I messed that up. Thanks. Slam that down and miss, I guess. Come on, just slam and slam, slam and each of Oh, oh. alright. There's gotta be another idol here, right? Oh, my lord. Okay. Aw. Oh. Thanks. One. Oh, what? Wasn't timing that right. Weird. Slam and. One and one, two, three, and thank you, deflection and bring that down, slam again, and that only took a lot more than it should have. Sorry, Mr. Taro Troop. Had to kill you. Okay. And all these so many crickets. This is silly. Okay, but this is not what I've gotten to if I've gone above. So is this gonna be divine abduction or esoteric text or a gourd seed, hello. Oh, what? Huh? Okay. So is this guy infested or what? Presumably he is. Oh, and the... The crickets actually have posture. That's really funny. That was a bit of a spook. Another fatty wax lung. More circumstances, so... Advanced level upgrades. So what all is in here, and what can I... This is not a door. At least not a usable door. Which taken. Ceramic shard, and... Jump out here, and who is it's the old hag from before, or Nibu Bowen of Spirit? Then over there, there's got to be another idol around here, right? Maybe not. Hi. Fruits of the Serpent. Maybe Kimono. Kimono. Two kinds. One is fresh, and the other is dry. Mama. Fresh. Dry. Oshigaki. Oshiza. There in the... Oh, second that way. Fresh one is over there. Through the cliff, through the hole. Anakuri, through the hole. That's where you'll get the fresh one. Namagaki, doyokoto. Hey. Something troubling you. Rice. Oh, so we need to give him give her rice, and she might explain more things. It's your mind, bless me of rice any time. Do nothing, we don't have rice. Divine child, so we need to get to the divine child first to do that. Simple hag rice. Okay. Let me simply hmm. So yeah, that would be sunken valley or sunken valley passage slash depths. Down through there, so that kite over there is confusing though. Not available. Let's can't check the map yet, but that's Ashina over there. We've gone through and Sunken Valley is basically right alongside this, but accessed very, very differently. It's cool actually. And of course we can't live the fall down, so we have to do it. Access each of the way in there. Designed to be accessed. Real question is, are any of these going to be doors, or does not seem like it? But there was other stuff on the other side, other part of the gate. Dangerously toxic, essential to anyone attempting to mine the ore, and... Oh, these are just bandits. No, this is the other side of where it was previously, presumably. Let's just slide and start assassinating. Don't have any gourds left, so this is going to be my only way to get any kind of. We did get oil, that's good. Get any kind of. Okay. Need to. 
You over there are the spear guy. That's going to be interesting. However I get to you. Then, go up here and go up there as well, but... Oh, interesting. So access to the hag is rather circumscribed, I suppose. Well, lots of spirit emblems up over here. Interesting. I wonder what that was specifically. And down this way also nothing, it seems. It seems like somehow. Okay, I need somebody to hold that kite down then. Someone to... I think Kotaro could do that, actually. Light coin purse. And not lost upon death. That would allow me to get to the other side over there and see whatever that is. I think. That down that way is going to be trouble. Hmm. There is indeed a lot. That rooftop had to go from outside, or at least not drop down to the hag as immediately as I did. No, drop down from the hag was, because that chamber is now locked off for the moment. And let's sneak up on this guy and kill him. Sorry! Not really. You're an evil monk who kidnaps kids. Literally zero guilt. Okay. Here we are. It's just... I hope that we get those fat wax lumps. Hmm. But using sugars and using all sorts of things are going to be clearly necessary in order to, you know, actually win on Bell Demon without being a lunatic. And oh my, what? Huh? Oh my goodness! I okay. Interesting. And uh, Nagi Naginata? Oh wow. Mm hmm. How do I want to? Can I just not go back right now? Kinda seems that way. That's not good. This is not a door. Yep, it's not a door. Then and then. So how would I get over here? I just can't. This is... Oh, interesting. Sorry, bandit. And... A pellet. How would I get to other parts. That's the question. Well, we can use this. But the spear guys are- oh, did I- what? Huh? Well, whatever. I- tool and nice. Knock your shield out of the way. And we didn't break the shield though, that's the thing. That's what surprised me. The spear guys are actually, presumably, losing sight of me. Maybe, possibly. No, they're still on high alert. I don't like that. Oh, there you are. Annoying. Yeah, but... How should I... Take you down? Okay. Cool, and... Oh, you are... Very, very strong. Alright. Alright, then. Thing up top, or... Mm hmm. Gotta get to a point where I can actually... Get a stealth death blow on you because I don't have any gourd healing right now. I'm not going to be able to kill you fairly. So if we hide up here and squat down, I guess. We might be able to kill you a bit more simply, but who knows really. Hmm. What I know is that on one side of the bridge there's other stuff and Okay. You're going back. You don't what? You can see me all the way from there? You have got to be kidding. What even is... okay? Come on, I guess. Do we even want to... fight? I guess we can worry over here, but... Ooh, oh, okay. I... alright. Thank you, can we... Slam and... slam and... Do dodge, dodge, and jump... oh, okay, cool. Well, okay. Alright then. Resurrect real quick, so we can jump and use this idol to get back to our last commute location. Interesting, that was different. I guess the question is, what would allow us to actually talk to him about the kite? Someone's got to stay there and operate it, and presumably it would be Kotaro, but... So is that Senpo Ninja coming back, or hope you ride flower and do nothing? Okay. Go down there, kill 
the monk and the assassin. Well, if the assassin respawns, that is. Okay, he does, which means presumably before we can tell Kotoro to fly the kite for us, we would need to kill this Senpo ninja. Come on, come on. Thank you. And just... Hmm. So what would I do to make this stay in place so I could grapple across and get to the other side of the valley? It's clearly it's up there in the other part of Senpo, but just past that gate. We don't have a way at the moment to force a force it to stay put. Maybe we'll get some sort of mechanism. I don't know. Sort of mechanism key that allows it to stay in one place, one spot without moving. But hmm. yeah, we have lots of skill points, so I really do not want to lose any right now. Okay, so we can't do anything yet. So I guess it's going to be some kind of mechanism then. It's whatever. Oh, but before we do anything else, we should go use the healing gourd. I mean, use the gourd seed to get it six years. Do need to go all the way back to Emma to do that. It is what it is. So no, actually, I could just use the idol to go right to the dilapidated temple. So that's no problem. Huh. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Hi. Let's give the seed and just consume the seed. Thank you. Demic, everyone thought it died. Dogen's regrets, if only a little. In Japanese, she specifically does mention Dogen. Her teacher, who was a doctor. Go back to Senpo, I'll go to Senpo Temple, now Congo. Hmm. Just want to see what it says on the map. The map there would be, yeah, it's Senpo, it would be I think that's Kongo Yama Senpo Ji. So in the Japanese, the order is more Mount Kongo Senpo Temple. But of course, that's ultimately just splitting hairs. Okay. So to get stealth on one of the other guys is gonna be its own thing. If you're over there, if you're over here, we can kill you on stealth and. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, alright, whatever. Okay, you? Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, come on. Slam, slam. The small consolation is, of course, that Ichimonji Double does just kill them pretty irrevocably. Pretty easily, too. Big thing is, if we jump up top instead of going around the side internal path like we did last time, what might we find that we couldn't or didn't before? The staff guys also, I have to get them first. Oh, nice. Cool. So the sound reduction, I believe, made that death blow a lot more possible. I'll still be able to tell if you're right by them, but it's a lot better. So, oh, and of course there are two spear guys right there. That's not great. Jump and slam and slam and... Oh, my. Okay. Cool. Oh, wow. Thanks. Go for the throw. And move it, slam it, slam it. Okay, nice. How's it been, Mashenshi? Yes, the boy. We are playing Sekiro. I'm doing early Senpo Temple. I tried my darndest to. Oh my goodness, you're getting me. What? Okay, I. Okay, that was totally accidental. Well, I'm glad you were able to hop in. Always fun with you. What? Huh? Okay. Always good to have you. And jump and. Oh my. What? No, no. What? Huh? Weird, weird. Yeah, it's... The atmosphere is really great. I like how it looks somewhat autumnal when the rest of the game is basically in winter. Oh, come on. And slam down it. The Ichimonji... I killed Lady Butterfly earlier, so I've been using Ichim Ichimonji Double for a lot of things. Which is very, very nice. It is a still a truly ridiculous skill. And can we... Okay, there we are. Making liberal use of the health from death blow skill. 
Come on, come on. We did get a Gourd Seed, but my performance is still leaving a bit to be desired. I'm trying to figure out how to use the kite to get across the valley, but we'll figure it out. And, oh goodness, at least there's just you. This shouldn't be a problem. Unarmed monks are not hard to deal with, because they don't block my Ichimonji, which is the important thing. Oh, believe me, I was never under any impression that it was unsafe. The reason I've been using Ichimonji so much, especially Ichimonji Double, is that some years ago I saw a video that was just best combat arts in Sekiro, and they said, yeah, it's... Depending on the situation, it's either Sakura Dance, Ichim Ichimonji Double, or Empowered Mortal Draw. And I was just... Okay, cool! There we go. You know, one for group, one for group fights, one for one-on-one -on -one fights, posture focus, one for just vitality damage, and there you go. Simple enough. So that's what I've been trying to focus on, though to be fair, it's going to be a while until I get Sakura Dance. Oh, was it Fighting Cowboy? And... I don't remember who made the video, but... I'm glad you're familiar with what I was bringing up. You seem to know it a bit better than me, though to be fair, you have also, you know, beaten this game, and I haven't yet. Though hopefully I will beat this game. We'll see what happens. So, if we go over this ring... Did not go this way before. Heavy coin purse. We can't buy any... Can't buy any Divine Confetti. I ran out of, out of all of my Divine Confetti fighting Shichiman Warrior earlier, and it was painful. Oh, fair. Well, it is one of the more normal-looking combat arts, for one. It's not very flashy. That's, frankly, part of what makes it so good, though. You know, there's no nonsense, it's just... You kill him. And, okay, Cricket. Oh, come on! You gotta kill everything, so... Stupid, stupid Cricket. Okay. Okay, so I can't actually get around unless I go through here. Because the gate's locked. That makes sense, though. Uh huh. Come on, and... There we go. Spear guys over on the other side have been giving me some trouble. Well, the big thing is that I use it a lot with mid-air combat arts, which speeds up the charge of a base Ichimonji very significantly. It isn't as strong as a charge one, but it's very, very useful. And that fast as opposed to that fast. So it's a little faster, and the big thing is that if you do a jump, you can also just gap close in, which makes it a lot safer, especially because it allows you to dodge some grounded attacks. It's just a very, very strong option, almost all times. And okay, you don't see me, which is good, and I know there was a there's a tar troop somewhere, and I... Huh. Come on. There's the Taro guy. There's a Taro guy here before, and I don't think he despawned. I don't think it was a one-time encounter, but I don't see where he is. Taro troop guy with a Kanabo with a big iron club, which... Among other things, is the weapon that Ganondorf uses in Tears of the Kingdom, or one of the weapons he uses. Hi, hello, and one, take you down, and... So is that Taro Troop guy a one-time encounter? I really wouldn't think so. Oh, we got a good amount of fat wax. That's really nice. Makes me feel better about playing on Bell Demon. And then we can... Got a skill point, too. I spent a lot on the... Reduce sound one, which actually is probably helping more than a little here, but... Oh, come on. Yeah, I... I have complicated feelings about quote-unquote new Zelda. But the Ganonor fight in Tears of the Kingdom was undeniably very, very good. Don't think there's a way to deny that, really. Okay, just... What? Oh, wow. Uh, huh? Wait, you came back? Oh, right, because... They're undying, and I don't have the Mortal Blade yet. That's right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Just Ichimonji on you, and thanks. Just... Mm, two, three, and... Deflect. Cool, and just jump in Ichimonji. Though, frankly, I could have gone for the fully charged one, and... Let's actually go for the fully charged one. Don't... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Hmm, how much posture are you gonna... Dodge! God, oh, we timed that wrong. God, oh, what, oh. That emer the way the emergency dodge works is really annoying, frankly. Thank you, and... Three, and just... Nice, and... Oh, okay, come on, and... Jump, slam down, and... 
They do, and... Wait, is Ben not doing enough posture to kill? Come on, come on. What? What? Oh, you had a temporary posture decrease only during that attack. It's ridiculous. I nice, and... Thank you, and... Nice, and... Can we kill now? There we go. Cool. Oh, I don't think we got the cool camera angle because we were on stairs. Yeah, Souls games and stairs. Really just... Yeah, yeah. I think one thing about Demise is that... There are a lot of very cool fan theories about Hylia versus Demise being less a combat of good and evil and more sort of law versus chaos, but the issue is that's just not. And a big part of it is that the description of the Goddess Plume upgrade item in Skyward Sword implies that Hylia does not have a human appearance in the slightest, and that she might be somewhat mechanical or crystalline in nature, which is very, very cool for a number of reasons. But the big thing is that Zelda, for better or worse, is an incredibly morally simplistic black and white series, which, you know, that, that's the kind of game they want to make. That's part of why I feel like, you know, as I got older, for better or worse, and, you know, not to toot my own horn, I became a lot more interested in games like Souls and, like, oh, and it burns the grass. That's really cool. Like Souls and, like, Genshin. For, well, like I said, just the fact that you know, among other things, Hylia manipulates Link, manipulates Zelda, and... Oh, even though it's somewhat excused, it's not entirely excused. You know, in the end, like I said, it's all just fan conjecture that is very plainly not in line with what the devs intended in the slightest, even though, like I've said before, Zelda games are kind of made by committee and don't really have all that much in the way of intentionality, but still. Okay, cool. And just... One, one, two, and... Can we... Oh, can we sleep up and... Oh my goodness. Gotta knock you down. And one, one, and... Okay. Slash up and take you down and... Hate these guys so much and... Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. It... That's part of why Skyward Sword Zelda is actually one of the more interesting Zeldas, frankly. In my opinion. That... Even though... And what's interesting is that the credit sequence... And this is one of the big missed opportunities with the remake, in my opinion. The credit sequence, very plainly, it's literally supposed to be the path that Zelda and Impa took through the game, and I... The, the devs did talk about the idea of making that playable at least at one point, and of course they didn't. But I feel like that was a big thing they could have done for the remake and then just simply didn't. And I, oh my goodness, what? Oh, I hate this. Okay, cool. What if I... No, I gotta use a homeward idol. That said, I've got all that fat wax. I could... I could just go and use... I could make a couple of prosthetic upgrades with the fat wax I got. Yeah, I think... Now that you've reached the point in the game where... Enemies can drop the higher level prosthetic upgrade materials... Bell Demon is gonna start being a benefit as well as a challenge. Not instead of a challenge, just as well as a challenge, but still. Hmm. I think... The, the final Gearham fight and the Demise fight... Honestly feel like they kind of presage Sekiro a little to me. In the sense that... If you get good at blocking with good timing... The fights become a lot more engaging and interesting. You can afford to play a lot more aggressively than you otherwise would be able to. Hmm. Don't have enough Magnetite. I don't use Mist Raven, but... Magnet Umbrella would be very good. I think I might actually take that. You have mentioned that before. Estaboy, something good. Okinaga and the Pine Resin Ember. We can't have that yet. Hmm. That could be good for the Shichi Man, but... I just used all that Scrap Magnetite on this. Do you have enough forms of fat wax for it, but the magnetite will need to get some other way. Okay. Yeah, I... I haven't been using them nearly as much as I should have been, but... Now that I've got this... We're chilling. It should be. Light attacks. It doesn't mention sweeps. Yeah, I... This should be very good for fighting the Shichiman Warrior. Okay, okay, now I see. We're gonna be chill. Go back to Simbo. Hopefully get more fatty wax. 
Like I said before, running out of divine confetti has been really, really bothersome for a number of reasons, including... That it's effective on Corrupted Month, who I will reach here, and then get the funny Mibu breathing technique. Won't that be great? The eye... This is going to sound silly, but I'm actually trying to do as much as possible and fight as many things as possible other than Genichiro before Genichiro. I did beat Lady Butterfly today, among other things. Hello there, hello. Come on, come on, and... Got you. Let's go sneak around back. Yeah. Partially because he is hard, but also partially just... I want to see how far the game lets me go without it. Because some, some of what I saw implied that I wouldn't even be able to go to Sunken Valley. We're fighting Genichiro, which was obviously untrue. And can we slam, slam, and just one, and ooh. Can we go for the Mikiri, or? Yeah. Well, I guess you could make the argument that you're supposed to maybe fight him, then go back after getting stronger. Kind of like a Morgoth-type boss. And, okay, oh, what? I was expecting actually be able to get at least one of those Mikiris off. Well, sadly, good things can't happen to me, I guess. Dodge it! Okay, dodge and Dodge! What? Huh? Huh? Okay, that timing's tricky. I was mostly fighting these guys with just backstab kills beforehand, which and it's just... Can we... Nice! I guess we'll just break your posture instead. Dodge and... Die, die, die. So you can get some of that health back by way of a death blow. That is such a good skill. I did a bit of grinding to get it early on, frankly. And it has been one of the best things for just going through areas. Because your health regeneration is so much more limited in this game compared to... That went about as badly as it could have gone. And the nice thing is that... Oh, goodness. Is someone else... Is someone else coming? I don't see them right now. Okay, slam it. Okay, sweep it. Oh, what? Oh, you were on the side? What? Okay. Thanks, I guess. Annoying. Oh, goodness. I... How many of these guys am I going to have to fight right now? You're kidding. Okay, whatever. Slam, slam, death blow. Yeah, the big thing is that the unarmed ones that don't block, you can just knock down really easily with Ichimonji. But the spear guys who do block are... That much more annoying. One, two, and thanks. Cool. And oh, you got the defense candy up right now, right? Come on. Go ahead and oh my goodness, let's slam you and take you down. Such a good skill. Now I might not be doing amazingly, but just I don't think that any game has a combat system like Sekiro's. I'm sure you'd agree, frankly. It's the fact that every enemy has two kinds of health bars to incentivize aggression over just passive playing is so fundamentally different. I feel, honestly, I've had some conversations with people, some pleasant, some not, about what Genshin could do to revitalize the combat system, and I basically said, if it, you know, eventually there's a limit to what they can do. If to make characters not compete with each other, you know, you can add all kinds of gimmicks. And maybe one thing... A management system? As in... As in posture? Or... Do you mean sort of managing enemies and encounters? Okay, cool. Take you down again? Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well... Really, it's just the fact that there are two kinds of health bars. One for various situations. For different situations, which, you know, changes the entire flow of combat by incentivizing aggression. And sort of, I think, active or maybe even... Aggressive defense might not be the right word, but definitely an active defense. The fact that, you know, blocking is sometimes your best offensive tactic, as funny as that might sound, at least in terms of... Decreasing enemy posture is just incredibly unique. It gives the game such a fundamentally different identity from anything else. 
And that's why in the Elden Ring playthrough for, with six guys, you should be our samurai. I'm saying it. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you're bl just blocking instead of deflecting. Come on, come on. And you're over. Oh my goodness. And of course, I alerted them all because I went for the cricket too much. And slam down. Got you. Take that and. Right, right. We just gotta get a new Esther computer. That's the computer fundraiser. And two, and just... Oh my, what? Okay. Come on, come on, and... Foster break. Thank you. Come on, just slam down. Slam that again. And, oh, I think that was a... Posture kill, too. It's not just that they can't block, it's that presumably... Being able to... <sighs> decrease their health also increases the posture damage I'm dealing. Thank you, and... Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Thanks, and ooh, alright, thanks for the sample kicks. And can we, one, two, and, oh my goodness, okay. Slam, okay, die. That hit me, but I still got the hit off. Interesting. Hmm. And just, don't, oh, alright, I, maybe I should have used the umbrella. Oh, okay, and dodge, and, okay. Lights, and can we, slam down and slam you. And three, three, and just nice, thank you, and slam that down, slam that down again, and posture recovery is something. There we go, kill the Taro troop, and thank you very much. Wouldn't be really funny, I could actually probably... Oh, yeah, I didn't hear about that, but that makes a lot of sense. Especially stuff like Water Feral Dance is very similar to something like Floating Passage. The big thing to me is, and what's nice, is that I can just kill this undying guy again and again with death blows. Just to <laughs> get more health back by doing... Because he is infested, so eventually he'll come back to life. And it's a bunch of crickets. No, no, there are a lot of people who think, even though it's basically completely erroneous, there's no backing for it, that Millennia was basically Tomoe, the mentioned character. Oh, wow, you can see the centipedes crawling on his body. It's nasty. You know, let him cook, I guess. So there we, there we, oh goodness, let's just take you down and can't kill this guy right now. Let's get the mortal blame though, I can. Okay. So there's some monks over here. I don't believe there's actually a way for me to actually get any kind of stealth death blow on the double-ended spear guys. The... I can't believe they had a Darth Maul the Sekiro. Frankly, it fits. Yeah, she... She's definitely not Tomoe, but... She is generally considered to be the hardest boss in the base game. Which raises the question of how the DLC might try to make a harder boss, or if they even will. Because it would be kind of hard to make a, difficult, a boss more difficult than Millennia, who just wasn't just outright unfair. And that's something I was talking about with Andrew when I saw him, that... It's gonna be interesting to see what they try. Because... Oh, goodness. I, okay, cool. Luckily, we should only have to deal with one of these guys, so... Let's see what happens if we jump and... Oh, nice. Let's just dodge. Okay, cool. And just... Thank you. Can we slam on you? And... One, and just... Dodge. And slam. And... Ooh, goodness. Okay. Dodge, dodge. Uh, heal. Heal. And just... Oh, what? Huh? Did not expect that. Okay. Cool. Just dodge, dodge. Thanks, and... Can we go over and slam you down? Yeah, they're crazy, crazy, and jump it. Okay, slam down, and uh, okay, and slam again. And, oh my, what, huh? Okay. I really should have been using the umbrella on them. I figured, but still, I jump it. What? I couldn't jump? Oh, wall pressure, that makes sense. Okay, so Sekiro really is a fighting game, then. So that means as we go back, try that again. Honestly, I just need to use the umbrella. That's what I need to do. The big thing is that the consumption of spirit emblems is going to get kind of crazy if I use the umbrella deflect. But that said, it's not like I have to use them for anything else, and it's not as if spirit emblems are some kind of deeply limited commodity. The only thing to use them for is killing enemies. Oh, interesting. That's a cool tank. 
You're right here. Take down all these stupid monks. Come on. I know there is an actual Sekiro multiplayer PvP mod, among other things. You might have seen some of that. It's interesting conceptually, but whether it works in practice is another story. Because it... It's just not... Yeah, it's just not what the game is balanced for. Okay, so who can... Wait, who saw me? You... Mongrel? Oh my goodness. How do we... Establishing stealth is going to be stupid, annoying. One, two, and... There we go! Out of the way before the spear comes. Uh huh. So when will you retreat? I don't want to fight this many of you at once. It really does feel like a whole conservation ninjutsu kind of thing. And yeah, the more they are, the more... Inconsequential they are. Okay, cool. Nice dodge. Oh, come on, just... Oh, what? You're kidding. Jump it. Sl oh, what? Ah. Can't get my Ichimonji off like I wanted to. Whatever, right? Come on. Slam it. Okay, cool. And what? 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 Okay, thanks. Can we... No, that didn't hit. Oh, please. I, I just... I don't want to die here, but I don't want to use a gourd this early. Just getting them to not... Getting them get in a good position is more annoying than I might like. Okay, and... What are you gonna do? Give me more stuff. Slam it. Oh, your spacing was too good. I uh, wait, what? Okay. Thanks. Nice, and can we go up and there we go. So the one deflection because of the carp skill I have makes Ichimonji really, really good. Slam, slam it. Oh nice, we actually got Vitality Depletion. Okay. It's so all those fat wax lumps are gonna be useful for me. Oh, there you are, and another staff slash spear guy. One interesting thing about souls is quite frankly the mistranslations, honestly. Because in Souls 1 and 2, there are these magic catalysts, but every single one is not actually a catalyst, but a staff. But the translation simply does not get that. But the big thing about that, detail-wise, is... Okay, cool, and... Oh my goodness. Thanks, thanks. Nice, and... Okay, oh, alright, and slam me down. We did not... Okay, the second hit hit, that's good. But... The catalysts are all staves, not actual quote-unquote catalysts. It's mistranslated. But there are a couple of catalysts that are translated as tin catalysts. And they have nothing to really do with each other in-game, but... Pacifying agent, that's funny, I didn't see that. The tin dark boom catalyst and the tin crystallization catalyst, and they have nothing to do with each other. And the reason they're translated as tin because is because the term for them in Japanese is literally just tin staff. But the connotation is that it's a religious staff. So the staves we see these monks wielding are tin staves, tin staves, which you know, represent their religious position. Yeah, I... Well, a lot of it is just, at least early on, was just not being able to fit a full translation into the space they had. Because I was actually thinking about Final Fantasy VII Omni Slash, which is has a comically long name in the Japanese, something like, I don't know, All Destroying Omnipotent War God Slash. And that's something you can represent, you know, it takes a while to say even in Japanese, but it doesn't take that many kanji, which is why... They can have that without it being too stupid. So the taro up there is... There's a taro up there. Is there a grapple point? Or... That's the real question. Okay. Come on, crickets. Come on. Die already. Die already. Okay. But, you know, back then they had really, really short character limits. And to be fair, I don't think they would translate it as, you know, the war god slash if it was out today. But for, you know, different reasons, just readability more than character limits. Okay, and, okay, so if you drop down from there, presumably there might be something I could get over that way. Maybe. No, there was nothing, so, quite frankly, where did he come from? Where did he go? Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Taro. Okay. I do feel like fighting this guy. 
Nice, and just nice. And they are fun to fight. Even though their posture depletion is pretty crazy. Okay. And just... Oh, I uh, deflected wrong. Nice. And can we... Nice. Nice. Oh, what? Huh? Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. Can we get with the Ichimonji? We can get one hit and I... Three and... Nice. The issue is that I don't have... Uh, I don't have... Midair prosthetic tools yet, so... It causes some issues. Nice, and... Slam, slam, and just... One, two, three, and... Nice, and... Oh, wow! That was enough posture damage to actually break. Big thing is... I gotta take down those spear guys to figure out what's going on over there. Well, it's not that you get it late, it's that it's not mandatory. I've been focusing on other skills, in particular with the gourd ones, just because of how damaging enemies are with Bell Demon on. So I should remember to come back and kill him once I get Mortal Blade. I feel like there's probably some reward for going back and doing that. Maybe. Okay, so a couple monks over here. A couple of bandits and then the spear guys. So I, I can't stealth them. I just cannot stealth kill them. That's the most annoying thing. So I gotta focus on umbrella deflections, presumably, but... Yep, Akko Sugar, no fatty wax. That's sad. That's a true crying shame. Mm -mm, second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they actually see me right now, but they won't raise the human cry quite yet. Let's see what happens. Oh, there. And get over there and get you. Take out the bandits, take out spear guys, some umbrella deflections. I'm in the club using umbrella deflection. Okay. Esta boy, have you, have you ever teched someone's throw and then done your Aegis setup? Okay, the question is, maybe I could actually get stealth off if I snuck off this over the side, maybe? That's the question. You know, if you wanna, I guess. Oh, come on, you. Die already. Come on, die, die, okay. And there you are, I, hmm. Oh, we got our skill point, which is good, but. Come on, come on, and jump it. There we go, we can get that off immediately, and. Dodge, dodge, okay. Dodge, dodge, okay, cool, and what are you doing? Come on, just slam it. Slum you out and dodge, dodge, jump it. Okay, that actually wasn't all that bad. Thanks, and just want to thank you. Die, die, die. There we are. You lunatic. Okay, whatever. Heavy coin purse, and I think that was a one time guaranteed drop the first time you kill them. Which implies that maybe they don't respawn. That would be great for me. It's probably not true, though. Come on there. Dodge. Oh my. Okay. Come on, just. Oh, give me. Slam, slam, and. Good damage. And dodge. Okay, thanks. Oh my. Okay. I did not expect that to hit. What was. Okay. Cool. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, thanks. Take that. Frankly, I feel like mid air items could be the most useful. Unfortunately, I. One, two, and. Jump it, slam that down, get the UN. Okay, cool, and slam down again. I could have charged it up, couldn't I? Yeah, I could have, and charge. Ijimonji, and dodge, dodge, okay. Slam, oh my, okay, goodness, charge. Slam, and we're close. One, two, and slam that down. Thank you, thank you, and what, what, die, 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 what, 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 huh? How is, how are you alive? Huh? What in the- Okay! Well, you're dead now! That took way too much. Yeah. I feel like I should try using Sabimaru more. The issue is that... <sighs> Nothing's particularly weak to it up until you get... To the Sucking Valley Okami Woman, which... Frankly, at that point, there'd be a lot of overkill there. 
Hello, break your shield and hit you. Goodbye, goodbye. Okay. So we got four points, so we're close to being able to get the medicine one, but at the very same time, Fang and Blade would also be very cool. Except, the big thing for Fang and Blade would be able to... I'd be able to use it on apparition-type enemies with a Lazulite event, but it's going to be a while until I get Lazulite anyway, so... It doesn't really make a significant difference. Okay, so we can go around this way. Got you and Sugar. Hired guards, anything for their quest... And their quest for undeath. And we can go up here and... Some Spewit emblems. So, there's a ledge over there, but this is the only way ahead, so it's not like it makes much of a difference. Guys, is this the Shrine of Resurrection from... For the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Okay, so we finally got to another Sculptor's Idol. That's good. Yeah, because... In terms of prosthetic arts, we've got... This for another point, but... Eventually, I do... I need a Living Force, eventually. I think boy, it's cool. So, so would Midair. But... The more healing I get, the more pure survivability I'll have, which is going to be crucial. But I'm going to need Living Force eventually, and also Ashina Cross, in order to get Empowered Mortal Draw eventually, which would be very, very good. I would also need that flowing... Oh, and beyond that over there, there's also something down this way, so let's see what this is. Get going over this way. And, hello. Item is. Did not mean to do that. Yeah. The big one is the Ashina one that gives you more posture damage to enemies when you deflect and more posture damage from all sources after deflecting. Which I get the ascending and descending carp ones. So we've got a good amount of money. We should spend it as soon as possible. Gokuyo. Gokuyo. Why he hides his face? A real mob. More to ever get the Buddha. And then persimmons. Well, five color rice. This is permanent, basically. Just an item we can use for stuff. I. Oh, scrap magnetite. That could be good to pick up. That's a good idea. So, uh, hmm. should buy some coin purses. Just to store my sand in case I die. Because I'm probably going to die. Is that a grin, not lost some death? These sugars are still chill. Shisha, dead people. Find the memorial knob. Interesting. I feel as if... I need to see what the actual translation of mob there is. I can't imagine they're referencing Mob Psycho 100. Okay. Let's rest. That five color rice is not anything... I'm oh, just a Shugendo. Oh, that's funny. So he'd be the Shugendo Memorial Mob. But Shugendo literally means mountain asceticism in Japanese. That's what it's referencing. Okay, I might want to take a little bathroom break soon. I've been at this for some time. So if you'll forgive me. Once I get to uh, maybe another idol, I don't know. Yubibu in a spirit. I need to watch it eventually. I know a lot of people we know both have fond opinions of it. Cool and... okay. Cool and... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice and... Nice. Oh, cool. I didn't kill that Senpo assassin, but... I should have just used the axe. Whatever. Over here would be... What? Let's jump down, get the idol again. You know, I do appreciate how much harder the jump physics are because in another souls game that probably would have hitting that wedge would have kept enough momentum to push me to my death it's in general it you you're a lot more able to cancel your momentum which is quite frankly what makes this actually doable oh goodness i oh that was a bad way to approach so ninjas over here should slam and oh my okay Cool, I did not expect that. Slam and just dodge. Okay, nice. Or what? I did not intend to do that. Don't, oh, oh, I, I actually don't, but if that's for the fan art, I feel like, I don't know. They might not be real, but I feel like a black rose could work with the color scheme. So let's go back down and not die this time. I. This is concerning. 
So if I want to take out those Senpo Assassins, I should go another way. Also, would you like me to make a fan art channel on the server? If... As I think you did mention you were doing... Yeah, it's no problem at all. Thank you for making art. It's... I cannot tell you how much it means to me that people are making fan art. It's very, very nice. And slam, and can we break the hat? And... Oh, what? Okay. Ooh, no arc. Oh my goodness. And I... Can I not break this guy's hat? That's interesting. Come on. Okay. Uh-huh. I'll do that. In that case, I'll take a bathroom break right now and make a fan art channel as well. And probably move the references channel into the larger category of art. So I'll do that real quick, and I'll be right back afterwards. Fair. I gotta fight everyone. I'll be right back.
Okay, I've returned. I'm alive again. Let's do this thing. Okay. Time to continue, get a bit of healing. Of course, you and if you have a if you have a better idea on what flowers to use, you are welcome to Nothing is set in stone yet, really. You know, these kinds of things change as time goes on, so... Whatever you think is fitting is something you can use. And these guys, the fact that unlike the others, we can't just break them with... The axe. Really, really troublesome. That said, I want to see if... Can I get this guy with the shuriken? Because he is airborne, and I... Slam, slam, and just... Come on. Oh, not the poison. Get over here, you. Come on. You don't have very fast posture recovery, which is good. There's not a good way to engage, though. That's a thing. I dodge, dodge, and... Okay, come on. Let me move in and... Oh, please. Okay, I... Oh, come on. You are so annoying. Okay, die, die. And I'm gonna need to use an antidote powder again. Obnoxious. I just cannot... Oh. Thanks, thanks. How many of your... Oh, okay. Can we... The fact that stance breaks so readily is... Mm hmm. What if I... Sla... Okay, I need... Better... Timing on that. Oh, nice! We got you mid-roll and it was just an instant kill. Very pleasant. We take those. Oh, I would be sort of a flower language type thing. If that's something you want to do, I would really, really appreciate that. That's really cool. Yeah. Just, in the end, it is, to an extent, a community effort. So whatever you think makes sense and whatever you think might work is something I'm willing to go with. So, we're back here on Shugendo. Just taking out those assassins means we won't have to worry about them chasing us or something. They were around four before. And this over this way. This is the cave we saw previously. So, Mr. Oh, well, never mind. Can I get up there or. Okay, I could have gotten a stealth death blow on him if I'd gone from up here, presumably, but can I. Oh, what? Can I. Never mind. I dodge, dodge, slam, slam, and another. There we go. Got that death blow. There's got to be another idol around here somewhere, right? Before the boss fight comes. I would certainly hope so. But I could certainly see it not being that way, too. Do I see a... Okay, so I'm going to have to jump down and then time my grapple just right, basically. And Oh, my... What? No! No! Ah. Let's get a bit of practice in. Now that gourd, that's good. So if I just jump and grapple onto there, I can... Okay, there we go. I have to drop down and get another ledge hang. Time that pretty carefully. That was tough. Interesting. Heavy coin purse and presumably stuff around here. But where is... Another ledge hang to grapple onto. We can't stay. So where are we going to get to? And frankly, how are they going to fight me? These poor rocks are very pretty, I will say. Probably not Lazarite. It's probably just painted, but... And we have a jump wall. Oh, and multiple geckos? Really? Okay. Don't poison me, please. I really, really, really? You've got to be kidding. Come on, okay. So I don't have too many. Did I just... Oh, I failed to use it because I was still in contact with an enemy. And that's the downside of using stuff from... The inventory instead of the hotbar. Sometimes it won't work and you won't be able to see it as much. Okay, cool. So let's just Mario Galaxy this. And then... Assumably there should be a way. White pinwheel. Single pure white pinwheel carried there by the wind. Only the child is right here. Hmm. And that would be presumably Kotaro. Anything in here or... Doesn't seem like it. I don't even think I can... 
cling yeah I can't even cling to that wall so originally I suppose they were supposed to be these bridges up but now there simply aren't okay cool not that I use bestowal and jutsu or anything for anything but that's free basically so what's up here this is nothing maybe a vantage point so in that case let's see anything here anything or for somebody's noises which presumably means that someone is fightable here heavy coin purse and this is a monkey booze fruits hidden by monkeys in tree holes can ferment to the sake with a bit of luck harsh flavor find this acquired taste irresistible a hollow tree hmm let's open this up and who should be behind here but gonna be one of those long arm centipedes or you haven't actually really encountered any mini bosses in here which is interesting to me or oh is this the demon bell one or dodge uh, yeah this is the centipede slam it oh wow you're weak oh is this the the demon bell door yeah it is oh cool so we found our shortcut it was the demon bell that's really cool okay so we don't need to go back down there right now at least but there let's see oh i think that's where the armored warrior is possibly most likely oh there and ichimonji and my your symbol you have to be because we wait what how can we not whatever let's try that again interesting that is not a way i'm willing to let that start off okay got a kill pair of bead memory and oh they're high and slam on you slam again get that ichimonji in and yeah Oh, and we were able to see a bit of that from outside, too. Oh, that's cool. So this was our way through. What else and where else do we need to go now? Something we can cling to. Oh, that's... Huh. It's got to be something about the kite, right? I would presume. You have to go to Kotaro now and maybe try something with the kite? certainly an idea and an option somehow i don't think that, that is the whole story so to speak huh just look this up simple kite flying kite and do that oh we have to uh okay terror death blow Senpo, interact with the bell, puppeteer ninjutsu. To find a way to make our way up to the top, then. That's interesting. Don't see any kind of grapple point, though, which raises the question of how specifically I'm supposed to get up there. Well, it is what it is. This is the door that was locked from the side, but... And there's an enemy somewhere, which... Is it going to be a wizard or something more substantial? Probably just a wizard. Hmm, I... Oh, and there was that headless on the other side. The headless on the way here, but I don't really need any of the spiritual items at the moment. That's where we came from. What else can we get to? I am... Increasingly confused. Huh. Go up here, but it's not a lot. There and might have to be some way to get inside the hmm. Is this a No it's not. In that case. Maybe this way, but I don't see anything. Maybe I should have gone another way, but I... Hmm. The Bell Demon way, and... What else? 
Try going back down and see if it at least lets us go back the other way, but... Even so, I... It's getting increasingly confusing. Shugan, though, is over here, and... Do I just have to teleport back to some other location? It's certainly possible. Doesn't mean I'd like it, though. Took some damage, and... Hello, other wizard. May as well get the death blow on you. Go back this way, we can find nothing. Well, actually, I think we can drop down, grab, and then can we wedge? Oh, well, whatever. Hmm. Gonna be on the blue edge or up higher? We should. We should just try this again. Wait, how did that not. Huh? Just pressing the grapple button, I. Don't know what's going on. What if I... Oh, I maybe I have to keep going around this. But I don't. That doesn't do anything either. Well, that... Hmm. Right, I was a little confused. Okay. Let me just think... It... Oh, you can... It's, it's one way. It's a one-way swing. So in that case, I... Huh. Shugendo is there, but... At the very same time, the Bell Demon seems to have been a side path rather than anything specifically meant to take us somewhere. Ha. Huh. This is something. Can't grapple to any of that, and let's see a way to get over there from there. How am I supposed to do this then? Hmm. Senpo's over there as well, but it's got increasingly confusing. Thanks, thanks, die. Okay. I guess I could try going back to the headless, but even then I... It's gotten strange. This is clearly not a place we can go to. Yeah, we would need Puppeteer Ninjutsu to actually operate the kite. That's what was going on with that, but... Over here is nothing. Here is also nothing. It's more snowy Japanese mountains. How am I meant to get to the other place? I guess I can try going through from Shugendo again and see what it leads me to. That's about it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, whatever, we can travel to Shugendo, fight the annoying guys again, or run past them, who knows, and then, I don't know, check out what else there might be over here, because I really am kind of at a loss right now. I got over here from down there, and so maybe I could try going around this way to see if that bridge from earlier is actually passable and grappleable, which... Don't imagine it would be, but yeah, it's definitely not. So it's just broken. So to get to that other side, maybe I might need Puppeteer Ninjutsu. It's certainly possible. Puppeteer Ninjutsu comes from Ninjutsu. Comes from nin Ninjutsu techniques. Okay, it's from Senpo. You have to get to the top of Senpo somehow. Being the folding screen monkeys, which means that if it's not where I've been or can't be where I've been already, most likely, but it's got to be somewhere. That's the weird thing. The fact that clearly there's a way. And, okay. Vitality down and thanks, slam and take you down. All we'll I have to do is stay out of the way of the attacks, and we'll be okay. Hello there, and just go up, stealth death blow. Thank you. Cool. Nice. Do you see me? Do you not? So down there is... I feel like checking around this specific rock promontory could be... So the Shuking Doom Memorial mob is over there, but... Hmm. Just stealth and... Going for the kill while 
can't see me. We go up top to another one before. More of that. This does seem to be the end of the road. It's clearly not because this is where we were before, but let's go up there. Try to get a stealth death blow on you. Oh, hi. Hello. Let's slam that down. And thanks. Cool, cool. And just slam that down again and go for another. Dodge and do ooh. And oh, poison, not good. Thanks. Slam and take you. What? Die, die, die. And of course, we are poisoned. Great stuff. Okay. Use that antidote powder quickly and see what happens. Thank you. But I. To get up to the very, very top over there, I. See that, though. That seems to be a bit hidden. Must be something I didn't see before. Oh, it... There was another way that I simply did not see. So that leads to the demon bell. This leads to whatever this is. Okay. So this is where we needed to go. Presumably. All right. Fun. It's a good thing I went back and checked... The verticality of this game is really something. I can't just look down or away. I need to look at everything. So this then... What does this lead to? So over there is another part of this end. Okay. I think this way... Oh, it just leads to where I was before. Hmm, interesting. So, suppose we kind of messed that up. But I... Wait, did I? Wait. Did I go up here before? Can't even remember. I... Oh my goodness, because... Going down here is... One way. It's another way. Because I definitely did not go up here, but if I... Went down this way, I would have... Let's see. Was there a grapple point down? Yeah, I went down to that grapple point to see that, and I did not interact with this hangable ledge. So that's why I did not get to this point up here, which I believe is going to be the Armored Warrior. See that axe equipped, which is good. See how the shuriken isn't even really visible. Now that really has to be. See that folded umbrella in there, too? That's fun. Over this way, and... See what else there might be a bit of steel over here. And Okay, the white pinwheel is in the hidden area, and this is going to be where the red and white pinwheel is. This will lead him to the illusory hall, I believe. Which is decidedly not where we want Kotoro to go. Simply spin round and round, halfway up Mount Congo, everyone is right here. It's not the one we want to give him. Well, a cliff carried there by the wind, pure white, only the child is right here. Hmm. So that will lead him over to Anayama. The red and white will lead him to the illusory area. And that's not good. Okay, so... Armored warrior should be in here. I believe... Hello there, hi. Oh, Fog, hi. Maga Musuko, and sick of my son, put down your sword. And, oh, wow, okay, you are a fool. And just dodge and heal, heal. So, he doesn't have any kind of... Dodge, okay, cool. Slam, oh, wow, okay. You need to lure him near the cliff and then push him off. That's the thing. So, I dodge, it. nice. Then we... Slam down it. Slam. Ooh, okay. Interesting. It's all about breaking his posture, but he doesn't really have any kind of. Oh, wow. Okay. The axe is going to be crucial, but. Spin. Wow. Okay. Huh. Then the death bolt will just knock him off. Dodge it. Thank you. And slam. Nice. Ooh, wow. Okay. We can't go over there quite yet. What? Okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay. 
So we need to restore its posture somehow. And then, no, break his posture and then push him off the cliff. I believe that it sends him opposite directions to where, the way we went. Thank you, and slam, dodge, and it's gonna be dodge, slam, we're close, and dodge, dodge, and okay, cool. What? Oh my goodness, okay. We should use a pellet. Just dodge, oh what? Huh? What the hell? I was blocking! Someone received the blotters. Okay, I, uh, what? If we don't get the unseen aid, I'm gonna cry. You're kidding. That was really stupid. Okay. Huh, all right. So he can't really be staggered, so we need to be very sparing with how we use our axe and the like. There. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Get over there, get over here. You don't have a lot of posture regeneration, which is... Oh, come on. One, two, and... Okay, all right, and... Slam, slam, and death blow, and get out of the way of that Senpo assassin. Losing experience is never fun. That guy was crazy. Okay. Stay out of the way, so we'll let him forget we exist. I didn't think he'd even notice us, given that the other assassin didn't notice me earlier. Well, whatever. We'll live. He'll die. Presumably. And, oh wow, we can... Nice. Get that straight through there. It's fun. Went through the wall, even. Nice. I guess this guy is just a bit more vulnerable compared to the others. It's possible. And, wait, what? Huh? Wow, you are a lunatic. Slam and kill. That actually worked a lot better than expected, but even so, it wasn't amazing amazing. Won't win any prizes. Come on. You're right there. Just let me slam you down and thanks. Ooh, okay. Getting close. Or not. Or, oh, wow, that filled up ridiculously fast. Come on. Finding the Armored Warrior is going to be really, really aggravating. Especially since he locks off the area once the fight starts. Ah. So all that poison is... Poison cloud. Come on, come on. Gotta be kidding me. Die, die. Use a stain, which is cool. Then, what? What are you... If I get you up against a wall, it's not as much of an issue, but even still it... Thanks, thanks. Can we slash it? Nice stun. Oh my goodness. You really, really, you've got to be kidding. Slam down and what? Two. Dodge. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Dodge. 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 Oh, please. I okay. Slam. Kill. I. Might not be such a good idea to fight the warrior right now. It's gonna be like this. Whatever. I don't care enough. The umbrella could be good, but having to switch between tools is going to be annoying. And he... He's not that bad to deflect, actually. It's just... Uh, I can't afford to use... A crazy attack once I get closer. Hello there, hi. It's a European-style knight. Ooh, wow, okay. It's really fast. One... Two... Uh, what? Okay. Can I... And... Da oh, thanks. A lot of posture damage. Do thanks. Thank you. Thanks. And... Okay, alright. Slam it. A lot of posture damage. Da oh, wow, okay. Super kitty and... Uh -huh. Cool. Slam it. Oh, okay. What? What? You're kidding. This is ludicrous. You are... Yeah, but his armor makes him totally impervious. I feel like waiting for Mikiris or other opportunities to just go ham on him would be good. Hmm. Hmm. Two... Oh, what? Wow. I... Okay. Dodge. 
Oh. Thanks. And all right, what are you gonna do? Thanks. And two, three, dodge. Okay, cool. That's for multiple swings and big charge hammer attack. And cool. Ah, oh, gonna knock you down. And thank you. Nice. Cool. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And dodge! Okay, cool, nice. Let's charge that up. One, two. Nice, and can we stab, throw you off, and kick you down? Can we... Sorry. Roberto. Sorry. Not really. Get a prayer bead? Probably. Spirit emblem, and there we go. Three beads in possession. Nature shadow. Oh, we got that too. Posture upon performing successful death blow. Killing an enemy, one must exhale, both regret and accord, regain posture. Exhalation, which it, that's okay. It's not all that useful compared to other stuff. Scrap magnetite. Oh, cool. Coming in with the sculptor's idol, and this is going to be the temple grounds. Okay. Hmm. Let's rest. It's a fun mini boss. Do you actually like. How much this game focuses on mini-bosses. I think the Corrupted Monk should be here too, so we can get the Mibu breathing technique. Or... We can also go around some of the sides here and... As you would have it, there's literally nothing to find. Have mercy. Okay. Get down on that roof to find some other stuff too, but... Check around the signs and up top to see if there are any ledges that we also need to grab and Oh, what would you what would you know? Dogs. Thanks. They're dead, which okay. Cool. May as well kill. Okay. The spirit emblem's back. We don't need to do any anti-dog death blows right now. We can just Oh and okay, more water over here, so Mibu breathing will be useful for us there eventually. Okay, but to get whatever's on the roof, we'll need to go back up and around and hop down from above, which, well, you know, makes sense, but still. Hello, little detour. Hello. Ceramic chart. I don't use those. And that will be... Let's get the breathing technique and go on that other pond. Senpo pond. After armor. Okay. Let's see, let's see. This is over this way, and we got more of this. And, oh my goodness, my goodness. Doggy death blow. Nice, we can, well, we actually didn't manage the dog parry. I feel like it was a little different. Frankly, I also should've used Akko. The other fight, it's just, <sighs> consumables are cool, they're interesting, but aside from ones for reducing status, I find it harder than I might like to remember to use them. Ooh. And pick up the item. Oh, a monkey! Monkey! Okay, so basically he's monkey. And I. Oh, wow, okay. And will you jump? And. Oh, ooh. Jump up. Or not. You get the entire monkey death ball. Oh, my goodness. Wait to see you. Coming over. Hop, jump. And when I see you rearing up for a jump, that's when we get the anti-monkey death ball. Nice! There we are! Wait, what? Huh? Okay. Wait, did I have to be in the air to... Let me see. Anti-air death blow. Death blow. Do you have to be in the air too, or... Anti-air death blow. Jump towards them and an icon should appear, so... Wasn't that I was in the air when I should have been grounded, I just entirely had the timing wrong. Sad. And, oh, more monkeys! I should have gone elsewhere. Hello. Hi, monkeys. Can I just gouge you? Oh, nice. And did that... Fun! Okay, so gouging top just kills them. That's really good. Cool. Cool. So what else is over this way? I know that eventually we should reach Corrupted Monk. This is the other side from where we were before then, and... So Monkey's here, also a Taro troop. 
fun. Thank you. Goodbye. It's so good. We have a Taro guy over this way. Let's get a stealth death blow on him. Goodbye, goodbye. Don't need that. Need a boon of spirit. Need a boon of spirit. And persimmon. Let me actually look at the description of that. Red right persimmon, ready to eat. Allows one to recover posture even while attacking or taking damage. Particularly nutritious. Trees grown in pure water. Persimmon becomes blood, but becomes rice. Help one short of blood. Interesting. Need a boon of spirit. Sympathy. Got a couple of spirit emblems over here. Then, this is just the other side from that assassin. Heavy coin purse, and... Anything else over this way, or was it literally just that Zen? Probably just that Zen. So we can grapple up this way, and will there be anything to find over here that we haven't seen already? It's not seem to be the case. No other grapple points over this way, so... We are just gonna go up out of this chasm to where the monkeys themselves would have actually been. You know, it probably would have been easier if I just killed the monkeys that way, but who's counting? Oh, can I even reach this, or? Oh, okay. I should be stealth. Run and... Hmm. Well, this over there and... Is this a place I've been before? Let me see. I... Not quite sure. This drops down to this. Okay, so there's at least one item to pick up. Possession balloon. I don't use those balloons, to be fair. I haven't really done... Oh, what I could be doing is just using the balloons and then farming Divine Confetti to fight that Chichi Man. That might actually be my best option there. So... Let's sneak up behind you. Can we do it? We can. Presumably. Hello there, hi. Nice, and you noticed me, and you did not notice me. Good. Oh, we got more fat wax. What is your deal? I should try to go up without jumping, because that would presumably make noise. Oh, hi! Oh, we should have gone from behind and Oh, you're chucking bombs? They, they seek me, too. Oh, that is ridiculous. Slam, slam, and... They're literally throwing missiles. And they waited to explode until I... Oh, no, they just they just have a bit of a delay. Yeah, that's the only thing there. And slam, slam. Oh, wow. So you're weak enough posture-wise that I can just jump and slam in almost immediately. So whatever reason, one time it worked better than the other. Okay, cool. So you're over that way, and just slam... Get the Ichimonji done and break your posture. Thank you. <coughs> ah, excuse me. <coughs> ah, excuse me again. It's probably cat allergy. And, and then and then we can... Hmm. So what's up top here? Can we get anything over from this part where the monkeys would originally have been? Or we went this way before, so actually it was that... It was not where the monkey... Is this where the monkeys were? Well, whatever. We killed them. Doesn't exactly matter now, does it? That is presumably a grappleable point. Is this... Yes, it is. Okay. Fun. All these areas over here... This is a bridge. I mean, a door, but it's not, actually. I can't go in there quite yet. Hmm, hmm. This temple arts could give me virtuous deed, which could be good for farming, but... So the question is, what else I might want? So other stuff down here, and I'm wondering what I'd be able to reach if I went in this way. Simple assassins, and... Let's... Ooh. Here was there a... Saw a grapple point from the other side, but presumably I can't go in there yet. Simple's big. That's the real surprise for me. That's how huge this place is. Slam it. Oh my. Okay. I totally just missed entirely. Three of them? You're kidding. Well, let's lure them down here. This is probably a better place to find them. But I did a gouging top on them while they were in midair somehow. I 
Hello, hello, and let me. This is a good place to fight you and what? What? Okay. Uh huh. Thought that wouldn't be able to proc me there. Well, whatever. I, huh? Weird. How can I? Let's get down here. Begging you. How do I? Maybe if I try the gouging top, I can. Well, that. Let's get a clear shot. Hmm. Does not appear as if. And yep, no mid-air prosthetic tool. That's actually really hurting me right now. Huh. I feel like the axe should be good for a bit of spinning and sweeping, but maybe, maybe not. And I... Mm-hmm. Okay. Just... Oh, please. I... All right. Gotta use this to charge and sling and... Oh, my lord. Okay. Swing and hit and just... Okay, so one of you is death level right now, presumably, and... What? What? Okay, no, 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 no. No, no, what? What? No, no, die. Thank you. Okay, cool. So some of its senpos are significantly more. So that would have been some kind of monkey grab attack kind of thing. Oh. Flame vent could be a fun idea, but... Oh, goodness. I... Uh, send that I can go through walls. Oh, it's... Important, but leaves a bit to be desired, and... Oh, come on, I... alright. What do I want to... Mm -hmm. What if I slam it? Okay. Posture damage is good, but I... Come on, I... Okay. Dodge, swing, and... Please, I... Okay. This is true agony. Huh. Maybe I could try flame bent on them to be silly. It's an idea, but I... Okay. Nandako. I... Ah. These guys are truly obnoxious. I don't need to kill every single one of them, but I want to. And... Okay. Dodge it. Oh, you dodge out of the way. My... You're kidding. Shimonji and... Thanks. We dodge, dodge. Oh, come on. I... Going for normal Ichimonjis is definitely going to be the only thing I can really manage then. One, two, death blow. Alright. That's the thing about me. I always go for big, strong, slow attacks. Especially when it's a bad idea. But, ooh, I need... Poison's on. That's not good. Do a powder and... Thank you. Cool. And, alright. One, two... Okay, and... Wait, what? Get over here. I. Right. Well, your posture's going back up very, very slowly, which is good for me. And I... What? Okay. Pretty sure that in here should be the Senpo Esoteric Tax, which would be very nice for me. I also... Mm-hmm. Can I go over? Even if blocked, this is good for me. Thanks. Enjoy death. Come on, and there we go. No death blow, but whatever. Thanks, and charge it up, and slam. Slam and dodge. Thank you, and... Slam and slam on you and got poison. I really don't care at this point. Slam and kill. And we. Okay, cool. Slam and kill you. So our health won't go down while we're in the middle of the death blow, which makes sense because otherwise it'd be possible to die mid death blow, which I doubt is something we won't have to figure out how to program. So over here is another assassin. I, okay. Huh. You don't see me right now, which means we can get a stealth death blow on you. Hi! Thank you! Goodbye! Enjoy death! Oh. Here we have some more stuff, and... Come on, come on. White coin purse, and... It's gonna be Sempotex. Some monks in here, so... Let's do some killing. Hello, thank you. you. Don't see me. Don't even notice me literally killing the others. It's really funny, frankly. Two rolls, and we have lots of fat wax lumps and an okay amount of magnetite. Though all the magnetite we've got has been from the loot, which... Yeah, the... Okay, now they see me. Whatever, I... Okay. Two and dodge, dodge, and death blow. Sound is decent, and... Oh, of course, the bugs are coming. Now the bugs are coming. What about the Daffy? 
Slam, slam it. Oh, goodness. I... Well, all right. Hmm. How about I... Try Flame Vent on you. I doubt it'll do much difference, but... Okay. Let's... Cover yourself in oil, and... Boom! Thank you, and... Where'd the bug go? Sli oh, all right. Interesting. Got fire. Ooh, huh. You got behind you then, you can... Zoom away. Huh. You spin around a lot faster than I might like. Okay, how do I... Maybe just spamming gouging top on you could be useful. Slam it. Oh, what, what, what? Okay. Dodge, dodge. Okay. One, slam it. Kill you, get you out of the way at least for more garbage. And slam down. And thank you. Won't kill you for certain because the centipede's gonna get in the way. Oh, that's just a lump of fat wax. Okay, alright. Get in here and can we... One of these presumably might be a hidden wall. Maybe. Yep, you're back. Great, great. Yeah, that's not it. Okay. Hmm. So another guy here who we can presumably kill with the mortal blade. It's not a wall I can actually deal with in the same kind of way, though. Annoying. But here is what? These rooms were another way over to wherever we need to go, presumably, but... Hmm, I hear something. Oh, it's just infested guy. Logical. Let's see what might also be on top of this building. This temple building. Can we... Ooh, I don't think we can do that. Be a cool sequence break. It's kind of Hollow Knight. And, yeah, we can't grab onto that, so presumably it's... Oh, but we can just go on here. <laughs> so, there was no need to overly complicate things then. What then is... Oh my, okay. Jumping, oh my goodness, you... Okay, slam down and get you and... Oh, you're up! Oh, interesting. What, 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 what? No, no, don't break my neck. You're kidding me. Really? Okay. So finally, one actually uses the... Oh, one actually is good for the axe and then it's just not going. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Let's come into idle. Why did it send out the oil? Whatever. So I'm just gonna... You can go back to Kodoro now, which... Was to buy, allow us to buy some more upgrade materials, among other things, so... In that case, I think I'll go to... I'm like some things. We beat the Armored Warrior, at least. Back to the... Anayama. Back to Anayama, we told him about the salt, and then giving him Kotaro, we'll... Almost complete his quest line. Not quite, but almost. So how much damage will we deal with just an Ichimonji to these guys now? Hello there. And charge it up. Oh, goodness. Thanks. Oh, please. Charge, slam, and... A little bit of difference from beating Lady Butterfly, I think, allowed us to do that. The big thing is, what am I going to spend? I'm just going to buy more medicine, or... Send here, salt, silver, and hand in there. Cash and product, new items, buy something, will ya? Then... It fits scrap iron and gunpowder, but now he wants... Presumably, costly undying research, so that would be... Your centipedes. Send here about your business, and we so well, war's brewing. Advantage of this, favor as to you. Looting battlefields and a big strong guy. Refresh my star. Dead bodies all over. Spear swords and armor for the taking. More preparations you need. Physical job, big and strong and thick. Okay. Business and... Battlefield someone big and strong, which means we can send Kotaro over. Should probably be able to get some fat wax or something once that happens, but we'll see. Over to Kotaro. Over at the start of Senpo. Not the Shugendo, not the Temple Ground. So Bell Demon is after everything else, so presumably that's marking it as a special one at the end of everything else. 
Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Go over down to Kotaro, and I believe we give him the white pinwheel. That's what he was looking for. Just check to make sure. White pinwheel. Sekiro. So. White pinwheel is the Hall of Illusions. Okay, regular persimmon. Then, after, after offering the red and white pinwheel. And the red and white pinwheel sends him to Anayama. Okay, cool. Oh well. Oh well, I'm pure white flower, where could it be? Red and white pinwheel, what are looking for? Red and white, pure white flower, I see, trying to help. Arigato na. Anta. Ihitada, a good person, not man, but person. Fool away, or fool away. It's travel destination, not worm to the dungeon, talking about Anayama. Looking for help. Put on my hand, tail custom, ite. Comes back, won't be here. Koma mama, itori bochimo, sabishi, alone, alone, and lonely. Let's see, you should. Here we go, thanks. Monori no Ananyama, Ananyama san. Wakata, I understand. Demirzo, I'll go see. Okay. So, in that case, we can continue through more of Senpo, but actually, he should go to Anayama now. I don't think I need to beat a boss to make him move, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Like bullets and other projectiles. Okay. Go back to outskirts wall stairway and see. Should give us something interesting. Something new. Hmm. Right down here. Mr. Onyama and oh here he is. Here's Kotoro. Hi. Shinobi-san. Good man. Very good guy. The more those who died in battle, once the body make proper graves. Oh, so he's tricking him. Those don't happen as much as they should, but... Well, at the very same time, maybe that makes the argument that Anayama is not entirely greedy, or at the very least, he feels a bit of kill. Okay, Yoroi, the armor. Oh, well, one hell of an eye, fine specimen. Strong doesn't mind wooden corpses, calls of weapons, and loaded with cash, new items in stock. Let's see, we can, we can get the fat wax, and we can also get yellow gunpowder. Oh, that's fun. Only in the sunken valley, their fiery vigor. Four scrap magnetite. I, frankly, I feel like buying all this stock right now, for sake of upgrades. So then the magnetite, 12 plus nine, okay. Higher than a dragon? Ashina, nobody? A merchant, ever in a pinch, help in a flash, hard fish, hire you. Hard to get, come again soon. Alright. So, we have a couple of heavy coin purses. Let's use four of these and then just buy all those upgrade materials. Thank you. Yellow gunpowder. Scrap magnetite. There we go. Cool. Should have pretty much everything we need for now. Get more from other loot, but quite frankly, the sooner we get, the more useful it will be. Let's get ourselves some good tools. Hello there, hello. And we can charge that up immediately and... Oh, but he blocked it. And cool. Nice. And oh, the deflection was... That was vile. Let's go back to the sculptor real briefly. Apodated Temple. So the question is, eventually, you're going to want to go through and use the alcohol products. So there's three characters you can use alcohol on. Ashina Sake, Unrefined Sake, Monkey Boots, and the Fountainhead stuff. The Divine stuff. And... Another sculptor in each and all the dialogue for when you give them Sake. Lots of unique interactions. It's actually very roleplay, frankly. Hmm. So we can maybe grab. We have the amount of wax. What else do I want? Spiral spear is interesting. Sharp thrust attack damage through guard. 
Damages and rends. Send toss. Four more damage. Is it strong? Shoot nothing but dust, but we don't have any adamantite scraps. Dust, a little money, a lot of money. Make all the rest cry. It's funny. And I don't have the adamantite for that, but I could get the improved Sabimaru, which would be very useful for... Oh, I need more sen. Improved Sabimaru would be very useful for fighting the Okami, presumably. But a demand sign, Lilac Umbrella, but we don't have Malcontent yet. Mm -hmm. Flame Vent, but we don't have the Pine Resin Ember that we need either. We have Divine Abduction or the Finger Whistles, so some of the trees are still locked off. Prerequisites not yet complete. So for now, definitely the improved Sabimaru. Piercing Sabimaru is a fun idea too, but we would need Adamanta to start getting stuff over there. Also get, if we got that, we could get Phantom Kunai, but, hmm, she will sound when thrown. Spirit Emblems. It is a special item. That, hmm, I'll be able to get more Magnetite relatively soon, but I want this, and I more or less do. This is... Wait. Oh, you need the flame vent to get... Centos, right? Bones and required items. No, you need... The flame vent for whatever this is, presumably. And Divine Abduction or Miss Raven upgrade? I mean, Divine Abduction upgrade then. Lotus Umbrella. And the Weeping Flame, but it goes all the way over, which is why you have that dotted line. Interesting. Pretty complicated. Not as good, so we need. This will take Aged Feather, Miss Raven, and the Improved Sabimaru, which would mean. Hmm. Shelter anytime. Let's use two of these, and we need about two more of the Light Coin Purses. Cool. Let's simply present our prosthetic and upgrade a couple of our tools. And we can get our piercing, sabi improved Sabimaru, and the aged feather Mist Raven. Cool. Kunai, but we don't have the magnetite I need. Could have gone if I hadn't spent it on this, but... Actually... Hmm, hmm. Well, we'll be fine for now. Gouging Top is still really good, and eventually... Be able to get the Lazarite, Lazalite Shuriken, too. But you do actually need to go into New Game Plus in order to get every single upgrade. I think you can get up to 10 Gord uses, if I recall correctly. Which actually, that is a bit lower than previous Souls games, but still. Mm -hmm. Go over to Simple, go back to the grounds, and we're in a good position now. Sent Kotaro to the Peddler. Hold of a few items, but the Sabimaru right now is... Frankly, I should get the tax. Use stuff to upgrade to get Virtuous Deed. Bombs to Divine Confetti, kill the Shichiman. Then use the Divine Confetti to kill. Shichiman and Corrupted Monk, and then maybe do some swimming. Frankly, there are a lot of things to do around here, but... Oh, Doggy Deathblow! Fun. Thank you, goodbye. And we can just toss, toss, goodbye. Also works on the monkeys quite well, but right, since we went through here, everything is back now. Okay. Hmm, okay. Goodbye. Now oh, you're here. Spirit emblems, though, are gonna be maybe a little annoying to get, and we didn't get any emblems back from that dog. Surprising to me. And, okay. Stealth is improved, so I- what? Oh, because we- because we ran! Gotta be kidding me. Luckily, you're the only one who knows I'm here right now. Oh, well, never mind. Now, all of you are alerted, I- that went very badly. Come on, come on, I- okay, slam it, slam, slam- okay, I- thank you. Oh, that was actually pretty much perfect. It didn't get me because I was able to- thank you, and two. So you're just weaker, as ranged enemies generally are. That's good. 
Slam. Thank you. I wonder if it was any stronger because I was grounded. Frankly, I don't presume so, but... Oh well. And you saw me? Really? Okay. Whatever. Another one down there should be... Can we... Nice. <clears throat> Aerial death blow to take you out quick. The other one will fight legitimately, but that shouldn't be much of a problem. Thank you. <clears throat> and... Death blow, the marker didn't even show up, but whatever. Another Akko and... Mm -mm. So the question is, what can I get going around this without dealing with the other nuisances? So the monkeys are all over there. Okay. Maybe I'll take them out just for fun. Annoying enough that I would like to do that. Thanks. Oh, but I... Okay. Hmm. Give me a spirit emblem. Whatever. Didn't happen. So I'm gonna need to save up a bit to deal with. <clears throat> that one actual hat, Senpo Assassin. The one with the big wooden hat that does block everything, but can be easily broken with an axe. So let's go down here around the side. That other centipede guy, I should try to get for sure. Second centipede guy. Okay. <laughs> Keep on looking. There are we... What is inside here? Ah, okay. Are those the long arm centipede guys? Or what? Someone polishing something. I feel like this would be the kind of place where I could get Senpo Esoteric Text. So clearly if there's a real entrance in there. To drop down inside, I bet, would be smarter. We'd be able to get at least one... Stealth death bolt and somewhat of note, which would be nice. Items in. We have three beads, so another bead would be a bit more in the way of <clears throat> power. So where is... Oh, this is a big centipede guy, presumably. Alright. Hmm. Establish self somewhere, and here is... Hello, hello. Interesting. You don't see me, which is good, but... Chang and we got two health bars, which means we need to kill you. Which where are you going? Gonna turn around, or yeah, you're gonna turn around. So actually, the best way would probably be to approach from the other way to so turn around again. But I need to kill the Omukade, great centipede. And then you're over there, and you're not going to turn yet, so <clears throat> there we are. Right, the Loaded Umbrella is going to be really good for dealing with him, so... Let's just jump down, and thank you very much! Long Arm Centipede Senun. One, two, death blow, and... Okay, cool. We need to take this guy out as soon as possible. Two, and... Thanks. Four, and... Okay, cool. Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Feels it. Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh, wow. I Interesting. I didn't manage a single deflection? Wow. At least I didn't die, but still. Can I open this at all, or... You send killing Shinobi. Is this actually... Oh, it's just not a weapon. Dodge. Oh, what, 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 what? Okay. Huh? Really? Okay. That was really, really strange, and I can... Wait, what? Okay. Uh-huh. I should really... use a Homeward Idol, then. That was strange. Let's go back to the last communed one, and... Hmm. So, Umbrella Deflections will... trivialize him if I can do it right. Big thing is, he's the one... Really want to use the umbrella because there are a lot of deflections you have to do. But timing is a little tough. You just have to do a lot in a short time span, which means if you can get off the umbrella deflection, you can get up, and since the duration is longer for the perfect, often get one. You get multiple attacks deflected with one umbrella spin, which would be pretty useful, I'll say. 
Dog's down here. Thank you, dog. Die. Oh, dog has enough health to not die instantly? That's a crazy dog. Okay, cool. Pretty close to the next kill point. And again, I just wonder, do I use the medicine here or do I use something else? Okay, so you don't see me, which is good. Let's try to go up a little higher and see if we can avoid notice. If we just go around, sneak around from the back and kill as many of you as possible at a given time. You're annoying. And cool. So you're going to see me now, which it's the other guys involved, but the, most of the guys are not relevant here. Oh, I, okay. Cool. And oh my, okay. Interesting. Come on. Okay. Dodge, dodge. Oh, what? You're kidding. Come on. I, okay. Ah, that was actually really bad. Well, I can slam you down and take these guys out easily. And the big thing is big Mr. Missile throwing guy is mostly gone now. Hello, hello. Slam, slam, death blow before any of that crap happens. That centipede will give us another prayer, which would be nice. Early senpo is definitely amusing. Really do wonder what will change in a concrete sense. Kill those other centipedes before we get out here. It's gonna be the senpo esoteric text or what? Hmm. So we can see some of you over here, but thank you. Oh, oh, right, because we... Did I forget to get one of you, or what? Never mind. Okay. Cool. Dodge, dodge. Oh, goodness. Okay. Hmm. Getting close. Thank you for your firebomb. Great stuff, really. And slash slash. And oh my goodness, I die, die, die. Cool, and just deflect around that and come on. Oh I'm burning? Really, really I'm burning. So that means dowsing powder. Thank you. Cool. Then we can grab that, go down, kill Sen Un. Presumably. Okay. And get one death bar off and Kill the others, try to get the more stuff, and die. And the others are- oh, I think there was only one up there then, probably. Black gunpowder and more black gunpowder. So this is just how the centipedes work, I guess. Uh, oh, okay, die, 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 oh my goodness, goodness. Please, please, okay. Huh. Do you have a projectile, or? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then, okay, cool. That was good. Come on. Okay, d oh my goodness. Okay, uh, what, what, what? No, 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 no. And just dodge out of the way and, oh my goodness, you, you mongrel. I, of course you pin me against the wall. I hate you so much. Okay, let's try this one more time, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. And what are you going to do next? Jump it, slam down it. Thank you, and... There we go, finally a kill. No more you. It's a prayer beat. Oh, does he not have legs? No, he does. It's like a centipede legs. Four beads and cool. Get out of here would be... Oh, okay, so this is just another way in here. This antechamber is not a place I can go to properly. Thank you, thank you. Cool. And just move over and... Out of the way. One, two, break your posture and go back to the sculptor's idol and get a bit more health. Yeah. Cool. Don't want to go about with all my stuff lost. <sighs> so another prayer necklace is going to be really, really nice to have. That will be very convenient. Here we are. Answer of physical attributes and let's see. That should be necklace set foot inside the castle dojo and mounts to keep them on their toes. Absolutely got a bit more health, vitality and posture increased. Fire skills and we don't have access to water, breath, but I don't need Ashina Cross yet. Don't even need it yet. 
it honestly sure that will be useful webbing force prosthetic tools tools effect but i need a lot of these to get that prosthetic technique hatred gun to manifest flame vent and mm -hmm. flame vents and the divine abduction but obviously the flame vents a lot more useful there okay and die dog sorry cool and dodge take that down get over here and cool so the prayer beads slowly over time give us a bit more lore on the setting okay cool Go for the plunging death ball on the dog. Oh, actually, that didn't quite work. Cool. Let's get down here. Oh, but you're not gonna just go down here, huh? Okay. Get over. And... Doggy death blow. And... Where are you going? Come on. Over and... Come on. Slash. And he didn't get the de perfect deflection, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. I oh, hello. Do you see me? It's not good. See many more. Well, I guess you don't. Okay, cool. That was simple, I guess. Okay. So who and where and... No, actually, what are you doing? It's really strange. But their detection range is so bad, it's kind of funny. They just don't... They aren't really trying all that hard, huh? Okay. Then, more sin... Or this, I... The ideal would frankly be to get every single... Okay, and nice. Every single skill. Don't quite think that'll happen. We do usually have to choose a bit. But, at the very least, I do want em Empowered Mortal Draw, because... It would be really, really good for shredding a number of enemies down. Oh, and they dropped oil. That's fun. Cover yourself in oil. Come on, and slam, and... Okay, cool. Nice, and... What are you gonna... Come on, and... Ooh, okay. Got you in midair, but... Can't get... A death blow if we're on a different... Well, too different of an altitude. Okay. Is there anything over here? Probably, but... Whatever. Having a lot more... Well, first, we should probably... Put the axe on. So we got a good deal more damage, which is good. Fang and Blade would be nice for this, but question is, how much can we sneak over without loading the rest? I see a couple, but who can I assassinate before the others get involved? You. You. Okay. Take one out. Thank you. Others. But frankly, I doubt they'd really interfere. Because I need Fang and Boyd. I need a lot of things to get Living Force. And I need, even, I need a Living Force to get Empowered Mortal Draw. Which way are you going? Oh, I, okay. Huh, huh. So I'm still finding you alone. And I... Oh my goodness. I Come on. Thanks. Thanks. Mid-air, but you... Okay. Thanks. And can I... Uh, okay. What? All right. Thanks. Slam it. Slam. Slam. Get that in. Another hit quick. And... Here we go. Death blow and where is the other? One should be. Still over there. The question is what side is gonna be. Can you get up here? Can that guy get up here? Probably not. Yeah, he can't. So all we gotta do is figure out how to still kill this guy. Which way is he facing? Facing that way, which means once he turns all of a sudden we should be fine. You're really fun if he did. Okay, so he Notice, but that's still okay. Thanks, slam, and just one, two, and just dodge out of the way of that, and slam the Ichimonji, and that still hit? Really? Okay, whatever. Dodge, dodge. Oh, stupid. Okay. Should be fine, we should be fine, and slam it. One, and can we slam with the Ichimonji? I did not mean to do aerial stuff. Stupid. Okay, cool. Thanks. That's in. Get antidote powder. Oh, we're running out. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, I don't really need to bother with that guy, do I? No, not really. 
Big thing is we can get a good amount of oh, can kill you with the axe pretty much instantly as long as we can get a single good hit in. So thanks, slam it. Nice well alright. Thanks. There we go. Okay. That was a little messy. More than a little messy. There's a simple esoteric text somewhere in here that should give me the monk skills, but I don't quite know where it is yet. There's a bunch of guys over here. You got this way, or... Hmm. I, if there was an item here, I must have gotten it already. Let's just check a little, just to be sure, and yeah. So this is just a way around if you didn't want to deal with the centipede, now that... Not that you really ever had to deal with the centipede. It's always basically completely optional. Oh, but no, this is... Oh, I hadn't been here yet. That's right. Okay, so just get up before you see me and... At least one stealth death blow and... How many of you are... Thanks. Kill you and... Now you see me! Okay, cool. Slam, slam. How many, how many of you are there? Oh, goodness. Okay. I know that... Okay, so this is above where that centipede fight was, so... We'll be a bit more on the way. Oh, and a dog. Really? Okay, get in here. One, and nice. Doggy, throat slash. Sorry. And what if I... Is that a Taro guy? Or just a... That's Taro, okay. I should have been a bit quieter then. How are you going to... You don't see me. You can't see me through this, but... Where are you going now? Given up. Lost interest, so... Which way you're going? Where are you going? Oh, how many Taros are there? This is... Ludicrous. Okay, cool. Slash and... So you didn't quite see. That's good. So let's go up and get the shield guy before... A shield-bearing Taro tree. That's new. Interesting conceptually. Oh, Scrap Magnetite. That's fun. Cool. Get you down. And scrap Magnetite that we need is more or less here, but... So what will be below then? So we haven't gone above yet. And what? Oh my goodness. That was embarrassing. I forget what I said about being more able to cancel your momentum. Well, I mean, you're still more able, but that doesn't mean you can totally do it. Okay, and you're homing in. Thank you, guy. Feel as if some kind of... Uh, slam, slam, and take you down, and you can't really do much. If we kill you, you're just dead. Go on sugar. This is... Oh, that was just the item, then. And... Got that back up here, and what's gonna be in here? If anything. Presumably, maybe the Senpo text? Maybe. It's an idea. Hello. They're easier than the bomb throwers. I mean, you're more annoying than the bomb throwers, so we get... We're gonna take you down first. Okay. So, anything over here, or... Hmm. Can we... Wedge cling, and... What is... Hmm. Come on, come on. You are driving me crazy. Spend that medicine, but... Slam, another slam. And take it down, and... Oh, this... Twin Spear guy is... The question is, would he be able to see me from here? Very high up, too. Huh. Let's go up this way, and will this lead to... Nothing over there. This was just a way to get up high and probably reestablish stealth. Okay. And who saw me? Where are they, and what did they see? I... Oh, it's literally just... That assassin from earlier. He simply does not know when to quit. Well, I guess maybe he does. And that answer might be never for him. Respect that. Respect that grind. So I should dodge... Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Let's use the shuriken to take the dogs out. Who took the dogs out? Me. Okay. So what more is going to come in? I can check around this way, and this would lead down to... So, yep, yeah, that's where... Centipede Sanun was, but even in spite of that, I 
Huh? Oh, and there's something over here, which is just a fistful of ash. That makes sense. That's why it was by fire then. Here, centipedes are down there, and let's see what we can get. And then there's the big spear guy over up top there, which I'm gonna have to find a way to kill him with stealth. Do not want to fight him normally, or if I did, I'd probably just use the umbrella. Maybe. Oh, hello. Hi. Take that. And frankly, I shouldn't be using my spirit emblems this. Oh, uh, this propagately. And... So is it just dogs here now? Oh, and also geckos. Fuck. So what all is over here besides the rest? Huh. I just... Snow's over there. That's not anything. Ashina. So Ashina's over the other way, I believe. It's over here. This is the... Oh, well, die. Thanks. Keeps the poison from affecting us in the meantime. Just a Nubu balloon of spirit. It's just, I don't need more spirit emblems. Oh, and we can actually we can get a stealth death blow on them. That's actually really funny. It's just so overkill to sneak up on the literal wizard. Okay. Couple of centipedes in here who, frankly, I may as well kill just for fun. Hello, hello, and one, two, die. Thanks. And cool. One, two, die. Cool. Then we can. We're more up there, but I don't need to see those guys right now. What I need to do is find a way to get a stealth death will kill on. The spear guy from before, because I do not want to fight him legitimately. He's got too much sauce. Okay. And that assassin still sees me somehow. It's still just so ridiculous. Oh, and we can just keep on jumping to get around and over the monks. That's fine. Okay. Around the side, going inside here would be... Hmm. Grapple onto this. We can avoid direct detection, presumably, which... Oh, goodness. Okay. Thanks. Go around outside here and... How am I going to... Get you down? And hopefully get at least one of you down in the stealth death blow, but I can... I can't get both down that way. That's very obnoxious. And I... Wait, what? Huh? Who spotted me? Oh, you're kidding. How many of these mongrels? I'm gonna have to leave somehow and... How many gravel points are around here? Come back from behind the other way. So what's all here? Some stuff and... Okay. Keep on running then and go inside. Thanks. How far are you going to chase me? Hopefully not very... In oh, what? Huh? Really? No, but you don't see me through here. Did a big sweep attack, but I guess I'm just... You have a guaranteed range or something, but past that you just won't attack? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> you're on alert and you're facing this way. I should- wait, what? Huh? You're kidding. How far can you go? This is... strange. Maybe eventually you just have to give up because you can't get in there spatially. I really just don't know. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm dying. Said the crickets are just gonna so pellet. All of these guys are going to come back. Can't kill them until we get the mortal blade. Oh, there's another... Ah, oh, another idol over there. Cool. Let's just go interact with that before anything else. Hello there, hello. This is- oh, and that guy's poisonous? Interesting. Okay. It's in the main hall, and... So we've gotten five of those already, so... This place is big. So the assassins, I mean, the spear monk should theoretically be back to their previous location, which should be nice. Okay, cool. And just... Death blow. Cool. Thanks. And stop hugging the wall. Get back over that way. See if I can take them down that way. Maybe. 
jump, grab, go down here, and... Huh. I can approach from the side, sort of toggle them, and can I... There we go, we can get one off the Estelle thing. Okay, cool. Nice. Cocoon sugar. Nice, and... Move in and just dodge. Okay, cool. Spam it. Wait, what? Wait, no. Oh my goodness. That was comical. Okay, cool. And healing cord, healing cord. Get him close. There's only one of you, we're fine. And okay, cool. Dodge. Oh my. Okay, cool. Yeah, having more health and posture is. And the increased upgrade to healing capacity is really useful. Thanks. Dodge. Dodge. And can, can we slam that down? And thank you. Can we... Thanks. Dodge. Okay, cool. Slam and dodge. Okay. What? What? Okay. Interesting. Heal. Yeah, that was really, really useful. Do oh, what? Okay. Faster than I expected. And what? What? Okay. Huh. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Let's move in and... Dodge. Okay, cool. And... Oh, what? You're kidding. Slam it. What? What? What in the... Come on. Stupid attacker. What are you gonna do? Dodge. Thanks. Okay. Just move in. And cool. And jump it. Thank you. Cool. And slam that down. And hit you again. And dodge. Okay, cool. Slam. Sl dodge. 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 And cool. Slam. Slam it. Miss. Dodge. Okay. Slam. Okay. Dodge again. And slam. On you. Close to death. And slam. Slam it. Okay. Death. Death. There we go. Cool. So we didn't need strictly to kill them. There was no special reward. But oh, we got a bulging coin purse. At least from that one. Might be a reward for killing all of them at the same time. But who knows really. More money. And now we're out of healing. Hmm. Could be down here then. I'll go sugar and... What in that case is... Is this just a way to get back if we fall off somehow? It certainly does seem to be that way. Hmm. Something in here is... What does this go to and... Alright, cool. Oh, wow. That was a stealth death blow. Cool. I... Hmm. Everything in here is... A little worrying, and more wizards, or s crickets, or... It's surprisingly dark as soon as we get in here. This- oh, more centipede guys, fun. So it might be at the end of all this, that's the real question. And just- thanks- oh, wow! You lost track of me and we're vulnerable to a death blow that way? That's fun. Oh, because of the darkness, presumably. That's funny. So, what if I... Use a gouging top to... Interesting. Uh-huh. Honestly, we're out of stuff. Let's just go for actual vitality kills. And before you block, we'll just kill. Cool. Thanks. Move in and dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. One, two. Take that. Presumably, this is... Going to be kind of overextending myself, presumably. And we do have a way to get out. Thing is, if I accidentally run into a mini boss or something, I am going to be in a bad state. That seems like a headless, honestly. The place a headless might be. This is drop down to something, right? Or let's back up and kill Omokare. Thank you, Mr. Centipede. And what else is here? This is the location of a headless... or... of anything? I'm getting increasingly worried. Oh, it's... there's water, but... the other side, there's... Hello? This isn't diveable, though, so I... Huh. Jump up on here and... Grab and where will this take me, so to speak? Can I get a stealth death blow on you? I can't. Cool, but I can get plenty of regular death blows. Okay, cool. Thanks. 
One, two, and... Wow, okay. Burn Abnormality is here. Annoying. So that means Dowsing Powder. We have a good amount. We don't have a lot of Antidotes, though, which is obnoxious. Paco Sugar and... So what do they have to do to it? Senpo, if anything. Come through this way and... It's not seem to have been a headless, but... This Dark Cane is always a little worrying. So where have I found myself? This is... Might be Divine Abduction, maybe. Feels... Side area-ish. Let's go in. Somebody can see me. Oh, it's just that night jar from, I mean, Sats and Bavor. This should be Divine Abduction. No, it's the Senpo Esoteric Tax. Show arts in the pursuit of virtue, strong fists, and strict discipline essential against Buddha's enemies. Seized by an obsession for the undying, corrupted their teachings and style. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So that should mean eventually being able to get... That was nice. That was a fun reward for going through that spooky cave. Get Virtuous Deed, which would help against... It's on the other side of the Armored Warrior. Dude would be really helpful for... Oh, geckos. So, oh, that just goes down to... Spot from before. That's fine. Okay, cool, cool. And Oh my goodness, we're poisoned. You've got to be kidding me. Whatever. Let's use... And we're out of antidotes. Fun. Uh-huh. Okay. Hmm. Well, all right then. Guess that's how we'll do it. Takes us back to where we were previously. Then we can grab onto that and not die. Fun. Let's just see what would happen if we went down the other side over there. Huh. It's through here. This was just a way to get to the Senpo Esoteric Text. Interesting. Go down over here to the, to the drop down. Do we have anything special for that? Or it's just... Yeah, there was nothing special there. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the last coming to idol, which is the... That hall idol, but... I'm gonna check out the skills. There's a deed and all. Okay. Oh, but I need to get... Praying strikes first, presumably. Before, elbow and arm strikes for damage from an encounter check, martial art form of prayer. Uh, strength one can't defeat the enemies of Buddha. Hmm. For an encounter attack and damage and poiser. So poiser want damage. Art upgrade, combat art, weight and effect. Hmm. So, one of these should be. Some of these are going to be most going to be the virtuous deed ones, which just increase sen gain and item drop rate. So we don't really need a lot of sen. There's only so much you can do with it. Good haul. Your idol. Okay. Kite will take the ninjutsu, as I mentioned before. What else might be in here that I could get? Cool. Okay. And nothing really here, and we don't get anything for killing them because we can't actually kill them yet. The classic. The sacred or special. Okay. The sooner we get that mortal blade, the better. Oh, and here's a monk. Oh, right, you'll talk to me about infestation. Kure? The only one left. Shep in that room must be so lonely. Who are you? This is with Senpo. Special holy person. Holy person lives there. Be the child, not here anymore. The inner sanctum, possible to see her now. Shinobi. Shinobi. The only good monk left. Onushi. It's the case and actually favor asks of you. Reason for her fate. For this, for my own atonement. Chapter Infestment, Journey to Enlightenment. For an age, bust by the worm, undying, walk the eternal path to enlightenment. It's become enlightened to understand why I cannot die. Holy Dragon's origins were in the West, China. Worm come to be bestowed upon me. Kata. So otherwise, he'd be dead if we came here after Funakinichiro. Place where decent people should be. Smell. 
Divine air, the dragon's blood. Air is truly exalted. But if you're not man, is still man. I understand that myself. So don't try to become immortal when he's infested. Divine air on his own. Regret once you've already lost him. Okay, cool. Cool. Alright. So I guess we could kill some crickets just to be funny. Hmm. Also, we have some money. It would be good to spend that before we go to fight the Corrupted Monk. Especially since I definitely want some. No go, Sugar. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Definitely want to be able to use Devon Confetti in that fight. Does not open from the side. Okay, so presumably we'd have to jump up and around to get there. Nothing is really going to be all that effective because we don't have the Mortal Blade yet. So where and where and where? Oh, there's an item in there. That's funny. What is this? Okay, just a Dragon's Blood Droplet. Classic, okay. And here is... Well, the fat wax, omen of disease, grow larger as the disease worsens. Here is... huh. Get atop this, or... How am I going to get around and outside? Assumably there's got to be an exit somewhere. But I... So they can see me now, I think. Which is not good. Go up this way, and can we go even higher, or... That's going to be the interesting question. Yes, we can go even higher. Okay, so go up, and no, not like that. Not like that. Let me go up, grab up there, and I don't see anything. One of these is going to be something even higher, or it's an interesting question. Got a halberd in one hand and a shaku in the other. The Buddhist staff. But I... This idol must be relevant. But if so, where do I go next? Oh, and there's a... That's fun. Another item in here. Bundled Jizo statue. Sure, the little one goes on in peace. I would guess that maybe one of these is a hidden wall that I need to flip over to get somewhere. But searching for that might be a little bit of trouble. Okay, so if I check the other side for items, maybe I'll find something. Can't imagine it would make all that much difference in the grand scheme of things, but... This hole over here is... Oh, can we open this? Can't open this, and this would be... Out by... These guys? Well, I... That was not necessary. That was very plainly not necessary. Okay. So what, if anything, could I actually get from that? Do I have to get on top of... Is there a way on top of here? Clearly there's a way. Over here. There's a door that only opens from one side. So getting to the other side somehow is going to be a good idea, but... To get there is the thing. Let's keep on checking. Are there any grapple points that I can see at the moment? There are not. So what would my way to go be? Come on. And if you come back over here, I think we might be able to get a... Stealth, a death blow on you. Oh well, oh well. Let's just do this then. Kill now. Is there a way to get up top? That's the question. Getting on that other side with that other door is going to be crucial, but can't quite see where to go yet. I... Hmm. Oh my goodness, I... Okay. Uh -huh. Hopefully I can at least fight this guy solo, which is good. And two and... Oh my goodness, okay. Dodge, dodge, jump it. Okay, swing, slam, and... Thank you. Thanks. And okay, nice. Slam it. Okay, cool. I did not quite hit. Slam it. Nice. Take you down. And one, two, and th oh goodness. Can we two and slam you down and take you down. Go for the death blow. That went better than last time. So presumably we can get a stealth death blow on the other one who is facing 
the other way. So we're done with you, we can hopefully see how to get to the top of this place. I am more than a little confused. And we don't have another skill point yet, but we're relatively close. So is there a good way up top? I That Shachihoko looks... No, but it isn't. Interesting. I... Huh. What am I going to do to get to the other side of this? If I go up here, I can... Huh. Have mercy. Okay. What is all this? The ones that I can grapple to are already through, but I can... What if I... If I lit this on fire, maybe? It's a funny idea, but... I don't think anything would happen. Let's just try anyway. I don't think it actually light. Yeah, you can't even light the darn thing. Okay. It was an interesting idea. For sure, but... Interesting alone won't save me. So let's slide over and stab you. It's gotta be a way up top. So how do I get there then? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And go over, slam, and go for that. Because up top there is very clearly going to be the way over. But is there anything down here? Okay, it was good we checked, and just an Ungo sugar, but that's not nothing. Huh. It's just the Akko is going to be pretty crucial. And, uh, I'm gonna get the wall over there and get over to that side. And I can hear the centipedes. Holy chapter infested. But it doesn't say that it's locked, it just says not open from the side, which is quite different. Huh. We got our holy chapter infested early, but question is, how am I going to get to the rest? Over here I can, in some places, but is there going to be a huggable, a huggable wall? That's the real question. I'm probably just going to have to look up can't how early can you fight the monkeys? Because I think there's a good chance that I'm just here too early to actually do anything of note. But his statue's up there, and... Uh, you get a feeling that the door will just open on its own or something when the time comes. I uh, guess that means... Let me see. So can't kill this guy. Can't kill these guys. The other side, though, is... Yeah, yeah. I mean, what if I... Killed this centipede guy? Alright. Cool. Nothing. Nothing special. And... Oh, my... At least their damage isn't all that amazing, but still, it's just... There must be something that I'm doing intensely wrong. Main hall. Then... Let me see. Check the main hall. Might be in the main hall. Well, we'll figure it out. Main hall. Sekiro. Senpo. Folding screen monkeys. Corrupted monk. No, the corrupted monk isn't here. Wait, what? Never mind. Oh, the table in front of the giant Buddha statue. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Orange, green, purple, and. Uh. Some Hall Bell and Cat and Mouse. Okay, so essentially what you have to do is interact with the Buddha statue over here, which is simply... I just can't do that yet. <laughs> okay. So this is as far as I can go in Senpo. So it was nice that we got a good amount of stuff, but I think in that case, 
the only place to go now would be, I suppose, back to the valley, or we could go to the castle and try getting some funky little things. Okay. Mm. We use the Nibu Possession Balloon. We have a lot of these, okay. Which means that a lot of pacifying agents, too. It should help significantly. Let's just go up and see if we can kill. Not having Virtuous Deed is certainly going to make things worse, but... Oh, Divine Confetti! Hello, thank you. And... Largely walk normally, which is good, and... Oh, wow. Really? That's really good. I should probably go find the Shichi Men out. Maybe actually the Headless, too. That could be nice. We'll see. Take these down until the Blessing goes away. And cool. Okay, this is just a pellet, but... Fine. Then we can hit you. Thank you, and cool. Nice, and not me to do that. Thank you, and nice, and just charge up, and slam the Ichimonji, and one, two, three, four, and... Oh, right, uh, okay. And can we slam, and what can I... Mikiri? Or just crush there, and thanks. And don't, please, let's break that and slam. And I did not mean to break that down. Come on. Ooh, okay. Ichimonji and other Ichimonji. Okay, how long will this balloon last? General, I should have just stayed away, frankly. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Oh my goodness, okay. Slam and down. You got far away. Thanks, and okay, cool. And we... Charge that up and oh goodness, I okay. Do that wrong. Wrong again and oh goodness, I okay. Come on, slam it. I just did not need to do it like this. Dodge. Thanks, slam again and I'm sure the balloons of hex is gonna run out. And can we? One, two, three, slam and Ichimonji and down again and thank you. Didn't break all these things, which is good, and... Okay, more Divine Confetti. That's convenient. Go down, reset everyone's position. The rest. Then we can get a bit more Confetti and kill the CG man. Okay. Damage after killing Lady Butterfly, but that was already there. Oh, well, it's gone. So in that case, we should leave already, probably. Just a pellet. We got three things of Confetti, so... Travel to Stairway, buy some. The Shugan Doga would also be assassin. Coin pieces. More we can store our money for good. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Talk to you. Buy a. Two bulging coin purses, exactly. Zero sen. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yanadana. Okay. Eh, uh, do we really need to kill these guys? I mean, we may as well, but... Well, the possession boon is, balloon is good enough that I really don't feel any need to... Use... Get most virtuous deed, frankly. The healing we have is very, very useful. I think that, for now, should be a priority. Oh, what? Okay, never mind. That was embarrassing. A little. Okay. One, two, grab. Back to the dungeon entrance. And... Go to... Oh, not there. Not the waterway. We need to go to the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. idle and go to dungeon entrance 
Okay. All right then. All right. Back in Ashina, and can we buy any more from you? Royal mob, and okay, we bought all of his purses. Okay, cool. Bartered rest in peace, and we don't really need any of these. I guess we can maybe try using the umbrella, but the big thing is going to be using our. And there you are, thanks. Can we. Nice, and cool. Hit, and cool. Now, there we are, cool. Let's do that one more time. So there are no infested monks just spawning more crickets in here, but. Okay, go one, two, nine. Thanks. Did I need to do that? Not really. Did I want to? Yeah. So the Devon confetti and the other stuff. So we got a decent amount per run, but. Thank you, thank you. No money, but that's fine. Just go in here and take this guy down. Thank you very much. Thank you for playing my game. Get back up and Digimonji on you. For another one for more posture damage. One, two, and death blow. Sorry, old infested guy. And sorry, old red eyes guy. Okay. Hmm. So if we can use the Ichimonji on him with Divine Confetti applied, it breaks everything pretty much instantly, which is good. Getting anti or death blow is a fun idea, but it's hard. So actually, we can probably just use Divine Confetti, Pacifying Agent, Pacifying Agent, and then Akko Sugar. Yeah, we have a lot of these. We've also got Yashariku, which, eh, that guy's annoying enough. I don't want to risk it. Uh, it's a large attack power boost. This is good enough. And there we are, cool. Not mean to do that, we just want to do this, so. Let's go over and charge this up, and cool. Nice, thank you. Slam it, okay. Slam it, oh my goodness, I, okay. Oh my goodness, jump it, can we, can I, can I, can I, oh no, I couldn't. That was really, really annoying then, I, okay, cool. Dodge, dodge, okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, can I, can I, can I, I can't get the, no, I can get the anti death blow off. So actually, the more I stay on you, more likely it is to work. Interesting. So the Buddha's candy is. Dodge, dodge. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I need pacifying agent. Pacifying agent. Use that and use. Devon confetti, maybe? Sure. Okay. Slam it. Crush it. Oh my. Okay, cool. Annoying. We probably need a bit more Devon confetti. And spam him down, which is good, but. Devon confetti and the Akko sugar. Use that and use Akos. We have so many of these. I really need to use them. And why we're not two-handing or anything, we're just doing it like this and just dodge. Okay, cool. Oh, really? Okay, whatever. I, okay. Dodge, and there we are. We broke that effect, which is good. And Boon of Soul, and where are you now? That's before you. Oh, goodness, I... Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Goofy off soul stream moment, and can we... No, never mind. One, two, three, four. And, okay, goodness, I... All right. Let's jump up and try some stuff. Thank you, slam, and... Ichimonji, and... Dodge. Okay, never mind. And can we... Slam again, and... Take you down. Dodge. Oh, my goodness. Okay, cool. Come on, just... Dodge. Slam, and... Oh, come on, you imbecile. Dodge. Thanks, and finally, no more you. Ah, thank you, Devon Confetti. Ceremonial Tonto, Starblade Blade, Blade and Hilt, and Vitality into Spirit Emblems. Punches Charges, Ritual Offering to the Dragon, Emblem Cut from Life Force, Set Adrift on the Thunderhead Waters, Devoted Soul. Alright, cool. Hmm. So there was something being blocked off that way. I'm wondering what it is. So up there, there was nothing preventing us from running away, and, well, we did it multiple times. So I'm wondering what could actually be of note blocked off by the Shichiman warrior. So there are a lot of things with 
the doctors. And we are not going to lure anyone to the dungeon, of course. We're not that evil. But get up here. It takes a long time for that fear bar to go down, huh? Okay. Bulging coin purse, nice. And then the idol over here, and then something after it, presumably. Hello there, hi. You are idol found and bottomless hole. Okay. The dungeon, underground waterway, and bottomless hole. You are. Oh, is this you? Hi. Faint, but I can hear it. Coming up for comments, crying, calling to me. Beat you? Hey. I can hear it. You are calling to? What's wrong? In the shinobi, following the sound. Heard by the winds. Hear nothing? Hear it? Follow that melody calls me? I believe it does. Follow it? Sure, it calls me. What do you think? Don't mention the dungeon. Don't know. Leave me alone. Like to listen on my own. This would be Odin of the Water. I believe we can make that work. Okay, cool. Hmm, interesting. A few more spirit emblems again, now that we need them. Clearly something is getting loaded now. So, the bottomless hole over here is... Oh, hi. Cast out or throw yourself in. What? Taps of Ashina, best cast yourself out over there. So we're over there. Hmm. Ashina Depths. Alright. Mm -hmm. So Reservoir would lead to the Shichiman Warrior fight, too. But let's just see what's down here then. Hi! Hello, Ashina Depths. That's. Ah, interesting. So there was something to get over here. New Bubo and of Soul. Keep going down this bottomless pit. Presumably you can find other things. Oh, hello. Hi. What's over here? And I hear... Oh, more of the test subjects. Great. Soul of Ash. And the... Actually, you know what? If we gotta fight you anyway, we're gonna have to go through here. I don't think we'll fight anything else. All that relevant, so let's just use flame vent. Cool. Sorry. And wow, that did enough damage to completely take you out. Down here might be. Has spelling agent and so does this go up this way or down or what? Oh bit of lag, a bit of load time over there. I presume that No, it the computer's not getting hot. So I don't think it's a heat issue. It's probably just we're in an area that loads multiple other areas at once. Sort of straddling the line between probably Mibu Village and... Uh, so teleporting back there to the other idol could give us another way through, but... Let's see. Down here and over here. Hello, hello. And what is... This is an item. This is a pacifying agent. This is Ashina Depths. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Oh, goodness. Wow, that's interesting. Let's go back through. Let's teleport back up, see where I can go. Idol found. And Ashina Depths travel, and this is just Ashina Depths proper. And the Ashina... Oh, Ashina Depths does not have any kind of... It's not shown at all right now. It's not at the moment. Interesting. This is travel, and we're currently at... It doesn't show where we are. Presumably it's that glowing marker that doesn't have an outline below Ashina Castle, but who knows? Either way, there are some other things in that bottomless hole that I'd like to check out real quick. Also, I'm going to go to the reservoir. That was another way to drop down into the dungeon. You want to check that out real quickly. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Hello. Mm -hmm. And, oh goodness. Okay. Oh wow. Never mind. Please, please, and oh my lord. Well, luckily, you're not that hard to fight, actually, and wow, okay, never mind. Hmm, okay. 
That was a funny way for that to happen. And die. And oh my goodness, I, okay. Slam it, slam it, okay, cool. Slam, and you, and kill. Cool. Okay. Let's rest and not make that mistake again. Okay. Let's go over here and take you out. Having four prayer necklaces is very pleasant and inconvenient. Goodness, I messed that up. And what? Okay, never mind. Slam it. Okay, please. Alright. What if I slam over here and what? What? Never mind. It's just, I'm being way too aggressive. It's silly. It's a mistake for sure. Ooh, okay. Either way, we're going back down to bottomless pit, so not like any of this is strictly necessary. I think we're fine. Hi, monkey. Goodbye, monkey. Go down through here. Ammo was originally around this way. Water's over here. This is where we started the game, so let's just go to the grappling hook point and thank you. This goes down to the dungeon where slightly different spot in the dungeon. And it's just these lizards. Poisonous as they are. Let's actually use... Do we have the green? No, we don't have any poison gourd. No poison cure gourd. Alright. Cool. I guess. And you're over there, so... Oh, wow! Okay, you're surprisingly annoying to hit. Wow, okay, cool. Thanks. Okay, whatever. And we may as well get the death blow just for fun. We don't have the stole yet, though. We went over it right. This is just a bottomless pit where the Chitu Memorial was. Nice. So this is the way to Ashin adapts. Frankly, I should use the ceremonial Tonto a bit more. Have it on... Actually, I don't need it on Hotbar. I could use it from here. Drift Devoted Soul. Hello. Jinzaimon Kumamo. So what all would be? Oh, throw yourself in, cast yourself out, throw yourself in. Cool. That would mean presumably somewhere we could get. Or, thank you. This is the spot we were in previously. So dropping down all the way to Ashina Depths would be inadvisable most likely, but... Mm -hmm. Slam and blast. So that one goes all the way to actual Ashina Depths proper. But we don't want to go right now. Nothing right there. This is a bit more. Hello. Another, ooh, more lag. So yeah, it is. It does seem to be this specific area that has some lag associated with it for some reason, probably because they're loading in Ashina Depths. Okay. Cool. Then, let's see. That way is a bit more. What would we get if we went down this way instead of... So that was just bottomless proper. Okay, cool. We went over here and then... Will I be able to make that jump at all, or... I can. Probably it might be something then. I would think, if... And let me do this in the first place. Maybe a... Huh. Where does this go? Nowhere or... Grapple, but... Seems as if the bottom was pit, just... That was all there was. Okay. Let's go back to... Ashen Adepts, actually. There's Gun for it, there's Ashen Adepts. Going for it in Sunken Valley could be fun too, but. Hmm. Go down to. Ashina Depths. There we are. So, in theory, this should mean, unless it can actually scroll down, if everything is shown immediately here. As in, if there's enough room for every area to fit its tab on one single screen. That would mean the only place left would be Fountainhead, presumably. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
check out the endings again. That which chapter infested early? Temple grounds idle. Dive underwater. Monk is no longer there. Rice, we're giving it to Old Hag. Before defeating the Divine Dragon, a persimmon. Free, speak to her, required. Mystery Hall, Dragon's Return, Main Hall. It's outside, Blue Monk's corpse at the end of the cave. Turn Senpo Temple, Ministry, Kite Crank. Sunken Valley Cavern, the Gun Fort, Bodhisattva Valley. Hmm. Serpent to be there, leading to the gun fort. Okay. So there will be a few more things, but that'll take some time. Before that, I think I'll poke around in here and see what I can get. What if I... Huh. Leads down here. For now, this is the only place we could really go. There is that part, but... Let's see what item this is. This is... Ah, scrap magnetite, so it was a good idea to go in here relatively early. This is... Another gun person? Yeah, okay. Another gun guy. And is that antidote powder? Okay. Hmm. Gotten our way up, so we can grab onto that statue, but... Aside from that, we... Set to go through, and can we... Grapple and oh, I did not. Oh, Snake Eyes Shirahagi is there. I did not expect that. I, okay. Uh huh. Is that which one is Snake Eyes Shirahagi? I don't know. More scrap magnetite. That's nice. Oh yeah, I'm in Ocean of Depths now. I for I I I haven't gone to Sunken Valley yet. I'm just in depths. I am taking my time with this and. Is this Snake Eyes or... That's definitely Snake Eyes, right? Oh, goodness. Well, alright, cool. We need to find a way to get back out of here. Thank you, thank you. Back to that idol and... Come on, come on. I... Okay. I think we can escape. Partially. And jump up here. And is this back to the idol? This is not back to the idol. Oh, well. So that's where Snake Eyes Shirahagi is and... The big thing with Shirahagi is I can use the Sabimaru on her to give her a bunch of poison, which is why I upgraded the Sabimaru. I... I'll go to Gunfort. Well... Mm-hmm. Oh, but it links together. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Makes sense, though. It's all far below. I'm gonna use that improved Sabimaru on her once we go over and take the relevant enemies out. Where is the poison guy? You're right here, so I mean the gun guy. Jump this way and just do a plunging death blow. We'll be chilling. In that case, we should stay out of the way as much as possible so we can take down Shirahagi. So which one is Snake Eyes Shirahagi? I... I don't know. Is that Snake Eyes? Presumably. Oh, so we had to go the other way to... Are you Snake Eyes Shirahagi? The real Snake Eyes Shirahagi. Please stand up. Or I could try actually just fighting her normally. Okay. I do find it cool that she is... That all these gun gals are women, or at least most of the named ones, because it... Frankly, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Princess Mononoke. Do you see it? Do you understand my vision? The main evil woman from... Thank you, I'm glad you, I, I'm glad you know it and appreciate it. Okay, so we need to set what she saw. What? Okay. Yellow gunpowder, that's nice. Okay. So if I want the stealth kill, I need to drop down. Hmm. I think I'm going to go a little bit more in Ashina Depths. But that'll probably be all I do today. Big thing is, is that 
I do want to try to get through the game relatively quickly because of... I gotta beat Demon Souls first, too, before Elden Ring DLC comes out, but... It will be alright. And wait, what? You instantly... What? Huh? How does she... Okay. So how am I supposed to stay away from her? You know what? Screw it. I... I don't even care anymore. Maybe I'll try to reestablish stealth, actually. That would probably be the best idea, frankly. Two and die, die. If I went up top, went somewhere where I could actually hide and reestablish stealth, where she couldn't get me, I would be able to have her just go and leave me alone. Presumably. Thank you, and she'll turn around eventually. And that will allow me to get in the back turn. Death blow. I would think. You'd think, right? Unless I can't actually get her to disengage by hiding here, which is an unfortunate possibility. It's very... What is interesting, because they're all basically using gun spears. Spear-like guns, which is... I think in part possibly a pun on the fact that the kanji used for spear and the kanji used for gun is the same. Presumably because fire spears used by the Chinese were some of the first firearms ever invented. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do this legit. That's a little annoying. Okay, so the big thing though is that we can use Sabimaru at least. Hi, oh, hello. Great, interesting. So if we can poison you, we can make this work a bit better. Hi. Oh well. Hello, Shirahagi. Do your thing. Just slash and... Oh my, okay. Wow, okay. Slash, 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 and... Oh my, okay. Did that even successfully poison you? I can't tell. One, two, three, four, five. And I... Jump it. I really can't tell. Wow! That was wacky. Huh. Alright. Guess we resurrect. Huh. How do I get out of here? Just grapple, grapple, and... I, okay. Grapple up there and grapple up there and get back up top. I do have the stealth upgrades, it's just... I'm a little confused. I guess the big thing is, in order to actually sneak up on Shirahagi, I'm wondering how I can... how I can avoid detection. Because frankly, I probably need to sort of Spider-Man on the treetops. Yeah. Presumably I might have to go the other way. And, oh my goodness, you're... Okay. Huh. Okay, so presumably I just need to find another better place to hide. That's what I bet. And can we... We can't jump to that? Well, whatever. Okay. Cool. Stab it. Oh my... Okay. Interesting. Just... Ichimonji and slam again and die. Yeah, it's funky. And is that... Who is you? Are you... That's not... That can't be Snake Eyes, right? Can't be. And just dodge... Okay, thanks. So she's bigger, too. Bigger and faster truck. Oh, this is a poison swamp. I didn't even notice that. It's always a poison swamp. It is literally always a poison swamp. Okay, and just get over there and cool. I love how spider man -y you can be. Like, who needs Spider-Man PS5 when you have this game? And, come on, just... Nice, and slam. Okay, cool, and... Oh, my goodness. Can I... Can I stealth death with somebody? I hope, and... Can I... Aerial death is not doing the trick right now. Huh. Come on, get up on that Buddha. Huh. There's an item in here. Lots of other items. Scrap magnetite. That's good. Black gunpowder, and then we can go over in this part of the swamp and get the... Oh, there's another idol. That's how you have to do it. You have to activate this other idol to get her to Diagra. That's what you do. Okay, cool. A demonic Buddha, rest of the poison pool. That's a little on the nose. Okay, cool. Now, talk about a Souls game. It's not a Souls game without a poison swamp, you know. Is waiting for the Sekiro Poison Swamp. Pellet and... Come on. Can I... Mm, who's gonna get alerted? Or... Come on, I... Okay. 
Do not alert you, Ahagi, please. I, oh, come on. I, okay. What? What? You're kidding. Back to the poison pool. Back to the poison pool. Okay, so we take out Shirahagi, hopefully, and then we chill. Mm -hmm. We do have four prayer necklaces, which is nice. We don't have any loose beads. So I guess we're a little under halfway through, if that's any meaningful measurement. Okay, cool. And just the way and slide and... Oh, you really, really... Do you see me? Yeah, you see me. I hate this. Come on. And... Crush you, and... Thanks. Death blow, and... Out of the way, and... Charge that, and slam, and go... Oh, what? How do you... Okay? What? Alright. So presumably we could sneak up behind that Buddha statue and get her that way, but we'll still need to get a bit more first. Interesting. I... Trying to engage a boss with both of its death blows on is crazy talk. You have to be an outright lunatic. So, if you don't see me, if I poke up this way, we can... I don't want to get poisoned, though. That's the thing. Hi, hello. And now you see me. One, two, three. Dodge. Oh, nice. That deflection worked. I was not expecting it to. So, let's actually... Oh, we don't have the purple. The green gourd, though. So the toxic memorial mob should be around here, so... Hi, Shirahagi. Thank you for doing your thing. Oh, but she has to die in order to get in there. That's fun. Hello. Enjoy. That's great, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and... Okay, dodge out. Okay, thanks. Okay. Oh, right. Boom. Cool. Mm, but the other guy's coming, too. I... Build up is annoying. One, two, three. Uh huh. Ooh, interesting. I need to. Oh, the other guy is in a very annoying position for me. Big thing is, I need to figure out how to get poison off on you. One, two, three, four, five, six, and jump it. Okay. What? Oh, right again. Really? The grab on that is infuriating. Dodge. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I know we can. Poison you, but okay. Eventually, you're supposed to be vulnerable to poison, but I can one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and oh, I, I'm totally out of zen. totally out of spirit emblems. That's kind of crazy. I guess the big question is, what would the best way to take you out be? I know that the Sabi Maru is use the other. Combo. I wonder which one inflicts poison better and faster. So the fact that the poison buildup just was not working confuses me more than a little. Let's check out the description of improved Sabimaru. We swap is desired and this poison. Oh, right trigger, right button. Turns your body can be used for evasion. Combo change attack. Let me see. Improved Sabimaru. Improved Sabimaru. What would be the R2 combo, poison status abnormality from the Kusabi Maru does not cast spirit emblems instead of alternating strengths. R2 after the transition, forward slash and go into at the same time. Forward alternate combo. Well, R2, R2, R1, R2, 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 R2. So two R2s, and then you just plus R1 and keep spamming R2s. Okay. The poison, though, is interesting. The piercing Sabimaru, that would be nice to have, but I don't have the necessary adamantite. That's the issue. That, wait, how did you... What? What in the... Okay. Never mind. My goodness. Yeah, but I have to kill her. To get through to whatever that is. So that's gone, which is good, and then we can go around this way, cool. Nice, and dodge around that. So the grapple actually didn't alert the other guy, which is good, but that will. Slam it, thank you. Nice, get that, get the death blow, and... Sabimaru is two R2s, then you just spam R1, 
two R2s, then R1, and more R2 spam. The big thing is that if we can get poison on her, she'll become a lot more manageable. Take a lot of immediate posture damage, and then just... Thank you. Thanks. One, two, R1, and R2, 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 R2. Thank you, and dodge. Okay, thanks. Uh-huh. Let's move in. R2, R2. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. And out of the way of that. And R2, R2, R1, R2, 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 and jump. It. Okay, cool. Can we even poison you? That's the question. I'm not sure I can. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and... I don't think you can be poisoned. At least not with the spirit emblems and things we have. Ah, uh, well, we tried, I guess. Mm. Slam, slam. At least you're not all that crazy. I. Thanks. I. Oh, okay. Ooh, all right. And thanks. We can. Thanks. Thanks. And do dodge. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's no sense in trying to use the Sabi Mata on her. Because as long as we can take off one health bar and get her in melee, she's actually not bad. So I just need to... Actually, if I want to be really funny, I could try using... Oh. Try using the flame vent. Yeah. I agree. Well, the big thing is also just... She's blocking the Sabi Mater's attack, so presumably that's helping her out with avoiding some things. Yeah. Well, the big thing is that the Okami are specifically weak to poison. But I guess I just... I don't have the sauce to use poison on her right now. Which is sad, but you know... If it works that way, it works that way. Okay. Cool. So let's ensure she doesn't see us, because she has... I mean, she's got Snake Eyes. She's got really good vision. Cool, and... There we go. Die. So we're gonna backstab her, and then use an Oil Pot and Flame Vent her as soon as we can. Yeah, that screw- it did screw me up, but we can live it from full health because I've been very diligent about killing many bosses and collecting beads. So, okay, cool. Nice, and- oh, I- what? Huh? How did I- that was weird. Huh? I did not intend to do that. Okay. Boom, and- okay, cool. Big amount of damage. Okay, cool. And just- Dodge out of the way that and burn. Yeah, this should be very, very convenient. Jump it. Okay. Oh no, that's okay. It's just a pure grab attack, which means there's no real cheese for it. That makes sense. Well, whatever. Okay. Hi, Shuahagi. Just boom, boom it. Nice. More burning. Cool. Using a lot of our oil for all this. Okay. Come on and just dodge. dodge. Okay, cool. Burn, burn. All right. So we can't use our flame vent anymore, which means it's got to free ball this, but we should be fine, frankly. Nice, and go in for the Ichimonji, and oh, wow, okay. Never mind. Just jump it. Okay, right. I oh, and you did that right out of the grab, right? I stupid. Right, because you don't have a Mikiri attack. That's It's not Mikiri a bullet. It's just... Hmm. Okay. Who's that pellet? There's any time to it now. And just... S oh my, okay. Slam it. Oh my, okay. Alright, and... Mm -hmm. Okay. Slam down and get you with the Ichimonji and just... Dodge. Swing it. Ichimonji and... You've got low enough health that you won't regenerate anymore now, which is good. Yeah, I... That's a good idea. Oh, and that just breaks? Oh, wow. Okay. Slam. Okay, please. And wow! All right. Thanks. So, Flame Vent was a good idea. The big issue is that I don't have all that much oil. Meaning... Huh? You go down to the poison pool, at least, but that's silly. I thought that would get me in a different direction than it did. All right. Let's try this again. We were actually very, very close. Well, whatever. And we do have 10 oil, which is good. We'll need those. And the oil economy in this game is actually kind of crazy. Call me the American military, because I need that oil. Okay. 
it's weirdly hard to get. Okay. Thank you, Ichimonji, and... I don't really need praying strikes right now. It's nothing I'm actually doing really requires any of the Senpo arts, so we'll just chill. Hi there, hello. I bet piercing Sabimata would work, but thank you, and just... Cool, can we... Oh, never mind. Thanks, cool, and... Move in, and that did not connect. Did burn, though, which is good. But, hell, it's in. Oil, and cool. Nice, and just... Boom, nice, there we go, and... Thank you, and... Dodge, dodge, oh, please. All right, all right, thanks. Hell, it in. Oil, cool, and just... Burn, again. Thank you. Oil, and... And you're, while you're still burning, we'll let you burn. And, okay, alright. And uh, you should be unburning soon. And oh, that's a lot of oil around here. And then, is this pallet save his gourds for more effective times? We could be funny and just get you down with. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. And alright, and boom. Oh, what? Alright. Boom, and did that even touch you? That did not touch you. What in the... Okay. Uh, and we're out of uses. Okay. Cool. Slam down, and you should be in a decent position. Thanks. Oh, my. Okay. Cool. Dodge. Thanks. And slam down. And, okay. Dodge. 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 Okay. Cool. Uh, so we can move in. Slam with that. And thanks. Thanks. And, oh, come on. But at least your vitality is... I mean, your posture is no longer healing. And, okay. And we can jump back. Kill you. Hopefully. One, two. Dodge. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. We just... Can we dodge? Slam. Okay. Uh, another one. We actually managed to poise break it. And thanks. Okay. And... Oh, please. Ah, uh, oh, come on. Uh, oh, all right. Get in over here. Get in over here and slam, slam and dodge, dodge, dodge. Uh, I, I really want to kill her with counter to her melee, but that's probably not going to be possible. Just out of way and counter and thanks, thanks. Oh, okay, cool. One, two, thanks. Jump it. Okay, right. No, no, no. Oh, come on. You were so close to. I. Okay. Yeah, that's what I get for trying to fight her early. Relatively early. Early Ashin adapts, haven't even gone to Genichi at all. Big thing is, I'm not sure how much oil I have, and that could become a problem soon. We have nine oil. Which should be enough for the fight if I'm not stupid with it, but, you know. You never know with these things. Get some corpses, that's fun. And give it. Oh my goodness! Thanks. And of course she saw. Of course she saw. I was, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, at least we're getting enough skill experience from the basic ads we're killing. That should be able to get some strong. Yeah. The big thing is frankly that the posture damage on Ichimonji once her vitality is at half and she's no longer rege regening, no longer regening any posture. Going for an Ichimonji from a jump is a very safe way to approach. Oh my, okay, cool. Slam, slam, okay, there we are. Because the faster we get her vitality down, the faster we can ensure she can't regenerate posture, and that will help some things. Said so also, if we're... But we can't unlock Living Force for some time, that's a thing. But using something like Living Force would be really, really nice, because... Cool, and... Oh my goodness, thanks. Oh, wow, okay. Never mind. That was embarrassing. Boom, and we got you with that, which is good. And can we... Mm, for the burn to go down. And slowly taking some damage, but... Thank you, Snake Eyes. And go up through here, and... Boom! Right to the face. Okay, so we can use this... A decent number of times, and this might be a more convenient location to fight you. Not quite sure. Okay. Oh, okay, never mind. And boom, and alright, that was very, very narrow. I, I like that, though. Quite a bit risky, and 
Come on, we need pellet, presumably, and come on, just move in and blast with the vent. Nice. Okay. I love fire. I love fire. And here we are. We should be able to put this out soon. And flame vent. Nice. So that should be the... Oh, never mind. And, uh, okay. We need a bit of... Using this recover should be helpful to us. And just... And slam down and take you out. Come on. Let's do it. Okay. Hmm. Slam, slam. Okay, if we can actually get you caught up here, this could work for us. That's really funny, actually. One, two, dodge. Okay. One, two. If this works, I'm not complaining. I shouldn't still hit me, but whatever. One, two. Should heal. Heal. We almost cheese her. Almost. And okay, cool. We cheese her a bit. Okay. And her posture's not coming back at all, which is good. And jump, slam, slam. And thanks, thanks, and oh, come on. We need to use those pellets real quick. Can we get you through a wall or that's the question. Doesn't seem like it. The Dark Souls strategy is not working. And can we, what? Oh, he can hit me through there? Oh, okay, so... I mean, it, I guess it makes sense, you know, there's no sense in hitting an enemy who is best range for a wall. I mean, or... Wait, how... What? How does she even... What? It's nonsense. Dodge! 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 Okay, cool. And slam down and take you out. Let's just... Dodge! Oh, what? Really? We're just running out of oil. It's the worst thing. I think we should still have enough for one more attempt, and then... As cool as that cheese tactic was, it's not gonna be good for me. Uh, we have four things of oil, and that's about as many flame vent uses as we have anyway, so... We'll be, we'll be able to get some more on, but... Oh, really? Right, right, right. We kill Shudahagi here in Ashin Adapts. Then I think we'll have accomplished a good amount. Maybe proceed a little bit more until... I'm um, until I see where another boss is, and then I'll probably chill. Okay, burn status abnormality. I think it works for two instances of burning, but... Whatever. Okay, cool, and slam it! Oh, I only needed normal Uchimonji. Whatever. Could not afford to charge that. And frankly, because of that, I should, probably should have jumped. It's the question is, is there another... Prosthetic, or another skill I could use that would meaningfully help me there. I feel like chasing Slice or Fang and Blade could be good. Maybe. Certainly possible. But then we can burn and... Okay, we got that off. Nice. Dodge. Okay, cool. The more we get on Kuro Shirahagi here, the better. We can stay out of the way and dodge. Okay, cool. Dodge. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Gotta keep the pressure up. Okay. So, we can do that and move on in. Flame vent. Cool. Starting to run out of oil. The more health we get down, the easier the rest of the fight will be. So, arrow Ichimonjis and then running away is probably going to be best tactic. So, boom. Oh, what? Huh? Okay. Really? Really? You've got to be kidding. Okay. Scored up and... Ugh. This terrain is actually really annoying. Thanks, and... What, 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 huh? That was really weird. Never mind. And what, huh? What, no, what? What in the goddamn? Okay, what this means is that I can't even use Flame Vent anymore. I, I don't have any oil left, and it's not worth using without oil. So let's see what other skills I could maybe get with these two skill points I have. I am going insane. Aesthetic Arts, Fing and Blade. Wooded Axe, Loaded Spear, Miss Raven. I think, actually, this would be good. Yeah, after Initial Strike, Fang and Blade, and Tool and Sword, one after the other. Dragging, that'll be good for now. And I can just try using the Axe on her. I think that'll be what I have to do, because I'm just out of oil to use on her, and that is causing some problems. Uh 
Cover yourself in oil. Why? Okay. The Ishimonjis are good, I guess. You can start the fight off with a bit of... Oh, goodness. Okay. Start the fight off with, with some Fangon Blade with the axe. But if I... Frankly, I should, I should test it out first. Whatever. Fang and Blade, and then keep up the offensive, most likely. I mean, she doesn't fight well in melee. I can mostly just keep defending and be fine, but... Spin, spin, and... Thanks! Oh, nice. I can... Spin, spin, and... God, okay, thanks. Slam, slam, slam. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Out of my way, out of my way. And oh, my goodness, this is... Some trouble. I... Okay, oh, my... All right, and uh, slam it. Okay. Ah, really? It was an interesting idea. The issue is spinning and... Okay, nice. We can poise locker, which is good. And... Mm, thanks. And, oh, my... Okay. Doing good damage, but... Uh, thank you. And we can spin, spin, and slam and crush. Great, great. Thanks. And Okay, cool. And... No. What? Alright. So that was a good strategy. The big thing that I learned is that I cannot afford to go for the big spin until... Unless... She's used attack with really, really long... Cooldown. Well, not cooldown, but really long recovery. Yeah. This is fun. I'm definitely in a place I shouldn't be right now, but that's exactly what makes it so fun. When I play Elden Ring on stream, I definitely too plan on going to kill it as soon as I can for the exact same reason. Okay. And dodge and jump over that and Ichimonji again. Such a good skill. I will need Fang and Void eventually for Living Force anyway, so this was a good idea to get, but let's see what happens. So eventually, it's got locked off and goodness me. Hello, hello. Hi. Okay, cool. Then we just spin, spin, and slash, and then we... Thanks, 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 and can we slam, and... Okay, nice. And we dodge, dodge, oh, what? Huh? Wait, what? I was pressing deflect. It kept using the axe. I don't even know what was going on there. Okay, the big thing is, is... Starting out with the axe is good, deals a bit of health damage too, but the posture is the issue. The posture regain is crazy, but the posture damage is crazy too, and frankly, in fights like this, it might be the most important part. Frankly, and a lot of it is because I've been using Ichimonji and generally probably playing a bit more defensively, I haven't had to deal with a lot of posture break issues, and even when I have... I haven't had enemies actually take advantage of it, which is nice. So let's go and sneak up on her. Go for the Fang and Blade. It is undoubtedly very saucy to use an axe in conjunction with a sword. One, two, and slash that, and just thanks, thanks, and dodge, and okay, cool. Slam it, okay. Oh, but we still took the hit. Okay, whatever. Thanks, thanks, and Dodge it. Okay. Thanks. And, oh my goodness. I, I need that mid-air prosthetic tool. What? How did I... The most annoying thing about the platforming in this game is honestly the fact that a lot of very short ledges that you actually want to drop off of work as just plain old invisible walls unless you actually jump off of them. And that's what happened to me there. I actually couldn't do any kind of emergency roll because I was blocked by nothing. The nothing blocked me. So ridiculous. Sekiro is not a clunky game, and the reason they do that is because there's a lot more platforming. Especially in regards to, say, the grappling hook trunk tree, tree trunks, but I... Okay, cool. So we can just spam you down, no problem. But at the very same time, I feel like they could have made it just for the tree trunks initially alone, which I initially thought that's how it worked. It's not how it works. Instead of putting it on literally everything. Also, her... Her deflect timings are also very, very tricky. That's also part of it. Okay, cool. And just dodge, dodge. Thank you. And cool. Let's heal up. And come on. Oh, slam. Okay, so we did that with increased poise, which is good. Dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. And oh my goodness. I, okay. 
Uh, so if I use this with thing, what? Okay. Cool, I guess. One, two. Ooh. Uh huh. I don't know what I'm actually gonna do to her. Then. I might have to come back later, maybe after Sunken Valley. It's got just got so much saucer. It's crazy. I feel like Mid or Prosthetic Tool would also be useful here, but slam it. Oh my goodness. I, okay. I feel like getting her against a wall would be pretty crucial. I, dodge it. Dodge it. Okay, cool. And slam it. Slam, slam. Yeah, because the recovery on the Mid or Tool is always a lot better. And one, two. Uh, one, two, two. Uh, oh my goodness. You blocked that, but that doesn't do everything. Oh. Okay, cool, and slam it. Okay, still took that, but I... Thanks, thanks, and dodge, deflect it. Ow. Almost at half health, but I... Come on, I... Okay. Slam, slam, and dodge, deflect, thanks, and... Okay. Ichimonji again, and... Dodge, and dodge out of the way of that, and deflect it. Oh, my... Right, right. No, no, you... Okay. Honestly... Fang and Blade is fun as a starter, but for every other part of the fight, all I can afford to actually do is just Aerial Ichimonji Double. Aerial Ichimonji Double. Nothing else will work. Ever, period. Which sucks. Really, it does. But especially since all of my oil is gone. So I can't really use Flame Vent anymore. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna kill Snake Eyes Shirahangi if it kills me. And to be fair, she has killed me a bunch of times. Not not permanently, but she has killed me. Okay. So we go over, we can slide over. Kill. Oh my goodness. Now we, we do Fang and Blade for the first attack. After that, I just need to get better at the reflection timings, and then spin, spin, and slash, and then we... Thanks, jump it. Oh, right. We, oh, come on. I, I needed to jump back for that. Right. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh, what? Another? Another is in here? You're stupid. I hate you. What are you even doing? Get in here, you bastard. You're cheating. Stop cheating. Okay, cool. And just can we slam and slam on you. And thanks. Nice. And dodge. Okay, cool. Slam, slam. So if we just get up in your face. Cool. And... Uh, post recovery is important, but I... Thanks. One, two, and... Yeah, the post recovery is crazy. Yeah. Dodge. Uh, please. Okay, cool. And move in, move in. Break your posture a little. And dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. And then we jump in. Slam on you. Thanks. Dodge. Do dodge. Dodge. Oh, okay, cool. Got a lot of posture damage out, but dodge. Okay, cool. And... Slam down, slam down, okay. Got a lot of posture in, but that doesn't do everything for me. Okay. Use it, jump it, slam, slam it. Jump, dodge, oh, right, okay, cool. You actually managed to get out of the way of that, which is good. Just dodge, dodge, okay, cool. Then we slam, slam out of the way of that combo. And dodge, dodge, and okay, oh my goodness, we need to slam down, oh my goodness. I, what, no, no, no! Oh. Okay. One more go. I know how I need to do this, and quite frankly, the best way to take her down is not gonna probably not gonna be a thing in Blaine, but the initial charge Ichimonji double. I huh. It is a cool find. It's undeniably a cool find, but to do it on Bell Demon this early when I'm relatively weak and sauceless and she just has a literal gun. I literally brought a sword to a gunfight. That's how stupid I am right now. Yeah, guys. Why can't they give a Sekiro? Why can't they give a prosthetic gun upgrade? I know the closest thing is literally... The flame vent, but still I- Oh, what? No, no, what? Oh my goodness, that was the dumbest thing I've done all day. I feel like, actually, if I had made air prosthetic tool, which... I don't think I even- Do I need that for Living Force? Let me check real quick. Check my skills and yeah, I do need mid-air prosthetic tool to get projected force, which would be nice eventually, and then living force. Nightjar, Nightjar slash reversal. 
The Spirit Emblem ones would be nice eventually, but they're not a huge priority right now. I don't use prosthetic tools as much as I might. Hello, hello. And frankly, Ichimonji just doesn't require any posture. He doesn't require any Spirit Emblems, which is part of what makes it so busted. And it out part is nice for the swamp, but... Shirahagi, I'm going to kill you. Please. Get the stealth depo off, but the rest is annoying. Thank you, and charge that, and boom! Okay. Dodge, 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 and cool. Can we slam that down? It... Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh my goodness, we can slam that down. Oh my, oh what? Of course they interfered. Of course they goddamn interfered. It's just, the big issue is that maybe what I actually need to do, the issue is... Yeah, the hallway's really tricky. I was thinking maybe what I could try doing was get the death bolt and then go around eliminating every other enemy. But it would take a very, very long time to do. And if that was kind of like finding the seven Ashina Spears guy from before over in Reservoir. And ev I eventually had to do that, actually. Eliminate everyone except him. At least everyone except one Taro troop. Or at least the Taro troops. And if that was annoying. Yeah, yeah. That would be a good way to do things, just because with a choke point she can hold you down, but... Killing the other guys, especially the big cannon guy... I'm still gonna do it. I'm still gonna do it this way. And of course you saw me. God oh, damn. Really? Okay. Cool. Not just... Thanks, and... Cannot slam on you, and... Thank you, and... Thanks! Oh, I gotta slam again, and Thanks, thanks, and... You. Okay, cool, and move in, Ichimonji, and take you down and kill. Thank you, and there's not much else here. Wait, what? Huh? How did you get me? Stupid. Okay. But to get over here is also annoying. Come on. Oh, can I can't even do that. Whatever, I can kill you. One, two, three. Die, die, die. Okay, cool. And the iframes were good. So let's lure her. She's over here now with... Most of that down, so... This should be more useful, ideally. Let's see what you're gonna do. Let's... One, two, and... Slam, slam... Okay, what? Huh? How did they not hit? Never mind, okay. Oh, she could break the tree? Oh, you're kidding me. What is going on? She simply is not playing by the same rules as I am. Slam, slam, and just... Thanks! Dodge! Dodge! Okay, cool, and jump in and slam that down, and... I think actually... Oh, that's right! If you want to be really silly, you can actually lure her into the poison rotter. And poison her that way. Because otherwise she has really high poison resistance. Okay, let's do that, actually. Lure her into the poison rotter and keep her there. We can keep her at a point where her... Poison resistance will go down, and let's just kite her and see how you can... Alright, kite you, keep you in the poison water. Interesting. So you're staying up here, that's good. See so over this way you can get more poison build up in theory, which would be nice for us. Now I know, now I know, that's right. I did read this on the wiki that she's probably way too... Way too much poison resistance to poison normally. If you can lure her into the poison swamp, she gets affected by that too. Slowly. So that's why the Sabimaru wasn't doing anything. Because of her specific unique poison resistance. So if we just keep jumping around between here and there, she'll stay in the poison water and... If you to come in, you'll take huge posture damage eventually. Eventually. Well, I can't imagine it'll be easy or take... Short amount of time. Okay, cool. And... Come on, come on. How long will this tank? How long will it tank? Okay. Just get poisoned. Oh, nice. Are you... Are you poisoned now? Oh, that's amazing. If this cheese strategy works... If this works, I... Okay. Cool. Let's poison her with her own swamp. This is what you get. This is what you get. Okay. Just don't shoot at me too much. Just keep on getting poisoned. Die slowly. Die slowly. 
And okay, cool. And then we can grapple over. Grapple on the Buddha. Where are you going now? Where are you going now? Get over here, stay in the poison swamp. That'll deplete about a third of your health bar each time, so. We can just wait for you to get poisoned and then do the rest. Oh, wait! This is a safe spot, is it? Where's she gonna go? She's just gonna st No, no, she's coming back. She's coming back. If it works, it works. If it works, it works. Okay, get in here. Get in here. Get back in the poison. Exactly. Once we get her poison, we don't have to worry about poisoning her again. Until the poison's gone, but... Okay, cool. Keep that up. There is piercing, though, which... Get in close. Okay. We just have to keep running around you. So that you stay in the poison water. That's the big thing. Then once the poison prompts will be good. Just poison, poison, and... Cool. Come on. Come on, and just dodge... Oh. I can't jump up there all that well. Poison, poison, poison. Poison, if it works, it works. If it works, it works. Success. You can wipe away disgrace with results. To quote a great man. Okay. You may know- Yes! We got the poison on you. Okay. Running out of gourds, but... Once the health drain starts stopping, stops going, we'll have to poison you again. Okay. Get down around a third of your health each time. Cool. Snake Eyes is over there, and you will come up here. Okay, once the health starts to stop sticking down. Okay, now you go over there, so... Come on, come on. Sell the way, and... Still ticking down slowly but surely. Interesting. I think... The poison is almost gone, because it is about a third of her health every time. If it works, it works. You can wipe away disgrace with results. So we just need to get her poisoned one more time. And everything will work. Everything will work. And just out of the way of that. Get behind cover. Feels more like Call of Duty than anything else, frankly. It's a cover-based shooter. We do have a health bar, though, and we do have those insta-kill blows. So I guess it's more like Doom. Yeah. But I also don't find on fighting Kenitra today. I planned on beating Snake Eyes Shirahagi using poison. And then just dodge our way. That as long as we keep moving, she can't get us. That's good. Come on, come on. Frankly, it's less of a river and more of a pool. More of a swamp or a pond or a There we are! We got the final poison proc we need. So if we wanted to, we could deal the final hit ourselves. Or we could simply use Okay, let's just use another hit to... Oh my goodness. Okay. Poison's on you. Gotten to the point where the fight can be meaningfully sped up without a problem. One, two, and... No vitality damage? Really? Okay. Come on. That actually, maybe the best way to be would do it would be using gouging top. Hi, hello. And... Oh goodness. Okay, alright, and... Just... Oh, but I... Oh, oh, come on. I... Gotta get out of my way, out of the way of that. The speed decrease is really, really annoying. Okay, alright, and... Poison is almost done. Should be in a decent position. Okay, cool. And pellets, pellets, and... Oh, what? You didn't get me through the... Really? Really? Okay. Come on, come on, just... Dodge it, okay. Thanks. Take that down, and... Break a little bit of vitality damage. Nothing special, but... Okay, we're close. Okay. Keep pestering her until... Down to vitality level we need. And cool. Cool, cool. We just need a little bit more Ichimonji in here, and... That said, I think the axe would actually be just fine right now. Slam it! Okay, nice. Finally! Go away! Prayer beat. If it works, it works. That's all I'm saying. So, so, we can go up to the top of that Buddha statue and anything over there? Or, well, that fog wall is gone. We can get some stuff from Shirahagi. The big thing is, this is clearly a grapple point, but it's not one I can get to yet. Mm hmm. 
We should definitely probably rest a little, presumably. We don't have enough oil left to actually make holding onto oil worthwhile right now, so we'll take that out of the hot bar. Frankly, in most cases, it's probably better to use items from the menu than the hot bar anyway, given that you can actually pause this game as compared to other Souls games. All right, let's see what was behind her fog wall. Hi, hold on. Thanks, thanks. Die, die, die. Thing and boy, this is cool. Again, living force, once I can get it, is going to be very, very nice. We'll see how it works. Who is over here? Is this a torch? It's a blood, or is that some, some other material? Oh, is this? Where the ape is? I... Let me see. Guardian ape, and then... Oh, but if it's headless ape... Let me see. This would be the ape's location, right? I would think. Oh, this is where headless ape goes once you kill it the first time, if I recall correctly. Then eventually a Chichiman warrior can go in here. So I just need to take note of this place for later. Okay. Until we kill Guardian Ape in Sunken Valley, there won't be anything here. Pretty sure. If I recall correctly. This is something. Where am I? Who are you? Oh, it's Kumano! She's gone, Ori, moments ago. We can, you, Shinobi, finally saw her, Shami Senpai was a woman. We get fleeting, if she was calling to me, disappeared into the mist. Okay. Get over, hidden town, shrouded in mist, ominous town, don't ever go there. Doesn't matter now, thick misty forest in my way. You would find the Shami Sen player, do not mention the abandoned dungeon. Oh, deep in the fog, Melody is calling me. Is it another way through? That was probably from Sunken Valley, presumably. Ape Arena in depths. Side path in depths from Valley. Buddha statue. Yeah, but it's 17 out of 20 of the prayer beads at the moment, so we're chilling, we're chilling. I want to see. Over there is definitely certain death. This is his chi. Make sure that you couldn't get here if you somehow managed to skip the grappling hook upgrade, which is literally impossible, but well, it explains why Jean Zanmon can't come over here. This is still Ashina Depths, Poison Pool, Hidden Forest, and let's check out that Sunken Valley, and presumably Mubu is going to be in the bottom right. Let's see what else is here. So that, the pine amber should be somewhere in here, I believe, but it's an item, or what is this? How much divine confetti do I have? I have a little bit of divine confetti, and I might want to get a few more from the Ashina guys, because I do know that <sighs> Orin of Mibu, or Orin of the Waters, they call her, but it's actually very specifically, in the original translation, it's Orin of Mibu, as in of Mibu Village. So it's that Mibu is a name, what it means born of water. Oh, hello. Die, chicken! Chicken death blow. And there we go. Uh, let's see what else might be around here. I know that there are some other drop downs, but aside from that, lots of Mibu balloons. Makes sense, because this is Mibu balloon. Oh, no. Oh, an apparition! Apparition warriors! Okay, I did not see that coming. So if I wanted to, I could use a snap seed to just get rid of them immediately, but... What? Okay, cool. These guys are frightening. They're a bit different, too. Okay, oh my goodness, alright. So a snap seed could be used to get rid of them, but could also just use other means. So if I dodge... Uh, come on, can we... Oh, and they disappear if I'm far away enough? Oh, that's weird. Come on, and... Kill you, and... So these are similar to the enemies that showed up in... Witty Butterflies, part two of the fight. Phase two of Witty Butterfly. And if we're fast enough, that does work, but... Come on. So yeah, we can't see them unless we're close enough, which is some trouble. Okay. Another Ichimonji. Hmm. So no Sen, of course, because we're all the ghosts, but... Scrap Magnetite. I wonder if we might get Adamantite somewhere around here. Other thing is also the very, very top where I wonder how many chickens there are here frankly very top area I'm wondering 
If I drop down over there, would I actually get anything of note, or is it just a bottomless pit? It's almost certainly just a bot. Yeah, it's just a bottomless pit. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. So we've already reached pretty important side area for main quest line before Genichiro even. Okay. You know what? We just take these guys down. Die, chicken. No chicken death blow, but whatever. And before we go down to all the apparitions, I feel as if... Who are you? Hello. Are you? Father Buddha, slay one who opposes it. Is the Buddha correct? Abandoned temple up ahead. So the way in the shadow we fall, I can fool the villagers. Probably the corrupted monk is actually a woman. Abandoned temple, old building, closed hole in the second floor. Someone else, maybe? Say so you who opposes Buddha. Huh. Lots of funkiness here. Just see, how can I get up to that, then? Can I get up that way, so... Let's just chicken death blow. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, cool. Guess that works, too. Bye, chicken. Something else here, and that's just a pellet. It is interesting, because those are basically just Dark Souls 2 life gems, to a certain extent. Grapple over and find a light coin purse. Backstab another chicken. You really do wonder what's up with the chickens in this game. Why oh, they're so... brutal. So that's up ahead, presumably. Might be something down below, but... Let me see. Oh, more chickens. Oh well, hi. Can I sneak up on the chicken? Sneak up on one chicken. Nice, there we go. Okay, cool. What if I... Mm-hmm. Charging top, and that knocked you down out of the air. Made you vulnerable, which is good. A lot of spirit elements for this, though. Hmm. It's down here. A place I presumably couldn't access by any other means. Mm hmm So down here, there's an item... Some other apparitions. I'm gonna start from the side I started on before. In the interest of not missing anything and not messing anything up. Did I go over this way previously? I think I did. Let's just check. And yeah, this was where those other chickens were. That's what I thought, but I wanted to make sure. Let's go and take this. A ceramic shard, yeah, nothing. Nothing real no. And just Oh, hello. Mr. Apparition for the others. And do they respawn infinitely? I uh, they don't respawn infinitely, but they do show up without warning, which is annoying. Okay, cool. Thanks and oh uh, really? Okay. Cool, cool, and oh my goodness, okay. At least you're not all that threatening, frankly. You get most of our health back from just doing death blows. Good amount of oh my goodness, okay, and slam it ooh. Uh, Okay, and just charge it up, and... Or you'll get out of the way, which I was not expecting. Cool, just... Thanks! Dodge... Oh, really? Okay, cool. Slam, and another one, and... Can we death blow? Can we... No, we can't. We were sucking our Ichimonji a little too much, and... Oh, hello. So they come from a given location, which is convenient at least, so I don't have to worry about... Getting surrounded all at once. Hmm... Okay. How do I want to do this then? Come on, come on. Just a few more apparitions have got to be around here. I see one over there, so let's get a death blow. Nice! A couple of you around here now. So presumably we'll also have... There's nobody over here, which is good. There was one here originally, but we got him before already. Get over here, get over here. Need to see who comes in faster. Don't want to fight both of you at once, so one, two, and while he's trying to get me, we'll just do that death blow. Pellets. Wonder why all these pellets are here. Maybe some kind of religious offering? I don't know. What oh, but I walked on the wrong guy. That's really obnoxious. And just one, two, and we can get the death blow through anyway. Cool. We are close to another skill point. Yugu Bowen of Wealth, not that it's something we really need, but it's still nice. And you're over here. Thank you. And get that. 
And what is- Oh, a headless! Oh, okay. Confetti would be good against that. Okay, cool. Thank you, and... One more over here, and... Oh, goodness, let's... Slam on you, and... Cool. That's the thing. Can I actually get a backstab on that headless? I feel like Gachiin... Gachiin's sugar would be good. Sure, I had enough. She eats sugar and probably an Akko as well. I guess the big question is do they stack? Oh, only one can be up at once. That makes sense, but still. Well, we have plenty. It's not a problem. So let's see if we can sneak up on this guy and kill him. Then we have our... Devon Confetti and... Actually, this sh they don't really do terror as much as the Shichi men do, so... This should be fine. Okay, cool. Stealth Death will on you. Zoom oh, it's not possible. It's just not possible. Okay, whatever. Oh, okay. Cool. And I... Ooh, ooh. Terror buildup is actually happening. Interesting. Okay, cool. All right, and you're over there, so just... Oh, all right, what? What? Huh? Okay, interesting. I did not expect that to happen. And just charge up and slam and... Okay, dodge. Oh, wow. Hate this guy. Fat wax and... Mm -hmm. Face over there and... Oh, what? No, huh? How am I supposed to dodge out of the way of that? Am I? Is there supposed to be a way or what? Up the item. Okay, scrub magnetite, and I'm dipping. I'm dipping. I'm out of here. Okay. So, Headless and Mibu. Big thing is that there's actually not a huge amount of. Oh, that's fun. And die. Okay, so the apparitions do eventually respawn, it seems. Or at least, if you come back, they will. So I can. Oh, goodness. That. Oh, the projectiles are really annoying. One, two, three. Kill, kill. Nice, and oh goodness, alright. So, I should really go back, and this Headless is chasing me a lot farther than I expected it to. Alright, cool. Got another skill point, which shouldn't be horrible. Hmm. Mibu Village Headless. So that's the real question. Could I get a aerial death blow on him? Mibu Headless. Okay. Somebody who's an enemy of the Buddha. All right. And then, just one chicken. Where's the chicken? Chicken is down around this way. Hi, chicken. One, two, three. Posture break the chicken. Okay, cool. Hmm. Hadless is crazy, crazy. I do not particularly want to deal with it. At least not right now. Okay, cool. Dead chicken. Then there's somebody who's going to be over this way, so... The other side of that headless. Headless, though, is... Let me see. Went over... Oh, I didn't go around this way yet. That's the thing. Presumably, it's possible that I might be able to get a... Can you stealth the headless? I can't even tell. Well, I can't see it, so... Okay, this is presumably where it would be, but we can't actually walk on to it right now. But, oh, down here is something different. This is, oh, a Yashariku sugar. This is down over here, and I guess the question is, can you get a stealth death blow on the Headless? Is it even possible? Can we? Hmm. Let's just try and do it. I... Hmm. And it does not seem to be possible. That makes sense. Doesn't mean I'm happy about it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Alright then. Alright. Time to go away and not come back. Uh, go away from the ghost. Find out whatever's on the next side. I feel like maybe if I could get another specific angle it could work. But as of right now, it's just not happening. Mm -hmm. Apparitions are fun, but the rest are cool. 
just all the divine confetti, though. That's causing issues for me. We can just keep juggling them while they're in midair. That's hilarious, if, if a bit mean. Okay. That's an, okay, that won't forcibly slide us down, which is nice, but... More apparitions and you over here. Hello, hello. Uh -huh. yeah, so I can't get the second Mortal Void by any means at all until we beat Genichiro. The Dementite Scrap. Oh, nice! We finally got one of those. Prosthetic tool, oldest parts of Ashina, Race of the Gods, lending it supple strength. So that could mean I could use that on maybe getting an improved Sabimaru eventually. That's an idea. And so this is a wall we can hug. Some more stuff around here at the bottom, but. Hmm, let me see. Check out more of the ghosts in the rest of this area. Eventually, we do want to get. Yubu breathing technique, so we can do some diving and bite down. I don't need that. Okay, cool. Hello, hello. And they... now they see me, actually. Okay, they do see me. Hi, hello. Great. And... okay. Oh my goodness, that was annoying. Spam it, slam it. What? Okay. Slam, slam, and... Dodge, and... Kill the apparition. And then... Oh, they're high. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. You are smarter than the other guys. And slam, slam. As long as we can get both hits for the Ichimonji double off, we can kill you. That's good. Which side of this is... Is there going to be another idol here, or... Dogs? What? Oh, wow. Are these ghost dogs? They are ghost dogs. Ghost dogs? Okay. Come on. See a little, but I couldn't lock onto him. I, oh my, oh wow, okay. Die, die, uh, okay, die, die. This is annoying, this is really stupid. I, oh, please. I, this not being able to lock on from a distance is what makes this so irritating. Okay. And... Hurry the ghost dog. There is, okay, cool. Thank you, at least, and no death blow on you, whatever. Okay. Not being able to see enemies unless they're up close is... Very, very inconvenient, to say the least. Oh, so is that Odin's Shamisen, or... Should be here eventually, but the fighter I would want. Some other things. She's in here. Zaimon Kumano. I can hear her, but she might be from farther off, presumably. Oh well. Go for the backstab, and... Nice, and I did not mean to do that. Alright, cool. Hmm. That's already over. Good. Give me... Okay, it's just oil, not divine confetti. So I really just will have to farm it from Ashina Dojo. It's kind of sad. Okay. Go down here, see what else there is to see. Okay. Come on, come on. Stab me from behind. Thank you! Get a little bit of our stuff back. We find another... Another idol somewhere around here. Though I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Some items and presumably oh hello dog. One, two, die. Okay, cool. And was that the only one? I hope. There's somebody Oh, there's somebody up there shooting at me. Oh that's crazy. I got a shooter too. And I uh, oh, but you're stronger. The thrust did not kill you. Actually, if you don't hold the thrust entirely, we just don't go for the thrust, so... There's really no way to tell. Okay, die. And, oh, okay, interesting, and... Stun that down, and... Did more spawn in, or am I just getting turned around? It's probably a bit of both. Okay. Other items over here. This is... Yellow gunpowder, nice. More upgrades, cool. This is, honestly, most like... Shaded Woods from... Dark Souls 2. This is another area where there are enemies who are largely invisible for a significant portion of time. Okay, dodge. Oh my. What? Okay. D whoa. Uh, oh, goodness. That was bad. Just get over it. Jump. Me go for the Ichimonji double. Get that back. Hmm. I'm just... I'm too aggressive, frankly. And just dodge. Oh, nice. Very good time to collect. And then... Right down, light coin purse, and contact medicine. Okay. 
which among other things you can actually use to make Miss Raven available at any time instead of just after getting hit because you're always taking damage which means Miss Raven is always available so in that case anyone over here or is this a that's not a wedge we can grab onto and where are you where are they I uh huh can't get up there can I not at the moment no I can I just didn't see any need for it because I didn't see the arrow guy. Okay, cool. Nice, and thrust. Oh my, okay. Thanks. Took a bit more. Well, thank you very much. You stayed for a while and I do appreciate that. Thanks for watching and I do look forward to your fan art. I'm excited. I'm sure it'll be great. Thank you for popping in and thank you for joining the server earlier too. It, it is always nice to have people around. Have a great night too. I'll probably I'll be almost done as well, so I don't think you'll miss much. I I'm in an area that's a little too spicy for me right now, so I should probably move over to get over there today. Hello, hello, and take it down. Thanks. Good amount of stuff, but get up top. We're there, right over here, and who do I? Thank you very much. Good night to you. And someone is still shooting at me. Where are they shooting from? That's from... Down there. Okay. So where are they then? Shooting from down there. Okay. You're right there. Okay. Cool. So eventually more just spawn in. Okay. That's... Interesting knowledge. At the very least, more spawn in when you reach certain areas. And slam that down, go for another, and take you out. Cool. Hmm. Complicated area. So you can just barely grab over there, and it's gonna be over here. It's clearly not the truly intended path at the moment, and... Uh, what is... What are you? And how would I reach that normally? That's the real question. Hug that wall, and oh, we're on a branch, that's fine. So would there be a shortcut I could use to get back to the start, or... That's the real question. Hmm. Okay, okay. Hug on the wall and pick up the snap seed. It can be of great help in that regard, but... This is... Okay, this is just where it was before, but... Oh, we could have actually... I didn't even notice, but... Could have used this as a side path to get around back in. Ah, uh, okay. So it's a possible shortcut, if you know where to look. So it's not actually a shortcut in the sense of a place you couldn't go before, but a place you could always go that wasn't immediately obvious before. That's interesting. Another guy over somewhere, and I... How can I get to the top of that little pagoda? There might be someone inside, so I... Slam, slam, and take it down. And then here is plain oil. Okay, cool. Slam, slam, and then we... Thanks, and... Oh, I'm messing up his deflection timings. Two, and... Come on, come on. Being way too early. Then, where is... How would I get up there, too? Snakuza Samba. It's where... Oh, interesting. Okay, thanks. As long as we keep our guard up, we should be okay. We're here, and I think that's where Odin of Mibu goes eventually, but not quite sure. That Shamisen is indeed eerie. But another, another stomach shard. Oh, of course, there are more guys showing up just right now. Annoying. Thanks. And we can slam it. Oh, okay. Nikiri over there. And really? Okay. Ichimonji, and. Wait, what? That didn't work? You're kidding. Well, alright. Get that going. Then. Okay. How much is. Thank you, and. Even closer. That did not quite work. Cool. And there we are, and. That still isn't quite what I wanted, and. Thanks! But well, we managed to get that back via another deflection and death blow, so. There's one more guy, so let's. 
Oh, never mind. And slam, slam. And we... Nice, and take it down. Thank you very much. Cool. So over the top, the top over there with that shiny sin, but presumably I can... But I can't grapple to the top of that tree right now. That's the weird thing. So going to the top of that tree is obviously going to be the way to get to the top of the pagoda, but it doesn't seem to be something I can do right now. Oh, I'm going to have to go around the other way to... Hmm. Pass whatever that guy is. To jump on top of the pagoda. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of guys over here. What's more showing up now? Got that eventual respawn. Which where are the arrows coming from? Over there, okay. Cool. So I oh but I Alright, and one, two, die. So they're just respawning indefinitely after a certain time frame, or are they showing up because I went to a certain area and triggered them appearing. Did they just proc? That's what's Okay, die. Keep that open. Not mean to do it like that. I okay. Come on, just die already, dog. Then there's another archer over this way, so slam it. Take you down and go another go another Ichimonji. Come on. I I think they're just indefinitely spawning at this point, and I do not feel like subjecting myself to more of this garbage. Okay. In that case we have Oh, these sword wielding monkeys? And a guy who's kind of like Juzo the Drunkard. And, okay. Don't have quite enough to... Well, we're doing good damage to them anyway, but I... Oh, interesting. And just... Thank you. Slam it. Monkey Shinobi. Shinobi, presumably. Or... Well, monkeys with guns. That's the big thing. Wonder who... Who thought that was justified? Whose idea was this? Then... The gun monkey is... Where? You are over there, and... Huh, okay. You are... Do you see me? Do you not? Okay. I hope there's a... place I can... rest and idle over here, though I don't... have a lot of faith in that. This is just the other side from where we were before, so... Scrapple up and... Thank you. Cool. This goes around to the pagoda, and this is the way I'm supposed to get there. I presume more fatty wax and cool. The top over there is going to be something. What if I over here? That doesn't do anything. There's some bodies you could knock off ledges in other Souls games, but this is not that, I suppose. So what in here can I? Uh, okay, drop down and. Oh, it's just a Miss Noble. That's what's going on. That's really funny, actually. Hi, Miss Noble. Sorry. Oh, so you're the enemy of Buddha. Okay, cool. Thanks. And out of the way. Hardest boss in the game, right? Thanks, and we went for the kill. Cool kill. Love of Grave Wax from Pitch Black. Set of the Extracted Growth. So now that that spell is dispersed... I wonder what will change about the place. We can escape now, which is nice. Oh, presumably, Yashiriku Sugar. Ah, there was an illusion that was broken. And do I... Yashiriku Sugar and A. Did not get another prayer bead from that. It was not enough of a fight. All right, then. So if that's all gone, I guess the question is, what's the monkey doing? What is this area now? It feels weird being able to see it, especially since it's actually a lot darker. The guy from before, what is he going to do? Is he just gone now? He's not gone, that's good. Okay, cool. Thanks. And just, oh, come on. Alright. Alright, so let's fight that guy anyway. Epic Miss Noble moment. I actually... Firecracker's cool. Taking one off him would be nice, but... Actually, I feel like he would be good a loaded axe fodder. Because he's big and slow. He gives us decent openings, but... Hmm. 
out of here. So presumably this is just Mibu now. This Mist Village is now all done. So he should be Death Bowl, but well, that would be another bit of jamming. Okay, cool. I'm not okay. Oh, really? You saw me? You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Gotta go away until you forget I exist, and then we return. Okay. Cool, cool. And I can... Over there. Take that down. See where I can... Death Bowl you. Hit you with a funny axe. And... Cool. And... Midder Death Bowl. Ah, Tokujiro the Glutton. Not the drunkard, but the glutton. And just slam it. Oh, interesting. So that... Alright. And... Da oh, interesting. That's not good. Oh. I, alright. And we can slam that down, and you don't recover your posture all that well. Dodge. Jump it. Okay, cool. So you're actually not that hard, which is why the monkeys are... Okay. You have monkeys with you to change the fight a little. And jump it. Okay, slam, slam. A lot of posture damage. Dodge it. Thanks. Thanks, and... Dodge it. Oh, can I... Do dodge it. Dodge, oh, okay, cool, Mr. Yokozuna. And just dodge, grab, slam, okay, oh, but I'm in the fire now, that's not good. Not good at all. Okay, slam, slam, and just fought this guy earlier today. I dodge, oh my goodness, okay. Thank you for the poison spit, that's great. Slam, and just thanks, thanks, and can I jump it? Okay, I could, that was an opportunity I missed. Thanks, slam, slam out of the lane, and we're poisoned for you. And, okay. Nice, deflection, and jump it, okay. What, no, 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 okay. Wow, all right, thanks. We should resurrect, should resurrect anyway. I, this is something I can manage. It's more than manageable. So just, can we slam that down, and slam you, and thank you, just, Jump it, jump it. Okay, slam, slam down, and thank you, one. Oh, thanks. Okay, cool. Nice, and just slam down, and one, two, and thanks, and one, die. Okay, cool, we took you out. Goodbye, that should be another prayer bead. Unrefined sake, ah, and a prayer bead. Cool. Close to another skill point, which is nice. We can also go down here for a bit of stuff. Let's see what this is. Oh, we could have dropped down here normally in order to... Oh, just do the grapple, but... Okay, so now Mibu should be a lot more logical, for lack of a better term. Let's go back to our last coming to idol, and now we have 18 out of 20 of the prayer beads in the game. It's exciting. Okay. So, in that case... Gone over here, and Ashina Adapt should be, again, a lot more logical now. Just gonna go back over to Sir Samurai, and is he here? Is he here still? Did he go? I think he went. So he went farther in, presumably, because the Miss Noble's evil Shami Sen is now no longer obscuring this place. Mist Noble, yeah, because there was mist, and it was the consequence of the Noble. So then, let's see who else might be here. The apparitions, in theory, should be gone, but... And I wonder if that guy will have a reward for us now that we quote-unquote kill, kill the quote-unquote enemy of Buddha. Now, the other apparitions... That's going to be something. Style already. Okay. Then we have... Yeah, the apparitions should all be gone. That's okay. Then there's just that headless over there, and I... Uh, okay, cool. I will deal with you at a much later date. Place feels a lot smaller without the mist. It makes sense, but still. But I just... Not being able to get a stealth death blow on that guy is... Truly obnoxious. Just have to actually get both off. Kind of like the Shichu Men warriors. I guess it makes sense that the apparition-type enemies would be some of the most annoying... Hello, triply old, 
Return to his temple once more. Oh, so that was that not the guy who was the enemy of Buddha, or? Oh, well, whatever. Let's go through here, and it's just normal now. Okay, cool. Let's go over and. Okay, we still got the chicken death blow. Cool. It's funny how much how, the chickens give more skill points than a number of human enemies now. Powerful chicken. And can I uh, go over here? Try that again. Double jump is ledge jump is convenient. Anything else different over this way, or probably not? Oh well, there. Hello. Let me go over here and see what's this way. And okay, we got a chicken. One, two, eat you moji chicken. We are close to getting another skill point. And I guess I think that mid-air prosthetic tool is probably what we want next. Got all of our healing upgrade stuff, which is really, really, which is important, very important. Okay, we got that, but we'll need one more point for... Or I could get Nightjar Slash. The issue is that I wouldn't really be using it for anything, actually. It would just kind of be there. So in that case, let's see what else there might be over this way. Now we've cleared this place out. Be able to get leaves and gunpowder or something before. Welcome back. Oh, oh, do not worry. I, I did not even notice. I thought it was just a typo. Oh, please, please do not worry. I, I am never going to be offended by someone wishing me a good night. <laughs> but I'm going to try to get a little farther into this area. We killed a very easy quote-unquote mini-boss. So easy that it didn't even drop a health upgrade. And basically got rid of the illusions surrounding this area. So we're almost done, really. Almost done. Once I get to the next idol, I think I'll close out. Because I've been going for a while now. And quite frankly, I should probably get something to eat. Among other things. Not exactly hungry hungry, but it would be nice. Not a hippopotamus. Not a hungry hungry hippo. I I'm sure that that joke did not need as much explanation as I gave it. Go over here and see what happens. And I went back over that way, so... Oh, the monkeys came back. That's funny. Okay, cool. Nice. And one, two, and... Oh, these monkeys are very, very evasive. Okay, Samurai Monkey. So they were accompanying a guy named Tokujiro the Glutton, who actually fought exactly like... Uh, Juzo the Drunkard earlier. It was basically a more mini-boss version of him. Well, actually, it's sort of a mini-mini-boss then, given that Tokujiro is also a mini-boss, so... Can we, no, we can't get the back steps that. Die, die, die. Poor monkeys. But frankly, just shouldn't have shot at me. And you dropped pellets and the soul of Ash. I didn't see that. Ashina? No, Ashina. So in theory, we should be able to eventually get the Mibu breathing technique, which allows us to stay underwater if we continue a bit farther in here, but we'll see. To get it from a corrupted monk to the guy back there, the Buddha guy. I guess the big question is whether I would actually be better off going deep into Sunken Valley. But at the very same time, I'd probably want Piercing Sabimaru for that, and you would need a few more adamantite scraps, to say the least. Is there anything up here other than this was just the way to Miss Noble? So can we get up top? Can get up top here. There's just absolutely nothing to find or see. Yeah, but the Miss Noble was this funny dragon-like guy, fish-like dragon-like guy in here. Two health bars, one of them took off instantly, and the other was just taken down easily because he was weak. Past this graveyard is... Ooh. Not this. A pellet. I guess the question is, is Mibu going to count as Ashina Depths or something else entirely? This is... Ooh. Drop down here. I'm dropping down. This hidden village. Feels a bit like Yahar Ghoul from... Bloodborne, frankly. The idea that, okay, there's a sculptor's idol over here. I think that Odin of the Water should actually be relatively close. Well, Odin of Mibu. 
So let's get on the Sculptor's Idol, see what happens if we fight her. I guess the question is... I know she counts as an apparition. I'm not sure if she counts as... Okami, so I'm not sure I would be... in a good space to actually use the Sabimaru on her. We'll see. Go over this way and... Uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And there's somebody over there, actually. I think... Maybe I might fight them is the last thing I'd do today. Here we are in... Other Demonic Buddha. We found Mibu Village. I guess the question is... Demon of Hatred gets unlocked when? Hatred... Onen no ma. I mean, Ensan no Oni. Not demon, not demon of Grudge, but Ogre of Hatred. And after defeating the Divine Dragon, so that'll be a while off. The question then is, is there anything on the map? This is still Ashina Daps, so... Daps, Poison Pool, Hidden Forest, Mibo. And yep, that is... Ashina Daps and then Mibo. Very far away then. So they probably marked that bottomless pit, maybe? Maybe. There's water in here. It's not really stopping us, which is good, and... Who are you? I... Okay. Interesting, I... Hmm. To get a death blow on you, I assume we'd have to go from above. And... Oh! Toxic Mob! Offering another one. Memorial Mob. Can't die. Have use for offerings. Go ahead and buy one. Exiled Memorial Mob. Purple Gourd. It fills... Oh, we can buy Dragon Spring Scraps. I mean, Dragon Spring Sake, Adamantite Scraps. Then... Sake and Brewmaster Water from the Dragon Spring. Every last bit of flavor from Finest Rice. They sit for themselves. We could get... May as well get this. We'll need it later. And then... We would need... Reduced terror status buildup, increases terror resistance, formed by using graveyards, battlefields, formed places of death, and the onset of terror. Religion coin first, let's sell three of these then and get quick that way. Get both of these scraps and then the gourd. Those are all the things we really need for him right now. Some offerings. So then. Can we get over here? We can. So whatever that guy is, I think. Could probably Oh what? Hello. Oh, never mind. Wow, okay. Not expecting the dog to do what he did. And you are... Do you see me? Do you see me? That guy definitely knows where I am now. Oh, goodness. Come on. Okay, so reestablishing stealth would be a good idea, if at all possible. That guy down there, who we might want to get with an aerial death blow, and... Come on, and... Oh, it went through both of them! Multi-dog kill. Poor dogs. Okay, so, and... Oh, you're... Oh, the va the Lone Shadow is... Mmm, that's not good. I don't want to fight the Tokugawa Ninja that way. So, do you see me? Do you see me? Oh, you do? That's really, really bad. Okay, cool. Perilous attack. And... Huh. I am not going to beat you fair. Will not beat you fighting fair, so... We need to rest, make you leave where you previously were. Rest and make you disappear. Okay. So that guy is going to be a pain to get down. To sneak up on him while swing away from the dogs who would otherwise alert him to my presence and then get a plunging death blow on him. Okay, cool. Just let's see. Dog is cool. Nice. There we are. All right, good. Any others, or... You're still down. Really? What? Oh, wow. Can I just not actually get the stealth I wanted on you? I mean, it's possible, but I don't like that. I... Okay, cool, and... Oh, goodness. I... Finding this guy normally is going to be a pain. Slam, slam, and it's just... He was the one who I had problems with before. All right, okay. Oh, you have poison? Really? Okay. Just dodge, dodge, and dodge, dodge, oh, okay. And we slam over and, okay, please. And you don't have a weird poisonous strike, but you don't have a Ichimonji, which, I mean, don't have a Nikiriobo ability. Huh? What's, oh my goodness. 
So finding you normally is going to be an absolute nuisance. Well, what if we just... No, that won't work. You'll block it too well. If only I had... That would actually be a good use for the Lazulite Shuriken. So in other words, I'm going to have to go up and try to get a stealth death blow on him. Just normally. So let's reduce our presence. Actually, if we used a Gachi, I don't think he'd find us. Let's actually use this then. Thank you. Corrupted Monk should theoretically be past here. And yep, he can't see me if I use Gachi, even though he can hear me normally. So, goodbye. Thank you. What? Huh? Can we not backstab you? What? Let's try that again. It might not be possible, but I'd like to test that out for sure. I might have just messed up the button prompt. Okay. Big thing about the Headless is, is that they don't actually drop prayer beads, if I recall correctly. So the only reason to kill them is to get the spirit fall abilities that they have. Oh, okay, so we could kill him that way. Yeah, just scrap magnetite. Nice. There's some we kill, which is treasure carp scale. And can we? We can't get under there, so this was just a dead end. Presumably. That was fun. Go over to the dogs and there's adamantite scraps. Do need that for that Sabi Maru upgrade. Okay, so the dog over here is wolf over here. Hello! Well, I'm a wolf too. Maybe I'm kind of betraying my own kind. Okay. Should go through multiple enemies, presumably, if we get this off right. And cool, cool, and oh goodness. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Don't think any of them drop spirit emblems, which is sad. Oh, you can actually see that she, the Shurikin, briefly embed itself in its corpse before it disappeared. That's a bit macabre. Okay. So, what's over here? Is it going to be a shortcut or not just an item? Or what's this? Is this just a light coin purse? Okay. That scrap magnetite was nice to get, but... Hmm. Adamantite scrap, too. A lump of fat wax. Going here early for the sake of better prosthetic upgrades. I think was a pretty good idea. I don't regret my decision yet. I'm out later. So we can still their way along through here and... Oh, these are like the Amana aberrations. This place is actually reminding me a lot of Shrine of Amana. Okay, so how many more are over here then? Oh, goodness. Hello there, hello. So do you see me or... Well, you definitely see me now. Hello, hello. Slam and... Okay, you're simple, you're simple. That's good. So we can just commit our combat art and get that back. Big jumping swing, thank you. I feel a little evil, frankly, but that's all. Okay, so what all is in here? We already got the fat wax lump and where are you? Oh goodness, do you just respawn infinitely? I don't presume you do, but let's... Ah, okay. Slam and kill. At least there seems to be some level of the appearance. Huh? Does this seem to be these... The fireflies that resummon them, or...? Can't really tell. Maybe they're just reviving after the first kill, like... The red-eye test subjects do. It's certainly possible. Oh, and this is Mibu proper. Okay, cool. They're gonna be a... An idol I can get to before I reach Odin, or... So there's water here, obviously. Nibu water. Water in Nibu. Getting to Nibu for fighting Genichiro is more than a little silly, I will say. But how did I not manage to... What? I missed the stealth death blow? And soul and can I? I bet I could probably... Go along here somehow. So wall clang or uh, uh, I mean I can just go along here normally. It's normal water, so I can just swim it, but let's see how this ends up working. Okay. Come on, come on, and okay, now we can get up that. I guess the question is, could I get up to this portion up here? Can I mm, I don't quite think so. Maybe. Can I get over here and... Oh, man-eating carp. Or treasure carp or man-eating carp? 
propel it and uh, over here. Uh, one other way. Let's see what this might be. Do you feel as if going through the village to kill as many as possible? Soon we might get another adamantite scrap, which can, I do want to improve my stubby moderator, so. You have an actual hammer, which means. Let's go for you. And they're all looted, I guess. That's fun. Okay, cool. Nice, nice, and die. And the poison's annoying, but whatever. Die. What are you doing? I feel kind of bad about this. Honestly, it reminds me of the fishing hamlet infiltration and, well, the raid on the fishing hamlet in the backstory of Bloodborne. I don't exactly feel like a good guy here. Sad. Okay, and there, there seem to be poison lanterns of some kind? I think. One, two. We've only beaten Lady Butterfly and... The old boot, but her damage is still more than enough. Okay, it's funky. Yeah, and you don't have enough poise to actually resist me at all. Okay, but it does seem like some of them are regenerating to some extent, or it's probably just them approaching me. Oh, they're oh they're crawling out of the ground. That's what's happening. Okay, cool. And die, 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 and thank you. Ah, so how many are gonna? Die and kill. Does it have to be Mortal Blade stuff then? Or presumably it. Oh my goodness, alright. Because the Mortal Blade does slay the undying, but it does appear as if. They'll come out a few times, but eventually they give up. As they should. Should know they stand no chance against an accomplished shinobi. The techniques of a samurai prosthetic warrior. Guess a cyborg. Cyborg would probably be the right term, even though it's definitely a little more sci-fi than fantasy. Well, before I guess the question is, to what extent is the prosthetic sort of fantasy tool, and how much is it a sort of sci-fi tool? It's complicated. And here we are. Let's kill more villagers. They're giving a really good amount of skill points, actually, even though they're pretty easy to kill. Okay. So can we get inside this house, or what's this? Pacifying agent, because they're undead, presumably. Grave diggers are all. It shows up around here, and... Oh, really? Okay, cool. So how many times are we going to come out of these graves? And I... Really? Okay. Another? It seems as if they might be infinite, which... Are they? Yeah, they're infinite. Okay, cool. Which, we can actually get death blows on them pretty quickly, so... It's nice to get more skill points, but we should probably move on at least a little. Okay. Oh, they're high. Move in and kill. Thanks. Alright. So the question is... Oh, I can get inside there by grappling on top. That's nice. So what about them makes them undying? Feels as if, eventually... Though these seem to be more reanimating corpses automatically reanimating corpses than individual immortals. So I'm not sure the mortal blade, even if we had it, would really do anything here. One of wealth and... Hello there, hi. Let's drop inside here and see what we can find. This is... What? Oh, hi, who are you? Basket, basket. I'm a basket. Greet him. Oi. Fear, basket, calm down. Honorable person. Or an honorable person. I'm gonna ask. Basket on my head. Village and Shosuke, village and the villagers. I too gone insane in a daze. I threw up, snapped out of it, a lot of sake. Priestess says sake, Kanushi san, head priest, get thirsty, sake cast runs dry. One of the ponds and rivers, and oh, they're infested! Thirsty you get, can't even drink enough. Villagers, wrong with the villagers, no idea, they fear fire. Days and fell they fear too. Triple fire, thought of it gives me tears. No, he call. Pine resin will lock himself in his house, so that's why they hate the pine resin. Long time, they'll nuisance. Cast wild animal meat of the sort, so basically dog man doesn't give him sake. So the pond lost house in the path. The priest, poor person, showing up the riverside near the water source. Told us citizens of the palace. Come citizens. Huh? 
Says in the palace, what he said, and so immortality presumably we gotta go, hiding this basket, resist drinking. So how can we get out of here? Can we open the door or just a grapple point or Okay, we just grapple our way out. So we're not gonna expose any of the other villagers, I think. Mibu villager. Do they fear fire? Mibu villager. They cannot die or resurrect from the muddy soil. Mestable was the opponent of Buddha, blessed by the worm. Sacrifices for the illusion. Give oil and... They can drop fat wax very rarely, but... This is on very rarely. So I think... I'm gonna get to the next... Little... Sculptor's Idol and then probably close things out. We have gone far enough that I feel there should be another soon. Let's see what happens. Die. And die. Die, die. You know, if nothing else, they just are good for farming. They drop a decent amount of Sen and experience, and they don't stop coming. Kill them, they just come back. And oh, my. Oh, what? Oh, wow. What kind of Merkman type grab attack is that? What kind of Dark Souls 3 kind of. Okay. Cool, and just. Can we death blow? Guess not. Oh, so those guys don't seem to be death blow a bull. Hmm. All right. What else is going to be around here? I know that Orion of Mibu should be around here somewhere. Opponent of Buddha. I wonder what that really means in context. Presumably just because they were striving for immortality, which is a curse upon the living, so to speak. Okay, we can get up here and then drop down inside the other house, presumably. Let's get in here. Hello, and who is in here? This is another villager, hostile, or maybe I. It's an item. Just a fistful of ash. I would prefer a fistful of dollars myself. I should actually watch that movie. Yeah, one of these days I'm gonna get really big in old cowboy movies, and I'll become even more insufferable. You should live in fear of that day. Not once you get out, but you can't grapple on it from outside, it seems. I mean, in the end, a lot of old cowboy movies were literally versions of... Westernized versions of old samurai movies. And in particular, though you've probably heard it before... Star Wars is literally just a remake, essentially, a sci-fi version of Kurosawa's Hidden Fortress. But... Can we... Nice. And the, and the name for Jedi arguably derives from Jedi Geki, which is literally just means period drama. The name given to a lot of samurai movies. Yeah. Well, what's interesting is that there are a number. Oh no, I didn't expect that. There are a number of kinds of samurai movies if I recall correctly. Oh, they're just grabbing me, wetting me. Oh, that's funky. That's fun. Not really. One, two, and death blow. It's not hard, but if you get grabbed, you can stay still and they can just destroy you. Okay, cool. Hit and death blow and the ones who are crawling are really annoying. Can't even get a death blow on them. That's dumb. Slash and oh goodness, I okay. Die. But the more serious ones are called Chidai Geki period dramas, and the more sort of just plain action movies tend to be called Chanbara, which just means sword fighting. Which is why in the... Oh, goodness. The new Nintendo Switch sports game that came out, they renamed the sword fighting minigame to Chanbara. It's a fun one. It's a bit like Sekiro. Not really. It's fun, though. And then, oh, my goodness. Well, they don't really damage me, but I... Okay. Didn't grab socks. Okay. Oh, but what? 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 Really? Really? Okay. Come on. Okay. How can I tell where they come up? Because I guess the most obvious thing would be checking on gravestones, but even that isn't certain. Oh, my what? Really? Really? Okay. Cool. Just... Ah. Oh, please. You are insane. And they fear fire. Fire is very effective on them, but I... That pine resin ember that I can get... I could use to make a spear upgrade, theoretically. Gourd Seed. Oh, that's nice. Sulfur Bunny Nature and Uber Soul Balloon. So what else? 
The pond resin ember should be somewhere. That would allow me to make the long blowing flame vent, which would be very, very useful. Pellet. Let's take some of these guys down. Hmm. Oh, they're high. Bell guy, but he's not. Oh my goodness. Bell guy's not actually. Uh, thought for a second. Bell guy might have armor, but he doesn't. Also, he can't hit me here. Hi. Hello. Yeah, you literally cannot hit me up here. Down here. Oh, well. Never mind. Okay, jumping. Jump, jumping. Oh, come on. I all right, and just... And bring this down, and slam. And we can... Dodge, and, oh, come on. Three, four. One, two, three. And we can charge this up, and take down the bell tower guy. Thank you, nice. Oh, but the second strike almost prevented the death blow. Almost. Not ceramic shards. Just ceramic shards, really? Okay. So I can't grab on that immediately. Guess that makes some sense. Let's go up here and... A couple of Toro troops over here. Stuff up this way too and... Can I get up this way? What can I... Oh, this is a way to... Take out one of, one of the Toros. Which is nice. Then... Hello. That was good. Let's go as far as we can over this way. This might be... Is this the flame vent we wanted, or...? It's just Ashina Sake, okay. Not as good as the Fountainhead ones, but it's still beloved. Let's take out all of the... What's over here? Take out that Taro guy. Before more garbage happens. He is going to be really annoying otherwise, so... Come on, come on. Let's die. That did not alert you, probably actually, because we have our sound reduction one. Goodbye, Taro Troop. Thank you. Cool. One thing I really do like about Sekiro's system is just, honestly, the degree of stealth you can pull off. Because it really incentivizes looking around areas for hidden paths so you can get behind enemy groups. It also helps a lot that enemy enemies being able to see or not being able to see was a lot less stupid and finicky than it was in other Souls games, because... The sound system is good, and they do have to, you know, be pointing at you. But it also means that when they pivot, that can actually also lead to them being able to see you when they otherwise weren't able to, which is interesting. Oh, come on. So you don't do any damage to me. But you do hold me in place for other people to do damage to me. Oh, and you don't drop any experience either. That's new. Okay, cool. So what is... Do I see somebody or something? I see one of you. Okay, cool. Let's just go up and spin and take you down with that. Okay, so there's another Sculptor's Idol over there. I think that might be my cue. So I get that. Because again, I have been going for a while and it has been fun, but... It's a hard enough game that playing it for a while does get kind of tiring. This way is... Can I go around this way or... Clearly it seems... Maybe I can, maybe I can go, I'm not, I can't tell whether I can go up there. Big thing is, over there should be, <sighs> top on that bridge, leads to, seems to lead to some, oh, it probably doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually. Let's go over, get to that one sculptor's idol and chill out. Love this grappling hook. Love this grappling hook. Then, I feel like Mabel from Gravity Falls. I might have to scrap it. Ooh, ooh. That should be enough for the Savi Maru upgrade I wanted. Might not use that there, but I have scrap. Those parts of Ashina attract the grace of gods, lending it its supple strength. Guys, I can't believe Wolverine is in Sekiro. Actually, I kind of can. Okay, so... Oh, but we haven't been there yet. Okay. So how do I want to... Go around here, that would also... Grappling would have allowed us to bypass that too, so... Hello there, hi. Die, die. Then... What around here is... He's basically Miss Noble Geyser. Wow, okay, I... Did not expect that... Grab attack to be as brutal as it was. That was nearly full, full health destruction. Okay. 
Though to be fair, again, I'm definitely here. We don't want to be really sad. Still though. Okay. So inside here, presumably we might get something of value or of note. This is Divine Confetti. Good. No gunpowder. Also decent. I think the Fire Spear that I mentioned before might be the upgrade I want to go for right now. Possibly. We need... No, no. Not the Fire Spear, but Okinaga's Flame Vent, which... It's unclear whether Okinaga is a person or if it just means long blowing flame vent. Then, frankly, I think it's probably just means long blowing because it literally is just longer blowing than the rest. If you upgrade it and other parts of the Mibu water. How far can I go over here then? That's the real question. That is for somebody, well. Okay, so Sekiro really is a Zelda game. They even have a treasure chest behind a waterfall. What's in here? This is... Divine Grass, Ashina, Touch of the Gods, Special Medicine. I don't really need that right now. Not really going to use that. Now, why touch grass when you can eat grass? That's what I'm saying. Don't think I can grapple up there from here, but whatever. Come on, come on. God, to be kidding me. Okay, more car. Presumably some of them will be treasure, but some of them will also definitely be man-eating. I think I can definitely find... On the other side of the pond is meant to be... The Pine Resin Ember that we need, I believe. So this is... This is... Sculptor's Idol Fund. Water Mill. Should adapt, so... We're almost through, Mibu. Alright. Cool. Let's go down on this side and... So there's to see. Oh, chickens! Fun. Hi, chickens. I guess. That's Death Bolt 1 chicken. The classic chicken stealth kill. And just dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Nice. And sure again. Backstep and sure again. This is where we were. It's the other side, but. I haven't really checked this area out yet, but I believe. They said the other side of the pool is where. The ember. Pine Resin Ember, the fire they hated, is going to be around here. Grab up over here, but we could also just jump over or jump onto it, which is what we ended up doing. Here, anything. So Mr. Inuhiko is going to lend us a powerful upgrade, presumably. I hope. Okay, cool. The Adamantite is very nice to have. Go for a few more hits, and nice. A lot of skill points. I feel like mid-air prosthetic tool is definitely what I, what I want to go for next. There isn't a lot of other, aren't a lot of other things that I could get that I could actually really get much benefit out of other than that, frankly. So, hello, hello. Do oh, well, I, oh goodness. I wasn't close enough to get the hit off because it's not that I wasn't close enough, it's that I was too far off. Okay, so something up top, something is up top there. Let's just see. Hello, hello. Where this way is what? Something never seen before? Well, something I didn't see just then because I fell off like an idiot. Happened to me once in Bloodborne, actually. Uh, I missed a jump. It's really funny, actually. It's something I wish I quipped. I thought about quipping, but I actually forgot to. I have a document where I notate down everything I want to quip. It was me repeatedly failing a jump, so. If you enjoy seeing me mess up, I'm sure that would make you happy. Okay. And then we have... Adamanti another Adamantite scrap, and who is over... Oh, all these... What? Pine Resin Ever over here, upgrade the flame bed, Black Pine in the forest. Landmark to find one's way to the village. Black Pines were lost, defend the flame were equally loads. Oh, interesting, and... Multiple Taros? Oh, wow. I feel like I got at least try this combat encounter and so what are they is that a headless that can't be a headless okay cool and oh wrong I walked on the wrong guy never mind die die and thank you cool and just grapple up thank you can I oh wait how, how are they getting fear on me what what in the fear orbs whatever okay and we're over here two and stab 
Let's kill all these guys before Rush show off and did you fall off or what? Oh goodness, I was not expecting this. Also, there's another thing over here, which... No, that was just the Amber. Hello, hello. Two and... All the way. How many times are these guys going to show back up? Show up again, that's the question. Oh, they just keep coming, so... They wanted to kill these Taros that have to escape somehow. Huh, oh, okay. Cool. They yeah, just keep on coming. Alright, cool. The Taros would not come back, so I do kind of feel like I'd want to kill them. It's like I'm putting the combat encounter. We'll see what happens. Okay. There you are, there you are. Come on, come on. Got you pretty much alone. Just, can we slam you down? Nice. Slam and just dodge. One, two, three, four, and... We did not get him close enough, that's sad. Okay, cool, and... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and... Send that down, get that bell tower again, and dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, that really did not actually break any posture on you, so I... One, two, three, four. Slam, 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 and... Slam that down, take that... Oh, nice! We got that kill. I didn't think we'd be able to. At least not as quickly as we did. So, let's kill some of the Mibu guys. Pond Resident Ember being here is useful. Let's clear out the Mibu guys. They're far away enough normally that I don't think they'll interfere as long as we kill them. Now, nah, they won't really be able to chase us all that far. Nice. Kill them all now and just space them out from the Taro. Kill the Taro for fun and throw nest and... Experience points. Okay, cool. And wait, did did he respawn? Oh! That Taro guy respawns. Okay, well... I killed the other guy once. I'm gonna kill this other guy again. Cool. I feel profound pressure. And just out of the way of that. And one, two, three, four, and... Oh, what? We got got? Really? Okay. I didn't think they got us. So all I'm gonna do, take out this Taro guy, go back to the other- what? How'd that hit me? Huh. Dodge it. Okay, cool. Slam it. Okay, did I- oh, weird. Dodge, dodge it. Two ends. Bros fights like Orphan of Koss. Thanks. Slam it. Okay. You gonna keep doing that attack, or? One, two, three, one. One, two, three, and slam on that, and cool. So who is hitting me and how? That's the real question. One, two, and oh, what? Huh? Okay. Huh? Well, whatever. Okay. Cool. I want to get this guy down. I also want to kill this guy. One, die. And that's interesting. Dodge it. Okay. Swing it. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Dodge it. Okay. Two, and three. And just one, two, three, and slam, and slam on you, and how much more can we get? A little bit of that, and cool. Let's slam with the Ijimonji, and we're close, close, and two, three, four, one, two, three, and now we can go back to the dilapidated temple, kill them all, that's fun. Yeah, we, we went to a funky place. We went a little bit farther afield than I thought I might. But we went in, we got a lot of progress. A lot of progress was made. Progress pretty much entirely outside of the storyline, but... So we cleared out most of Ashina Castle, we went to Senpo, we went through the abandoned dungeon, did pretty much everything in the abandoned dungeon, then we got almost all the way through Senpo, all the way up until story progress is required, and... Oh, is this? Ah, uh, hello. Going out of the castle, all the info I've got, business with you any time. The info broker. Go to Memo, well... We don't need that, do we? Oh, another Gourd Seed. That's fun. Kodachi Sword Sword, well, I don't need that, do I? Good instead of info, sticky fingers, lots without noticing, offers and memorials, left the mob, so he was in the mob. 
So that actually are religious. Can't leave it unpilfered. Probably belong to anybody. Finders keepers. So we can get two more good upgrades right now because if we we need two, two, one more, one of those, and there we are. Cool. So we should be able to buy everything of no. Actually, the gourd seed, we can get that. The go to memo, we need. I may as well buy that for the sake of completion, even though I literally do not need anything more there. We already got the Miss Raven. Okay. Next time, and. I should a castle be careful, strange ones know lots of them. Afraid of Ishin found their nerve. Tide might be turning. Oh, until next time. Oh, interesting. I wonder when the Shinobi. Shinobi Ashina Castle. When does it get taken over? During the invasion state. When does the Ashina Castle get invaded by ninja? Ninja. What do I have to progress to get there? Castle Dusk. Second visit. He's blocked trying to defeat Owl. But presumably, I don't think, I want to check Ashina real quickly. But we do have a couple more Gourd Seeds and a bit of it. Oh. Up right now. Give a couple. Give another. There we go. We don't have any Gourd Seeds, which means they well. Now we have... Should have eight uses of the Gourd now. Which is really, really nice. And yeah, there... No, we still have six? Wait, wait. Oh, was it... It automatically added and I was confused because it was usually... Four before, but now we're at six. I'm losing my mind. Fit new prosthetic tool. Can we get anything? No, we can't. But we can get an upgrade. We still need the finger whistles and other things, but we can actually get and make Okinaga. We got enough magnetite, enough yellow and black gunpowder, smoldering resin, explosive catalyst, fire damage inflict the burn status, continue with continue a continuous stream of flames. That's not spelled right. Do shelter anytime. So let's use heavy coin purse and upgrade that. Get oh no, I need more. I'm getting close to ooh okay. Kind of running things out. Let's upgrade this tool and get Okinagas. That's fine. Okinagas flame vent is that pine resin ember. Final to your information. Had a lapis lazuli, but this is the only really good one. Lapis lazuli. Most of these others kind of suck, actually. This is okay, but it's not nearly as important. Don't have the fulminated mercury. Don't have the gray wax, and I definitely don't have the lapis. That needs... Centro, if I want to get there, I may as well, but actually... Could also get the phantom kunai. That's an idea, too. Got a lot of fat wax lumps. Got so many things that I honestly feel as if... I may as well pick up as many upgrades as I can right now. Suzaku Umbrella is also cool. Don't have any fulminated mercury yet. Oh, but that's right, I can also get Piercing Sabimaru. Because a lot of those scraps and all that scrap iron, not enough sand, but that takes... Ooh, that's a lot. I, ooh, I might not have enough money. Huh. Let's just see how much... I have exactly enough money. Alright, so no, nothing more condensed. We're getting our Piercing Sabimaru, and that's all for now. Do you want to check to see if anything more is in Ashina right now? But we'll be chilling. This also requires the purple fume spark for whatever reason. All these require multiple, and for whatever reason, the whatever this is probably malcontent. Fume spark requires a lot of things require that. Shelter at any time. So I do want to see real quickly. Improved and piercing. Newly sharpens. Effective against their descendants. I'm gonna test these out real briefly. So, and we have that Kodachi sort of tucked into our arm. Two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Then, very standard. And the improved Sabimaru is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's see. One, two. One, two, three, four. Ah, cool combo. So let's try the piercing Sabimaru, because it's got all the same that that has, but it's just better. 
Further improved finally sharpened, spear damage, damage vitality, and posture. You can give the guard. Where it eats its way into enemies and applies poison status. Blue rust poison. So let's get that back. I do want to check Ashina real quickly to see if there's anything more there. Then, one, two. Oh, it's got. I think it's got more of a glow than before. Seems like that. Piercing and one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, thank you. I. I regret to inform you that I am literally about to hop off. I just got most of the way through a pretty late game area that I've gone to early. And I. It's almost 8 o'clock where I am, and I need to eat, among other things. I'm glad you popped in. There is actually. I think it would be worth noticing, because I'm not sure you know about it, the. A fan cord that I have, mostly for schedules. So if you have any interest in knowing when to catch me next, it would be a good place to check out. But, yeah, exactly. At least you can say hello. I'm sorry it has to be such a short time, though. Let's get our mid-air prosthetic tool. Cool. Actually, try that out, maybe. Projected force is cheap. Wow. Umbrella's good. But we'll need all of these in order to get living force, which is eventually going to be very useful for us. We also need flowing water for Ashina Cross. Eventually to get empowered mortal draw. So can I... Ah, nice spin. Let's try some of the others. The gouging top. Oh, I guess I didn't even think about it, but I wouldn't have been able to use it in midair before, right? Let's see, can I charge this at all? I don't think I can, and... You can open the umbrella in midair, too. Let's check out the springboard axe. And... Accent. Nice, and ooh, directly to a thing and blade attack. That's fun. Then, let's try another tool real quick. Try the spear. What if we do this in midair? We can, nice, and what does Fang and Blade interact with again? Martial arts, Fang and Blade has. What did Axe Loaded Spear Miss Raven? And, interesting. That didn't really attack with the spear, though, so... Try the firecracker, and then... Nice! Cool. Aerial firecracker doesn't do all that much differently, so Okinaga's... Aha! Uh -huh. Continuous stream of flames, continuous spray of fire. So you can hold our... Well, I need to rest first. Oh! An animation! Oh, that's really cool. So you're a... So you would consider yourself a big art person? That's nice. And we can do that in midair. We charge it up, not really. But if we charge that up and then hold it down, it won't keep the flame going. So if we press and then hold, we keep the flame going for a bit of extra. Oh, but I think it's it's going to keep consuming emblems. We have plenty, so that isn't really a problem, but still. Let's try that again. One and two, and we can just... Oh my goodness! We have a, just a plain flamethrower that we can actually free aim. That's ridiculous. Oh. So what you're saying is, it's time to blame the other people in your project. But... Notches in the tip and move away, not only after taking damage. Move in the direction chosen with L. Miss Stance. Stance and... Can I use this in midair? Yeah, but no real difference is made. If I want to be really funny, what I could do is use... Contact Medicine, which literally only exists to poison you deliberately. I just use... Miss Raven stuff. Okay. And nice ends. Ah, this Miss Raven attack is cool. Exactly. So just make sure that you're on the right side when everything comes crashing down and that you don't get in trouble. That's how you have to survive in this world. I, I, I didn't just say that, don't worry. But yeah, we have... Let's see, four prayer necklaces... Two more prayer beads, so we've got 18 out of 40 prayer beads, which, taking that as some level of marker, means we would be about about uh, halfway through the game. That's nice. So this game should not hopefully take much longer, but we'll see. But yeah, like I said, don't not to shield too much, but feel free to join the fan cord. We've start, we actually got a, an art. No, I made an art channel because by popular request, so... You know, I would not complain about fan art. I'm not going to beg because that's untoward, but... If you need any inspiration... Well, again, thank you for popping in. It 
was really good to see you again. So I think this is going to be it for now. It's almost 8 o'clock. What this does tell me is, frankly, and the only reason I'm doing stuff during mornings, frankly, is, at least during the week, is because I gotta rush through Sekiro and then Demon Souls in time for the Ring DLC, but thank you very much. I'm glad you showed up. Glad everyone showed up. Glad everyone enjoyed it. Hope everyone has a great night. See you now again.